What's up, duelists? It's time. It's time. It's time, everybody. What's up, duelists? It's time. It's time for RBET Rulers. A whole year of massive, really, really big Edison tournaments. A whole year of the best duelists fighting for an invite. RBET Rulers is finally here. What's up, duelists? Oh my. Got to tweet out that I'm live. <laughs> Motherfucker really asking in the chat right now. Is this being streamed? Am I am I not streaming the most hype Yu-Gi-Oh tournament of all time? <laughs> Yeah, of course, of course this is being streamed. Round one starts in three minutes. This is hype. This is hype. If you're in the chat right now, let me know who you got. Who do you think is winning? Which one of these players has been the most exciting for you personally? Live with RBET season finale. Come through top 40 Edison players. All in one tournament. In parentheses, Indicate is here too. <laughs> Get fucked, Indicate. <laughs> oh my goodness, this tournament is going to be hype. This tournament is going to be hype. YouTube.com forward slash e3 Yu Gi Oh. if you guys like the stream go ahead and like it right now and also subscribe okay okay round one is about to begin in two minutes two minutes we're about to start round one this is gonna be this is gonna be an event this is gonna be crazy we're going to see gameplay like we've never seen it before. Round one, we're going to be watching James Ark, who is frequent number one player on the ladder, versus Theodore, most recent tournament winner. <laughs> or second most recent, I should say. But yeah, uh, we're going to be watching two very, very top level players face off in round one. Yeah. Right now, all the players who have a buy... And a couple other players, based off the seeding, are players who had multiple tops going into this tournament. So, they get a little bit of a, little bit of an edge. If you topped multiple RBETs, which, let me tell you, that's not an easy thing to do. That's not an easy thing to do. If you topped multiple tournaments, then, yeah, you get the vibes. Alright, cool. Dueling book time. What's up, duelists? RBET rulers. World Championship, Edison World Championship. Pana says prediction on who will win. I have no idea, dude. Literally anyone in this bracket could win, and I wouldn't be surprised, except Indicate. I would be surprised if Indicate won round one. I'm going to be honest. We are going to be watching... What the hell? Oh, yeah. There we go. Cool. We are going to be watching... James Ark, a.k.a. Luck Extreme, versus... Theodore, Todor, I'm not sure. His name is different on both Dueling Book and whatever. <laughs> Discord. GM, everyone. GM. This is going to be massive. This is going to be so sick. This is what we've been waiting for all year. This is what I've been waiting for all year. Hell yeah. Looks like they're good to start. Little bit of a rock, paper, scissors draw, and now they're both thinking pretty hard here. James Ark taking it with the rock, paper, scissors W. Picking rock. A forbidden strategy, one might say. Let's see what he's got here. The classic Jillen duo with dupe frog sleeves. The classic. The classic.
Ooh, looks like James is on Neos Alias. That's different. Game one Cyber Dragon from Theodore. That's also different. That's also different. That's also different. Just so you guys know, I'm going to need to do the bracket manually. What? Hold on. Hold everybody. Hold everybody. Oh no. Joy Boy is not in bracket. We can fix this. 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 This is insane, by the way. If you guys are seeing this shit, this is insane. What the fuck? This is not right. Something's wrong with the bracket. It didn't load everyone properly. We might need to restart. We might need to restart. Actually, I don't think we do. I don't think we do. I can just add some people, right? Is that how that works? I can just add two people to the bracket. Oh my goodness. How did they, why did it not add people? Why did it delete people? Yeah, it deleted two people from the fucking bracket, the wrong two people. Oh my goodness. Hold everyone. Hold everyone. Hold. 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 Oh no, this is like a worst case scenario. Okay, 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 okay. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? How am I fixing this? We can just add two extra people onto this, right? Like that should work. Something is wrong here. Something got messed up. Dude, what the fuck? Okay. Hold up, everyone. Hold up. Make a new bracket? Yeah, I might have to. I might have to stop everyone. Oh my god. This is a fucking nightmare situation. do it in an expel spreadsheet excel spreadsheet i gotta dm all the players real quick oh my god it deleted the wrong two players there are two players who are not supposed to be on here and it just deleted the wrong players fucking challenge this shit is scuffed too i'll show you when i set it up you guys can see why it's scuffed oh no this is bad this is a mistake oh, okay it's okay we'll fix it we'll fix it we'll fix it We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Thankfully, we caught it early. Thankfully, we caught it early. Thankfully, we caught it early. 
Ah, uh, thankfully we caught it early. Oh no. Just have the two play in the place of the two that were deleted. I need to figure that out. And the seeding is wrong too. The seeding is wrong. Um, I need to DM everyone who's who's uh, playing. Or let me just fix the bracket first. Okay. How do I pot? How do I add someone? How do we? How do we change it once it's started? Settings. Does anyone know how to stop a tournament once it's started? Is there a way to stop the tournament? Can I drag and drop people? Yeah, I know, right? Rather have slightly wrong seeds and restart all those games. Um, the seeding is important because it determines who gets buys. So one player who was supposed to get a buy didn't isn't getting one. Bruh. It's annoying because I published the bracket ten minutes before the tournament started, and the people didn't. Um, the people didn't. Um, didn't tell me. I just need to make a new tournament, which is fine. Can you go to participants and manual add them? No, no, because I've I've set the. You can reset the bracket to take a step back. All reported scores and attachments we lost continue. Okay, let's see, if that works. Let's see if that works. Because I might be able to manually add them. I don't know if I can once the tournament has started. What is going on here? Okay, cool. Yeah, we can. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so Cameron is supposed to be seed 7. See this shit? This is what was happening. It was like deleting people's names. Do you guys see what the fuck is happening? And I had to deal with this all morning. And you have to like change tab. And then like wait for it to fucking load. Every single time you rearrange someone and seed it. It was so annoying. And then like when I deleted people, it just deleted the wrong people. So it's a fucking challenge bug. Like what am I supposed to do? Okay, um... And then Gabe G is not supposed to be in the event. And Choi Boy is supposed to be in the event. And so is Masahiro, I think. Cool. And they should be seated above these guys. I'm just gonna drag and drop them randomly. See, this is fucking annoying. And I gotta go back. And like whatever all right cool dope awesome really great really really dope situation okay <sighs> okay 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 this should be fixed. This should be fixed. Cool. Bracket should be fixed. Ah, uh, we just gotta click start and then we're good to go. All right. Quick repair, quick repair. We are going to be watching now Theodore versus Shamu. Is going to be the new pairing. Hellbilly ba ba Hound, dude, I ran the tournaments there too. What are you what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what this this was the same this was the same shit that's happened in every other tournament. <laughs> Catch a ban, fucking idiot. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine subscribing to say that. Um yeah, yeah, we are we, we um you're right, Coco Seven? No, no, there's a repair. There's a full repair. There's a full repair. The bracket should be fixed. 
if you refresh it, it should be fixed with everybody. Uh, let me let me just repost the bracket link. I think it's the same link. It should should still work. I don't know why it's not working, but it should still work. Um, oh my goodness, that's frustrating. It happens though. It happens. All right. Just posting. Yep, it's the same bracket link, or it should be the same bracket link. Yep, yep, same link, same bracket link. Okay, let me tell them that. Okay. Okay, just 10 minutes late, no big deal. A little bit of a mistake, but happens to the best of us. Happens to the best of us. Not as bad as the one time we had to manually seed the whole fucking 200 people. That was brutal. Theodore must be upset right now. I mean, yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it happens. Repairs happen, like, all the time. Like, if you, go, if you guys go to locals or whatever, repairs happen all the fucking time. If you start your game, I mean, it's just, it's just something you gotta hold. And you guys saw the fucking that, that shit is annoying when it like disappears and shit and when i was deleting players and like removing players it was just removing the wrong players so it's just like fucking gambling on who i was removing and i thought i had everyone correctly and i posted the bracket and nobody said anything till after the tournament started which is awesome it wasn't even after the, it was five minutes after the tournament started when i got tagged that someone was not in the bracket and i was just like you couldn't have checked the bracket when i posted it <laughs> that was the whole point of posting it beforehand <laughs> Uh, okay, but no, we're cool. We're cool. It should be should be good now. Yeah, good to start now. Sorry about that, guys. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, we got Theodore versus Shamu. Or Todor. Cool. Hell yeah. Let's go. All right, we're back. We're back, everyone. We're back. We're back in the game. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Worlds! Ah, RBET Worlds! Whoa! Hype! Everybody like the stream right now. Bump it in the algorithm so people can watch it. it give, give it give it some love. We got a main phase one. Looks like Theodore's going to win the die roll this game. Pretty, pretty hype. Pretty hype. Okay. Okay. Greffer pitch value send Sirocco. Classic start. Classic start from this this powerful <coughs> Swedish duelist. He's hot off his win from Pump King of Games. Now, if I remember correctly, Shamu also got their top with Black Wings. So this might be a Black Wing mirror to start us off. One of the most explosive and, I think, skill-intensive mirrors in the entire format. It's a really difficult mirror to play right. Usually the better player always wins. Which is a, which is a, good, uh, which is a good vibe. Okay. We got a Typhoon. Main deck Royal Decree. Bruh. That's some sauce. That's actually scary. That's really scary. Because now you got to be thinking, what's going on? Oh, no. This could be messy. This could get messy quick. This could get really messy. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. If I'm thinking what you guys are thinking, I'm thinking there's a blizzy in the near future. I think we're going to see a blizzy. Bring back the Bora, sink her off with the Greffer. You know the vibe. Okay. Is everyone... All right. Just making sure everyone's all good. 
We will be updating the bracket live and manually because we had to seed the tournament a little bit specially for this tournament. We had to seed it in a way that favored the people who had multiple tops. Okay. Blizzy, Dark Greffer, and Bora in play. Blizzy and Dark Greffer can synchro off. And then, yeah, I mean, that's just going to happen. The only thing that's like kind of sucks <laughs> for for Shamu is if is if you get owned by if you get owned by Kalu. See the 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 play I would have made is I would have made armed wing cuz cuz you can't take this armed wing cuz it was made with Vayu, it wasn't properly synchro summoned. So if you make armed wing and you crash um then you've got the Vayu. Then you've got the Vayu. But this works out, I mean, similarly. They can't he can't actually take the armed wing here. Because it's not properly synchro summoned. Yep. Good on Shamu for knowing the rulings. Cool. We are underway. RBET season finale. The whole year, the whole year we've been building up to this tournament. People have been like grinding for this all year. People have been playing ladder to get seeding in the thing and then been like fucking playing in every single event trying to get an invite for this. This is like a legit like prestigious event. This is kind of hype. Every single player in this event right now could win the event and I would not be surprised. That would be crazy. Here comes that main deck cyber dragon we did get a chance to see. I wonder... Why he's on such high levels of pre in today's event. I wonder why. Looks like we got Gale. How did you get an invite to this? You had to top 8 an RBET or the charity tournament. And then there was an LCQ that you had to win. So you basically had to top 8 one of those huge tournaments. Or you had to top 8 a charity tournament. Which had like a barrier of entry obviously. Because you had to donate to charity to enter. Tomorrow, there's a regional of Edison in Rome. That's based, Phaser. You're going to follow up RBET rulers with a regional. That's hype. That's hype. Cool, cool, cool. All online tournaments... Uh, this season, yes. This season, yes. Okay, Gale's going to have the Goyo Guardian. And then a Synchro Summon's going to be made. A Synchro Summon is going to be made. Looks like Theodore's going to make Thought Ruler Archfiend. Why make Thought Ruler? So the reason you make Thought Ruler is because you're thinking the back row has to be a, bottomless, B, D, prison, C, mirror force, D, solemn judgment. <laughs> okay, there are a lot of things it could be, but let's be real. Let's be real. If they would have had solemn or whatever, they would have used it on the gale. If they would have bottomless, they would use it on the cyber dragon. Maybe. I don't know, actually. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows what the back row is? The back row could have been Icarus. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows what the back row is? I don't know what the back row is. No attack. No attack from Shamu. Just a switch on the Bora. Where do you find these online tournaments? If you want to join the online tournaments, there is a link to a Discord, the Really Big Edison Discord, in the description below. Join that. That's where they will be. They are playing Decree, so it may be a bluff. No. Uh, Theodore's playing Decree. Are you saying Shamu might have said a bluff because Theodore's playing Decree? That doesn't make sense why would you set a bluff it could be typhoon but yeah it looks like it was deep prison theodore just had the correct read which is big and true big if true and it was yeah see that's the thing he wouldn't dodge bottomless but he knows it's not bottomless because he probably would have bottomless the cyber dragon 
This is interesting. Uh, Shamu waited on using the Kalut. I wonder why. I think you miss damage. Well, no, I know why actually. So the reason you wait on using the Kalut here is because if Teodor or Todor has Sirocco, then it gets bad for you. This is a big Dark Arm Dragon too, because that's going to cut off the Whirlwind. This is big. Yeah, you, you wanna you wanna wait on the attack to play around Sirocco, and they can't really convert the Thought Ruler Archer Fiend without sacrificing it for Sirocco, so that makes sense. Does it dodge brain control sack? I maybe I don't know. This is a smart play from Shamu. Wait to use the Dark Arm till after battle phase. Banish the Blizzy because that's the one that can't be special summoned or utilized from the grave. Heads up play. Brain control hasn't been used from Todor. Uh, so that could be something that generates a reversal here. Additionally, Sirocco at this point is really good. Because you can Sirocco pump run over the Dark Armed. So like Sirocco does get you out of this situation. To a degree. To a degree. Alright, cool, cool, cool. We out here. RBET Worlds. RBET Finals. That is a problem then. Only 19 likes? What the heck? Everybody like the stream right now. Bumps in the algorithm, it gets everybody watching this. It gets everybody watching this. There's a bit of delay. That's probably for the best. <laughs> That's probably for the best. Okay, Dark Arm's going to activate. Here's going to be the Chain Icarus attack. That had to be the answer here. That was the only thing that made any sense behind that T-set. Bora is going to be the summon, and we get to this classic Blackwing Mirror situation where players are both top decking. This happens a lot in the Blackwing Mirror. And whoever's deck top decks better usually wins. But getting to this situation, if you can get to this situation with a slight advantage, then that means you've outplayed your opponent. Here comes the Sirocco. This is big. This is big if true, and it is true. What's up, Monado boy? How's it going? Welcome in, everybody. What's up, Enraged Peacock? I know, this is like the most hype stream all year. Oh my goodness, that's just game. That's just game. That's exact game. Oh, that's so brutal. That's so brutal. Unless the last card in hand is specifically this little guy right there. No, what are you... What are you... What are you doing? Okay, pump up the boy. And then have the boy. So we got 53 over 1,000. That's 4,300 damage. Are we going to game two? Looks like we're going to game two. Brutal. 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 Sirocco into Sirocco. It's kind of like the Mewtwo Wars from, from Pokemon back in the day. Where whoever has the first Sirocco kind of loses. Because the second Sirocco is going to murder you on the way back. Okay, sideboarding. Well, it looks like... It looks like... It looks like... Todor was already pretty. He had Royal Decree and he had Cyber Dragon. But... Didn't really... Didn't really, uh... Didn't really do much for him there. The Decree kind of got Typhooned, and the Cyber Dragon just was used in a minus one synchro play. So they kind of didn't... The two the two sideboard cards didn't really... They didn't really carry their weight. Was that Gale Line lethal through Kalut? I don't think so. I think 4,300 minus 1,400 is only 2,900. So no, it was not lethal through Kalut. But... It did allow you to synchro main phase two into your own thought ruler to play around top deck brain control. So I think it was correct to go for it there. I think it was better than going for the Bora, even though it does use up your Gale. Um, I think it was better than going for the Bora. Okay, Todor's gonna get to go first, which is a big deal.
Looks like we have one one match that is AFK. I'm messaging about it in the Discord, making sure they're getting started. Just a draw pass from Theodore. Okay. Whirlwind start. Kind of gross. Upstart, making it a little more consistent. Did give Todor a thousand more life points. Here's that Swedish classic, Nobleman of Extermination. That's going to be a big one. Oh my goodness. Hitting every Icarus attack with one card. Okay. Okay. Getting verification that they only have two left. Shamu says, is it like cross out? Yes, it is the same as cross out. Basically. This is okay. They can proceed. I think for locals it's different. For locals it's different because it's paper. But we have a judge judging the event. They should ask the judge in the chat if they have a judge ruling. I don't think they have to. I think they can just continue. I'm going to tell them to continue. Yeah. I think it's different online too, because we can verify logs. I think it's different online. Because I know in paper, it's verified slightly differently. All right, we have our first match to report. We have Sunny versus MWN Hydro Pump. Sunny takes it over MWN Hydro Pump. Sunny moves on to face Indikid. Here's Sirocco. This is the reversal play. So there was the Nobleman to clear the Icarus, and then Normal summon Sirocco to run over the Bora through Kalut. What's up, Breno? How's it going? This makes sense because Todor literally passed the first turn of the game without doing anything. It makes sense that he just has a bunch of reversal plays. What's up, Captain Quispy? How's it going? Alright. Shamu deep in the tank. He does have an active Black Whirlwind that Todor was not able to clear. One of the weaknesses of Nobleman of Extermination over something like Dust Tornado. This is double elimination in Rage Peacock. Uh, one of the weaknesses of this card is it actually can't clear face-up spell and traps. So it doesn't answer like Floodgates, like cards like Royal Oppression. And it also doesn't answer Black Whirlwind. So this Black Whirlwind is going to be a fucking problem. Straight up. Like this is going to be an issue. This is public enemy number one right here. Todor better have like an insane hand or he's going to get murdered this turn straight up. Like he's going to die this turn. If you see someone banishing a Kalut off of Allure, you got to be a little bit worried. You got to be a little bit worried. That's just how it is. That's just how it is. It looks like James Ark was also able to take his first win over Fancy Diesel. So James Ark is going to move on. 
Okay, here's special Bora, special second Bora. Big pump. Big pump. Oh my god. What is that? What even is that? 4,000. 7,400. Oh my god. Mind control? Insane OTK turn. Not able to answer the active Black Whirlwind. Brutal. Okay, next match. That's going to be Shamu over Todor. 1-0. Very brutal. Okay, next match. We're going to watch Indikid versus Sunny, I believe. That sounds fun. Ooh. Where is this? Sunny. Watch. Nice. Indikid versus Sunny. Sunny is on frogs, it looks like. And this is also round two. Round two hype. We've got Sunny on frogs with an opening of Evil Guy plus Substitute. Very powerful start here. Able to get his graveyard fully set up, and this looks like it is game one. So thankfully we missed the whole Substitute interaction, but not much else. We're able to catch up there. There's also now a hero in the graveyard for Sunny. So Sunny can activate Miracle Fusion, if they so please. Looks like Indikid is on Elemental Hero Neos Alias with Upstart Goblin. Usually this means hero beat, but like, I don't know. I don't understand why Upstart Goblin. Maybe it's like a deck that plays Future Fusion and you just want to see that early. I'm not sure. I've, I've never seen like, like it's not common to see Upstart Goblin alongside Alias. But sometimes, you know, sometimes it just be doing stuff. Summon Swap Frog, no effect. Activate the effect to bounce. Gonna bounce the Treeborn Frog, build your own Sinister Serpent. Switches the Dupe Frog to defense. Bouncing it to hand there was probably just a misclick. Just clarifying, misclick on dupe. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay. Indy could deepen the tank here. He's got to answer the dupe frogs. Unfortunately, Gemini Spark doesn't... It doesn't... It doesn't make these mistiming. And it looks like he is on Gilman. Kind of awkward to upstart Goblin into Spine Gilman. It's kind of brutal. That's that's tough. Standby phase, are we going to see a discard trap? Something like Phoenix Wing Windblast, perhaps? Looks like Joy Boy is going to take a loss to J4. J4, powerful Swedish duelist. Okay. Here comes the Regeki break. Standby phase, so that Sunny's able to bring back Treeborn. And this is going to be a Caius targeting the Alias. Gemini Spark's going to get chained, but this is... This is brutal, man. I mean, this is brutal. You still have to get through this dupe lock. Oh my god. And now there's a miracle? Oh my gosh. Sunny's going ham right now. What a draw. What a really, really good draw. This absolute zero is huge. It's 4,000, 4,500, 4,500 absolute zero because you count the opponent's water monsters too. Oh my gosh, dude. That's insane. Another 1,000 direct from the swap frog. Yeah, this is going to be tough. This is going to be a tough one to come back from. Honestly, yeah, you just leave the swap frog in play. Just keep the pressure up. Very nice, very nice.
Hmm. A lot of back row. If you're Sunny, I think you just need to play into it. But it's not a happy feeling. If you get forced here, it's pretty bad. Maybe you should have switched the Swap Frog first. I think, yeah, I think you didn't want to play into force there. If you're Sunny. But it looks like Indicate doesn't have force anyway. So it's just going to be a thousand poke. And this is a lethal attack. Let's see if Indicate has the out. Or if Indicate's just going to... Just gonna die. <laughs> As if that's gonna be just like. Yeah. Okay. Compulsory. Not a bad answer. Not a bad answer. Indicud was probably thinking there, thinking about what out they wanted to use. If they have a D prison, it might be a little bit better to use that. Because the compulsory is at least chainable. Oh my gosh. This guy's playing double Gilman and he drew them both. That's so unlucky, dude. That's so unlucky. <clears throat> That's so unlucky. Drew a couple of cards off Upstart and Gemini Spark and just hit both bricks. That's really, really unlucky. Especially in this matchup where every brick is going to cost you. Like, straight up. Building their own Sinister Serpent, yes, yet again. That's going to give them a free discard later in the game. Okay, Miracle Fusion, where can you get info on Edison tournaments in Italy? There's a spreadsheet. That was a big torrential. I think the game's like fucking actually in Indicate's favor now. Nope, never mind, there's a course. <laughs> but that torrential was like, that was like the best possible card. But yeah, there's a link in the description below to a, to a thing. All right, Gors is going to attack Alias, I assume. No? Is this more damage? I don't know. Oh, I guess it has to because the Treeborn. He brought back Treeborn, so it's pumping up the zero. No, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Oh, my God. Absolute zero is 3,000, dude. Oh, no. Yeah. That was an L. Dude, it, it would have been, like, more understandable if he just didn't just have this card in play himself. Tribute set. That's wild. i never seen something like that before. Looks like Kambamwa was able to take the win over Marcus. The bracket is progressing quickly. That's all I'll say. People must be getting aggressive. There was the Dark Dust Spirit. That's what the tribute set must have been. Makes sense, makes sense. Help Homer set or Murray the Fallen. That's hilarious. Okay, Treeborn Frog coming back. Still, though, I mean, Sonny's not in a bad spot. He's not in a bad spot. That was a decent situation. 
with the tribute set. Giant Axe Mummy, Keck. Ooh, this is a good Junk Synchron, too. This is, like, just some free pluses, dude. This is just some free pluses. This is going to bring back Dupe. Uh, I maybe would have brought back Swap, but... It's probably fine. Dupe Frog will get you a Swap at some point. This could run into a Royal Oppression, but it looks like that's not going to be the case. Hmm... Guardian Sphinx. Yo, I've been thinking about Guardian Sphinx. That deck's kind of sick. Or not deck, that card's kind of sick. Alright. Is Hero Blast live for Indicate? It is. He does have an alias in the graveyard. He could Hero Blast here. And it looks like he's going to. That's going to pop the Junk Synchron. Doesn't have a lot of great targets against the Frog deck because most of their shit is like fucking Monarchs. And most of their other shit is like a little Treeborn. little Treeborn boy. Um, Yeah, no reason to attack. But there is going to be a Dust Shoot. Okay. Dust Shoot's pretty big. Dust Shoot's pretty big here. gonna take i don't know i missed it junk it's gonna take junk synchron there we go junk fader treeborn fader miracle that's tough see miracle's a good payoff if you have a hero and because the absolute zero got compulsed that hand's looking kind of sus like it's not bad because the dew frog walls out indefinitely against the hero beat deck but it's not ideal say that much it's not ideal now if you're indicated you could attack over the treeborn because then it won't come back The reason you can attack over the Treeborn here is because Dewfrog was brought back by Junk Synchron and it was negated. Otherwise, if this Dewfrog wasn't negated, you obviously can't attack the Treeborn. You have to attack the Dewfrog. For anyone wondering, this is the third absolute zero to hit play this game. That's going to attack the Dewfrog. The Dewfrog's going to add back a Swap Frog. Looks like Sunny is not playing Unifrog or Flip Flop Frog. Sometimes we see those. Alias attacks over the Treeborn. Let's see that Regeki break. Let's see it. Let's see that whatever it is. Building his own Sinister Serpent has paid off twice now for the first Regeki break and for whatever back row this is. Now this back row can hunt down at the absolute zero and just like limit Indicate's threat output or it can go after the back row. It just depends really. Either way, you gotta make something happen here. Actually, maybe you don't, because you have Fader, but it gets ugly if Indicate has Royal Oppression, and you attack with Fader, and you burn your Regeki Break here. Looks like he's gonna discard Ocean, so he did find a hero for his Miracle. That's a big deal. That's actually a really big deal. Looks like Raikoko took the game over Kuya. Oh my goodness. Challenge gonna give me a heart attack. Every time Challenge does this thing, it gives me a heart attack. If the bracket crashes, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind, dude. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Here comes the Miracle Fusion. Into four back row just says, fuck it. We gotta play the game somehow. Vanishes another substitute with the ocean. If this absolute zero disappears, it will clear the alias with it. So this is at worst going to be a two for one. At worst. Oh, never mind. Gemini Spark is a good way to respond one for one now. 
Still got the alias out of play, though. One Hero Blast is gone. Two Sparks are gone. Two Miracles are gone. A lot of the sort of, like, juice in the Hero Beat deck is now gone. There's only one Miracle left. And you still have to deal 4,300 somehow through double Battle Fader. <laughs> I don't know if that's... If, I don't know if that's doable. I think this game might be pretty tough to win. Especially, you see now, Indikid's on two Gilman. That means Indikid is playing Deep Sea Diva. What are the chances he's playing three Gilman? I'd say like less than zero. <laughs> so he's got Divas, but what do the Divas even do? Maybe amount to a synchro play at some point? Who knows? We could see that maybe, potentially. I don't know what monster you'd set here. RBET season finale. This is so hype, dude. This is a whole year of, like, Edison format, like, stuff coming together in one tournament. All of the best players, all of the best decks, all of the fucking, like, hype that's behind this format is happening right now. This is crazy. I'm not even processing it well. I'm not even processing it well. But this is super sick. Is Rulers going to be an annual tournament, Alex Demand asks. I am planning on trying to do something similar next year, yes. I cannot promise you more than a year in advance, but I am planning on doing an RBET Rulers or equivalent next year. All of the best hosts, yes, we've had some good hosts. My buddy Kazuki was supposed to hop on comms, but looks like he's still asleep, so we're out here. Good morning, Gores. Good morning. Good morning, all West Coast viewers. Good afternoon, all East Coast viewers. And good evening, all EU viewers. Shout out to all the different nations who have made these tournaments what they are. Literally, we wouldn't have these tournaments if it wasn't for everyone coming together. Such a cool feeling. Such a cool feeling. All right, looks like Syrup is going to lose round one to Berndig. Berndig going to move on. Syrup going to drop down to loser's bracket. This game stalled out crazy. Another thing I'm thinking too is like, Sunny might also be a little threat light. Sunny's used two miracles as well. And Sunny's also used two Caius as well as the Dark Dust Spirit. If Sunny's like kind of light on heroes or kind of light on monarchs, maybe Sunny can't play through this number of trap cards and all of a sudden Sunny's got five cards left in deck than Indicate. So we might legit <laughs> see someone deck out. What's up, Julian? How's it going? Shout out all the Colombian viewers. If you guys are here right now, if you guys are enjoying the action, go ahead and like the stream. It bumps into the algorithm, and it makes me feel good. It gives me serotonin. <laughs> Give me that sweet, sweet serotonin. Never fucking mind. That's a threat and a half. That's the evil hero malicious edge. This guy looks like he's straight out of a... I'm not going to say it. <laughs> D-Prison's big, though. Banishes the hero name. There is still a hero in the grave, so the third miracle will be live regardless, but yeah, I mean, just one for one answers to threats. I mean, that's that's probably Indikid's most likely path to victory now. What's up, Jared? What's up, Goblin Punch? What's up, Demir? Yeah, I'm thinking something similar, Demir. Straight out of a scene from Pulp Fiction. <laughs> oh, man. What's up, Scissor? How's it going? All right. Looks like Asgir lost to Zals in round one. Zals is going to take it. 
Ooh. The Sem monster wasn't honest. And here's that Deep Sea Diva we were talking about. This is going to present a very real threat. Now, Indicid could synchro with these cards. He could. Does he have to? No. Robert Triplett asks, are the lists posted for this event? Absolutely not. No. They are not public until after the tournament. But I will be making a video on the top 8 deck lists of this tournament. And that will come out after the tournament is over. So. Okay. Looks like Dad100 fell to Gia76. Big synchro moment. We're actually getting a synchro moment. Scissor asks, is Indikid's name based off of that Kid Cudi album? I don't know. That is something you'd have to ask Indikid. Gonna make Bryonic. Bryonic's, a, Bryonic's pretty good here. I think it is, at least. Here's a battle fader. Forcing a battle fader. What's up, sad meme lord? How's it going? Now, Indikid's gotta think big here. Uh, what's going on? They're gonna bounce the battle fader to clear it. I don't know about that one. I think Ocean's a really good threat. Honestly. Yeah, I don't know about that one. There's one Caius left. The Stardust is going to protect Indikid from specifically Heavy Storm and additional Regeki breaks. He also did know about this Junk Synchron because he shuffled it back with Trap Dust Shoot. That was inevitably going to be a draw. If Indikid has another Hero Blast here, he can at least interrupt this play. But if he doesn't have anything, I mean, this is just Bryonic or Goyo or... Looks like he does have the Hero Blast on the Junk Synchron. Interesting, okay. Huh. It is a plus one kind of for Sun... Not really. Yeah, I know. It's, it's neutral because the Hero Blast is a plus one. Ends up being neutral. Here's Rota for the Stratos, but that's just one less card in deck. I'll, I'll be the first to say it. That's just one less card in deck. If there's a skill drain set and there's an out to absolute zero, this might be this might be game. If the last two cards is skill drain and an out to absolute zero, Indicid might win the game on deck out, which would be crazy. <laughs> could, you, could you guys imagine? All right. Soltai lost to Pizza. A true hero lost to Masahiro. And time on the round lost to Mumix. Mumix going to move on in winners. As are the other three people I just talked about. Alright, big thing moment. Looks like there was a normal summon of an alias. Looks like there was a setting of a back row. And it looks like the dupe frog was run over. Netting another swap frog and the turn was passed. That's what we missed while I was updating the bracket. Cool, cool, cool. Good stuff. Right. Ah. Uh. Cool. Stratos was summoned, but Stratos doesn't get over either of these dudes. It just did a thing. A little bit more deck thinning. But yeah, I mean, if Sunny doesn't have a pot of Avarice or something, I mean, he's going to be pretty threat light here. This could, get, this could get into a serious resource fight.
Hmm. Hmm. Hero Frog. I was not expecting Sunny to bring Hero Frog. I think Sunny got his invite with aliens, which is crazy. That's true, Brandon W. 155 people watching with only 42 likes. You guys better like the stream right now. You guys better do it. Here's going to be a Call of the Haunted. That's a rare inclusion. But that's going to be a really strong Call of the Haunted here. Goyo takes Stratos and then get a search off of it too on top of that. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy, dude. Stratos search Stratos. Y'all haven't lived till you've Stratos searched Stratos. This rarely comes up because there's so few formats with multiple Stratos where you actually want to search another Stratos, but it's you haven't lived until you've Stratos searched Stratos. That was big. That was actually really big. And now, now Indicate's got some real fucking pressure. Like, one Caius isn't even going to out this board anymore. Looks like Yomero has fallen to Dimitri. <laughs> Someone said Common Charity Hero is all about Stratos for Stratos. Yeah, you could Monster Reborn Stratos, search Stratos, and then Stratos into Mali. That is true. Looks like he is on at least one copy of Ryza. So he does have a few more threats. This is actually a big threat too. Because like, if this into Heavy Storm happens, then Indicate's kind of fucked. <laughs> if he was banking on some shit, he's going to chain Bottomless. Interesting. He could have chained Bottomless, chained Stardust. But instead he, he said, nah, I'd rather have the open field. I think keeping the Stardust is is probably fine. Because Stardust protects you from a lot of different shit. It protects you from Absolute Zero. It protects you from whatever that other shit is. Regeki Break. All that shit. And it looks like Kuya is going to be our first person out of the tournament? Question mark? Yep. Looks like Kuya got double eliminated. Brutal. Better luck next time. Congrats on getting here, honestly. Getting here is tough. A lot of people didn't get here. Over, I think, a thousand people had a chance at an invite. So this is like the top 40 out of a thousand people who played in tournaments. Which is crazy to even think about. This is like top 40 of a YCS, if you think about it. Roughly. Smaller YCS, but still, YCS. That's all I'm saying. Seven's in the chat for Kuya. Okay. Hmm. Big thing from Sonny here. Sonny's probably taking account of how many threats he has left. He will need to play at a reasonable pace, though. This is the third and final Miracle Fusion from Sonny. This is going to banish Absolute Zero and probably the third substitute. Yep, looks like that's going to be the case. And here comes the third and final absolute zero summoning from Sunny. Unless he's playing fucking polymerization. Because one of them did get returned to the extra, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Looks like Jay lost to Matt K.
Okay. Big think moment here. Big think moment here. Looks like he's just going to let the Goyo die. Interesting. I wonder what the thought process there is. There's still one miracle left for Indicate if he's playing all three. I'm assuming he is. Like this is this is basically a Diva Hero deck. Clear the fader. Attack the Treeborn. Torrential's gone, but Mirror Force isn't. We know Indicate has at least the other monster he searched off Stratos in hand. Seven cards left in deck for Sunny. We know he has at least one Caius. Potentially further Ryza's. We know he's on at least one copy of Ryza. Potentially more Malicious Edge. We've seen lists with the Evil Guy play upwards of three Malicious Edge. Indicud still has one copy of Deep Sea Diva, as well as one copy of Honest. I'm assuming you don't play only one Honest. He's got to have at least one Bottomless, one Deep Prison. No, no, no. He's used two Deep Prisons. He might not have another one. Sunny says, that one is mine, right? Keck. <laughs> That's funny. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Looks like that Stratos is going to fall. A lot of damage, too. Tough spot. Indicate's back is really against the wall here. If he drops even 100 lower, that last Caius becomes game. Straight up. Sunny's doing this for a little bit of defense, but... I don't know what you're defending against. I guess it's brain control. But brain control kills you regardless, I think. Yeah, brain control should... No, it doesn't kill you. It doesn't kill you if you wall up, if you double wall up. Because absolute zero is going to be 2,500 after the attacks. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Captain Quispy says if they drop Lad into kids in a bad spot. I don't think this deck plays Lad. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, actually. I think they've moved off of it in the further the, the iterations that they have right now. Hmm. It appears I need to make. A slight error or a slight change. In the settings. Oh, to draw. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome, there we go. Is Treeborn mandatory? No, it's not. You don't have to bring it back if you don't want to. 
That was a lot of thinking before just Stratos' attack. Here comes the Malicious Edge. This is the second Malicious Edge we've seen. Now, if I'm Sunny, I'm switching the Absolute Zero to Defense. Because that's going to be a good threat for the rest of the game. Looks like he has the same idea. Now, Indicate can take this 800, but then all of a sudden, Caius murders him. All right, Indicut is big thonking, but he needs to make a play. He needs to make a play. Totagon says, what does Malicious Edge provide this deck outside of Miracle? You've seen it in three builds and you don't understand. So Malicious Edge provides you something for Miracle. <laughs> That's the big part of it. Second off, it's actually a really strong tribute summon. It attacks over both Stardust and other Monarchs. It also attacks over most of the, you know, synchros, like armed wing and shit. And then on top of that, it deals piercing damage. So it helps you against quick draw, which is a bad matchup, because of the tokens. Drill Warrior and the tokens make it very difficult. And then, uh, last but not least, it combos a little bit with the evil guy. The evil guy. You can tribute him over the evil guy, and then it gives you a card draw. And it is searchable off of Stratos, yeah. It's like a tutorable boss monster, basically. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay. There was the removal spell for the Absolute Zero. Gemini Spark. That is the third and final Gemini Spark. There's still one alias, question mark? No, it's banished. All alias are now gone. That was the third and final Gemini Spark activation. Indica now actually getting dangerous on his cards and deck as well. He can't really afford to activate, I'm assuming, all of the upstart goblins he has left. <laughs> this has been such a tense game <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> like, th this is such a tense game. Because Caius is just straight up lethal. Hig says his avarice common. No. I've never seen it in Hero Frogs. Ever. Ninja Deer says he dies to Kai's before he decks out. If. If he doesn't have the out. Let's see what Indicate is saying. It says shit. Uh. It says don't know this ruling. Oh, that works. That works. You will not burn. You will not burn here. That actually does work. It does stop it. It does stop it. It does stop it. However, this is not a good... This is not a good out. You want to know why? Because guess what he's drawing next turn? Exactly. Indicate says, give me Miracle Top. Did he get there? Well, he didn't shuffle his hand, so we know the new back row is... <laughs> I think we're going to see a Caius Lethal here, after this huge, insane amount of grind. Looks like Kambamwa is going to fall to Silchus Ruin. It's going to be a big think here for Sunny. And there comes the Caius, and that's going to be it.
Crazy, crazy game. Wasn't able to find the out for the Caius. Phoenix Wing Windblast, not a hard out. Not a hard out. Unfortunate there. Very unfortunate. Crazy game. Crazy game. And that's just what you expect. I mean, these are the best players in the world. These are the best Edison players in the world right now. Jeez. That was a grind. They were, like, seriously, like, fighting for position every single turn. And they had to play around a bunch of different stuff. I think it was really well navigated. Yeah, Jared, that's a great first game to see. Welcome in. If you're new here, go ahead and like the stream. Go ahead and uh, subscribe to your boy. And if you want to donate to the prize pool of this event, there is a donation link in the description below. Or you can become a member or, you know, like Super Chat or whatever. And all membership fees and stuff from this stream will go towards the prize pool of this tournament. The winner of this tournament is going to get a special custom mat and they are going to get money. I believe. All right, on to game two. Shout out all the members too. You do get some sick emotes and you get members only content as well. So you get some perks. You get some very legit perks. That was a grind, dude. Let's see if Indicate has the sauce for the frog matchup because it can be pretty tough, as you saw. As you saw. Rotor's going to search. Stratos. Both players with the Stratos start. That's solid. That's solid. There could be a pulling the rug here for Indicate, but looks like not. Going to search the little evil guy. And then going to go for the crash to alleviate some pressure. That's just going to happen, apparently. Okay. Sunny had a really strong start in the last game with the Substitutes. This game, a little bit more passive. No Treeborn Frog in Grave. No real threat here. Double back row is, you know, something. But Yeah. Okay, big solemn, big solemn. That's going to simplify this game quite a bit. That's going to simplify this game quite a bit. Hmm. Hmm. That means no treeborn. All right, Alias going to attack over the evil guy. Free plus one. Ocean going to attack directly. Dust Tornado is going to be used on the back row. Indicate needs to think here if this is going to be a chain Gemini spark, which I'm assuming he's thinking about. Oh no, it's called the Haunted. Yeah, if you chain call of the Haunted there, you don't get the Stratos effect, because if you summon Stratos, chain link 2 or higher, because it's a when you can effect, it will miss timing. Which is kind of a weird thing. <laughs> and now there's his gores he's got to deal with. That being said, at least the token's kind of kind of weak. All right, it looks like Blab lost to Gwari. And Gwari's going to move on.
Gorge is going to attack over the ocean. That's going to be... Oh, no, the token's going to trade with the ocean. That's big damage. Is there an honest here? There is. Oh, no. Are we going to game three? That's scary. That's really scary. Okay, more trap cards. Probably fine. Second monster will probably do it, though. Unless there's a mirror force... This is a double elimination tournament, Matthew. Looks like there's a dust tornado here. On enter, okay. This is a dust tornado on enter battle phase. That's gonna hit the Starlight Road. This is gonna be Regeki Break. Oh, he's just doing this for info. Okay. Yep. Doing this for info and then we're going to the next game. Brutal game. Solemn on the Substitute, no Treeborn, no Monarch. No really anything from Sunny there. That was kind of brutal. No payoffs and no setup. All right, looks like Pizza lost a match to Crush. Crush is gonna move upwards. Cool, cool, cool. That was a quick one. That was a quick one. Quite brutal. That was an execution. He just said, nah, no substitute for you. Okay, set monster. Rhoda is going to search for Stratos, I'm assuming. Yep, there it is. Set monster could be a 2,000 defender. Could be like a snowman eater or something. It's just Treeborn. Interesting. I almost expected to see final count downsided in after the last game, but Indikid just said, nah, I'm killing you. That's funny, Taylor. That's true. Final count down hero beat. The new strat. It's the new strat. You plan B into final countdown. Rock and roll, dude. This is a tough tournament. People are murdering people. Like, look how quickly the bracket has moved. Like, that's... It's been an hour and people are already in, like, round three. That's pretty brutal. All right, Substitute is going to activate with priority, sacrificing Treeborn for cost. Let's see if Indicate has a chain. Indicate could chain Wind Blast, or Indicate could also chain like a Compulsory. We know he's playing both of those cards. But is that something you want to do right now? Maybe. If you do it, it shuffles away the substitute. What have we seen round one? We've seen frogs. We've seen hero beat. We've seen black wings. Those are the three decks we've seen so far. I know all the lists, but I'm not going to leak. What's up, Jeropa? How's it going? How's it going, Enrico? This is going to be a full substitute activation everything. Joy Boy is going to lose to Marcus, and that's going to double eliminate Joy Boy from the tournament. Tough luck, but congrats on making it even into this event. Very prestigious, very brutal event. Everybody is playing for real. Set alias, or not set alias, summon alias, set a couple back row, and pass. Is there some heat coming up? Yeah. There is. There's some heat coming up. All right. It looks like Carpath is going to take the victory over Matt K by technicality. And Matt K is going to be, I believe, eliminated. How do I drop someone? Does anyone know how I drop someone? 
lost both game threes. That's rough, Joy Boy. That's rough. And it looks like Raunuk has lost to Masahiro. Masahiro advancing to play against Gia76. Do I miss being able to play in these tournaments because of the necessity of coverage? Eh, kind of. I kind of like doing the stream thing. It's pretty fun. I like interacting with you guys. I like watching people get dupe blocked. Do I like getting dupe blocked myself? Eh, sometimes. It just depends. I think there was one RBET where I was like... I think it was RBET1 where I was just like, damn, this is fucking sick. There's hundreds of players. I wish I could play in this. But I think it's okay. I think it ended up being okay. I'm exhausted. I had a really rough night last night. But thankfully, everything is going kind of smoothly. Does anyone know how to drop someone from challenge bracket? Is there a way to do it? Right click, click on the user, move it around. Is there a way to do it? Participants. Maybe it's from here. This game state is stalled the fuck out, dude. If I click delete, would that be a bad move? Someone tell me. <laughs> oh, big brain control. Gonna chain Gemini Spark. And this is actually pretty bad because now the Dew Frog is gonna miss timing. Because Gemini Spark was chain link too. Like I said, if y'all want to contribute to the prize pool, all donations, all membership fees, all everything are going to the prize pool of this tournament. So everything you guys want to give to the stream or to the donation link in the description below or whatever, all of that's going to the prize pool of this tournament. I want to make sure the, the players get, get some good shit for this. They're also getting, a, I think first place is getting a custom mat too, which is going to be fire. Give match losses is the safest way to drop someone. Okay. Challenge says get hit the trash can button to drop. Oh my god. I'm so afraid of doing that and just fucking the bracket up, dude. I'm so afraid of doing that and fucking the bracket up. I think either way, because of the if he drops, then the winner of this will move on anyway. So I think I'm just gonna give him a match loss when his next opponent, when Yomero and Asgir finish their match think unless their match is already finished let me double check looks like paulus has lost to zeris zeris is going to move on to face cameron that should probably be a hype match Dang, every match from this is going to be a banger. I'm really excited to see all the other, like, content creators who have been making, like, Edison videos, like, post their replays and shit in videos. Ooh, ooh, that's nasty. Oh, wait. Chainlink 3, Call of the Haunted Ocean. Yo, Chainlink 4, Double DD Crow. Oh, my God, the crows. Yo, that was nuts. That was really good. That was really good. Oh man, that was nuts. That was a crazy move. 
That was actually a crazy move. Dang. It looks like Aleph Yatu is going to be given a match loss due to being AFK. That's kind of sad. I was hoping to see what he brought to this tournament. It looks like, um, unfortunately, that's going to be the case. Fossil Dine is big here. Fossil Dine is big here. Here comes the Honest. Fossil Dine is locking up the game, though. Matthew Fowler says crow not necessary. I mean, what did the crow do here? What did the crow do here? It still looks like Indicate is fine, despite the crows. Crowface says Mumix is on a really cool deck. That's hype. Looks like Jay has lost to Fancy Diesel. So Fancy Diesel is going to move on. And Jay is going to be double eliminated from the tournament. Brutal. Brutal setup here. This Dyna is like actually crushing. If Sunny doesn't have an out to the Dyna, then it's going to be it's going to be rough. Okay, Sunny has an out. It's Book of Moon. Is this going to do it though? Is there something to stop this Book of Moon in Indikid's hand? And also, Book of Moon on Dinah's kind of, you know, gives him his effect back, so. Oh my god, he has Solemn. That's rough. Now, Sunny does play Junk Synchron, and he does play the Heroes, which can attack over Dinah. But if Indikid has another defensive card, then that's just going to be tough. The awkward part about Alias is Alias with Honest still can't even attack over Substitute. But there is an Alias in Grave, so Hero Blast will be able to clear a 2000 Defender, at least the first one. Looks like Zal's lost to Beast Mode. Beast Mode moving on to fight James Arc. That's going to be a hype match. I know there is some... Uh, some beef between those two players. So that's probably going to be a fun one. How did that Honest get banished? Yeah, okay, it was just a misclick. Looks like the set was Treeborn Frog. Bryce says we got to watch Beast Mode versus James Arc. If this match ends in the next five seconds, you know where we're going. You know where we're going. That card's got to out the Dyna, or else... That's going to be the game. Oh my. Oh my god. Second Dyna. This motherfucker has a second Dyna. Oh. Indicate went crazy. He said, you're going to deck me out? You're going to deck me out like that? I'm going to just beat you to death in the next two games. That was nuts match. That was a nuts match. Okay, I'm going to. Go ahead and fix that one up. Indicate's going to move on, and we are going to go ahead and hop over to James Arc versus Beast Mode. We can't miss this. Beast Mode has topped three fucking RBETs, which is insane. And James has been, like, the number one player for, like, ever. I think Beast Mode was either the first or the second seed in this, in this event. Okay, let's see. This is going to be hype. This is going to be really hype. Let me update the stream title real quick. This is going to be really hype. Beast Mode versus James Arc. This is a fucking match. This is like, this is what we what you guys are paying to see. If you don't like the stream for this kind of match, I mean, what are you going to like the stream for? Really, y'all should like the stream right now. I, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Y'all should like the stream right now. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. 
do what you gotta do. This is hype, dude. This is fucking hype. Holy shit. I can't believe they're actually meeting in bracket at an actual very critical moment. I think the winner of this gets into top 16. Um Yeah, and this is a this is just a tough tough match. Yo, shout out to Bryce V for gifting five memberships. Fuck yeah, dude. All of that is going to go towards the champion or yeah, towards the championship prize pool. So thank you very much, Bryce V. This is going to be nuts. There's also Mumix versus Indicate. Bruh. Can we have two matches on at the same time? Could we do it? Oh my gosh. I want to watch both those matches so badly. Yes, right now they are both undefeated, Matthew Fowler. Of course. Can I split screen? I don't think I can. I mean, I'm just going to focus on the one match. I'm, my commentary is already pretty disjointed. Looks like Beast Mode is taking his dog outside, but he'll be back shortly. Multi-match drifting. We could hop back and forth. We could hop back and forth. I'm not opposed to that. But I don't know if that's the best for, like, viewership. And what if we miss a hype moment, you know? Animatic says, do the players of these tournaments announce their decks in advance? They have to submit a deck list, but the deck list is not public. Oh shit, Crowface, you can't be telling me that. You can't be telling me that. Temp Ether game? Okay, okay. Okay. Alright. If it's even up, I don't know if it's up yet. It is up. Alright, let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Mumix is playing. Oh my god. Mumix is playing Christia Sworn. Fuck! And he has four fairies in grave! Ah, you guys are gonna make me click off of this to go watch James vs. Beast Mode? I mean, we gotta watch James vs. Beast Mode. But this... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is based. I see fucking Shire. Bro, fucking Frodo Baggins in this bitch, dude. Oh, my God. Yo. And he has the Christia! Turn 1 Christia! Oh my god, you guys are gonna make me click off of a turn 1 Christia? I can't do it. You can't make me do it. You can't make me do it. Oh my god. That's some fucking sack, dude. That's some fucking sack. Okay, is it possible to split screen? Hold. Hold. Hold everyone. This is gonna be this is gonna be brutal. Okay. I'm gonna try this. Okay, right. We're gonna try this. Dueling book. We've gotta log into a different account. Hey, no narcs. No narcs. I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna try to do it. And face he milled a plague too. And he's back up to four fairies. Oh my god. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a brutal killing. This is gonna be a brutal killing. All right, give me a second. I'm signing into another account. This might kill my computer too. My computer's already struggling to. If my computer crashes trying to do this, I apologize. Hold up, everyone. Okay. If my computer crashes trying to do this. Oh no, it's moving a little slow. It's moving a little slow. Okay, I'm shrinking this one down. This one's got to be, like, up here, kind of. Is that going to work out? Okay. And then this one. This one's going to be underneath it. Dude, this is, this is cursed. I'm sorry, guys, but we got to do it. Am I using OBS? Yes, I am. I am using OPS. Pray, praying for my GPU. Everyone prage. Prage in the chat that this works. Because if this doesn't work, oh no, <laughs> I'm going to feel like an idiot. I'm getting the best of it. I'm getting greedy here. I'm getting greedy as fuck. Okay, hold up. Hold up, everyone. All right, there's a magical android in play on James Ark's side of the field. I'm just I'm just keeping you guys a little updated. All right, we're just doing a little bit of update. So update action. Okay, hold up. Hold up. I'm trying to get both screens visible. Okay. This might be the dumbest shit I've ever done, but we're going to try it. Okay. Hold up. Why is the fucking dueling book sound playing? 
Get that shit out of here. Okay, now we need a new window capture. Window capture, okay, properties. Okay, switch this one on. <laughs> this is fucking cursed. <laughs> We're getting there though, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, I'm gonna have to commentate two matches at the same time, but it's gonna work out. It's gonna work out, chat. We can get there, we can get there together. Together we can do this. Yo, thank you for the five gifties. Five gifties going towards split screen. Y'all wanted this. Y'all want, I'm just saying, y'all wanted this. Y'all wanted this. We got a Starlight Road. Went on break to see Turn 1 Christia. <laughs> Based Kevin Robinson. Thank you for the dono. All donos are going towards the prize pool of this tournament. Shout out to the gifters. Facts. Shout out to the gifters. Y'all are making this, making the world go round. Everybody who gets gifted subs, you're you're living. You're getting the free content. So in James Ark's game, we've got <laughs> what do we got? Gilman, Diva, and the Grave from James Ark. We've got Beastmo with a couple of set monsters. James has gained 1,200 life points. Indicate is Indicate and Mumix are checking if they can activate Starlight Road. I think look, don't quote me on this shit. Why is he DMing me? Uh, please ask Judge in the Discord. I am commentating two different matches <laughs> somehow. Okay, 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 okay. James has now gained 1800 life points. Ladies and gentlemen, James has gained 1800 life points. Looks like Beast Mode is on Pyramid Turtle Zombies. Huge. Ninja Deer says you can activate Road under Christia. Uh, shit, man. They, I'm just going to let him check with the judge. Dude, this is cursed. This is cursed. Can we, like, enhance this somehow? Hold up. I'm going to see if I can plus. Command plus. Is that working? Oh, that ain't doing shit. I reset. That ain't doing shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> I think my bracket is crashed. Or my fucking browser is crashing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why did I press my luck? Why did I press my luck? What is going on? No, don't crash, don't crash. Don't crash. Not like this. Not like this. Someone says, what's my laptop's fraction? I'm on a desktop. But I'm doing some other shit in the background too. Oh no. Oh no, <laughs> this might have been too powerful of a stream. <laughs> Four of the most powerful duelists in, in one place. Mistakes were made. Dueling book leaks memory like crazy facts. Dueling book, I've never crashed as much as I've used, I have using dueling book. My fan is like blowing up right now. It says my CPU is at 33% usage on OBS. So we should be okay. We should be okay. At least for the duration of this match. Stratos is summoned from James Ark. Stratos searches alias. James Ark is on Diva Hero. But he's on like Diva Hero Beat. And Beast Mode's on Pyramid Turtle Goblin Zombie. Looks like Starlight Road can be activated. Christia's gonna attack directly. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. I don't think this situation is very good for Mew Mix. I think that uh, Celestia play was pretty bad, actually. I think that was a bad play. There's a compulsory, and now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fairies in the graveyard. Unless Mew Mix has a pot of avarice right now, he's actually fucking boned. He's got Christia. We know he's got Herald in hand, I believe. Maybe he used it. I don't fucking remember. Uh. James Gray says, any votes to go back to one match your small brain can't handle? Beast Mode and Luck are playing your two favorite Edison decks ever? Yeah, yeah, these are pretty base decks. I can't cap. 
I can't cap zombies and heroes. Pretty based. Looks like this alias is going to go beatdown mode. He heralded Stratos. See, that's what I get. That's what I get for paying attention. Or not paying attention. Yeah, see, Mumix kind of got fucked there. Because his Christia didn't amount to shit. <laughs> it, like, really didn't do anything for him. And now he, like, can't do anything. Brutal. Brutal. Let's see if he can claw his way back. If he's playing JDs, he can probably come back. I mean, JD is live now. Arcus in the deck and Shire in the deck lead me to believe he is playing Judgment Dragon. Because, like, why the fuck would you play those cards if you weren't playing... Like, you would just play better cards if you weren't playing Judgment Dragon. Looks like Ark is also on Honest. He's pitching it to a Bryonic right now to bounce a back row. I wonder what his, his thought process is there. Maybe trying to resolve a Miracle Fusion happily. But... This whole circumstance is kind of tricky. Yep, there's the Miracle Fusion. This is going to be a pretty strong Absolute Zero. It's buffed by the Bryonic existing. But James is down two full cards. No, one full card. He's down one full card here. But he'll pick up that card advantage by running over the Caius. Is this an even game state? I wonder if he's going for the clock. Oh my goodness, he's going for the clock. Ladies and gentlemen, he's going for the double Miracle Clock. He's actually going for the clock. Hold up, is this just fucking game? Does he just bounce the two and go for game? Is he not scared of gores? Does he just say, fuck it, you don't have gores? Is that what's happening right now? Is this a fucking moment? Oh my god, this is peak fuck it Yu-Gi-Oh. Peak fuck it Yu-Gi-Oh. James is going for game. He's going for a lethal push with Bryonic double zero. Meanwhile, Mumix is getting fucking owned kind of well it is his turn he's chilling i just think about oh never fucking mind there's call of the haunted holy shit that's a big call that's a big call looks like beast mode had the track that's brutal that's brutal you have to bounce the yeah you can bounce the absolute zero to pop the track or you could bounce the track but at this point, you just have to bounce the absolute zero to pop the drag. Yeah, he did have the out. He did have the drag, and that's gonna be a that's gonna be a rough one. I think James is dead here, straight up. The only way he's not dead is if Beast Mode's hand is literally eight monsters that he can't summon, straight up. And there's the JD. There's a motherfucking Judgment Dragon. Main phase two Judgment Dragon. I've never seen a main phase two Judgment Dragon in my life. Actually, I have. I'm, I'm capping. I'm capping. And phase mill four. This is insane. This guy's going off. Call of the Haunted is fire in this deck. There's Gale that's going to run over the Bryonic for beast mode. And this game is going to devolve into an I have eight cards and you have two. Very shortly. Very, very shortly. Although one back row is kind of like sus. No cap. Beast Mode's gonna use the back row. Get two for one. But now Beast Mode has three darks in grave. So that's gonna be tough. JD in play, I mean, that's just... It's hard to beat. It's hard to beat Judgment Dragon here. Is the set card a Beckoning Light? Yep, there's the Dark Arm Dragon we kind of knew about. Hmm. If there's a beckoning light, you could go grab back, like, whatever, 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 and then just lo lock this one up. Maybe, I don't know. You're actually getting kind of low in cards in deck. I'm not sure what beckoning even gets back here. Double hamster, that's very interesting. It's a bit small to see on the phone. We'll go back to one match after this. I just wanted to hype it up for the people. This is kind of a meme. <laughs> Oh, man. This is crazy. This game is crazy. Looks like Shamu lost to Silchus Ruin. I need to update the bracket. <laughs> While I'm doing this, Silchus Ruin is going to move on. Oh, my goodness. Challenge, not like this. Oh, challenge, not like this. 
No, don't be giving me a wheel challenge. Don't do it. Not like this. No, no, please, let me report the score. Oh no, <laughs> four matches at once, dude, for the world finals, we gotta get four matches on the screen. Hold up, challenge, acting up. Go ahead and play your next rounds. We'll get it up to date in a second. There we go. Okay, Silchus Ruin takes it over Shamu. Then we got... Fucking bitch, dude. I cannot type for shit. We got... Yomero takes it over Asgir. And then... Uh, Fancy Diesel lost to Zals. Zals is going to move on. And Kambama won against Todor. There we go. Cool. All right, should be up to date. Awesome. Back to the match. Are we somehow still in this fucking Judgment Dragon game? What's going on, bro? Activate Judgment Dragon. What do you... What? Yo, if Mumix loses this game after summoning a turn 1 Christia and a Judgment Dragon when his opponent's on 3 cards, I'm gonna be blown away. I'm gonna be... I'm not gonna believe it. I just don't believe this. Indicator has priority in damage, but Mumix can activate something on the attack declaration. If Mumix has... Uh, Beckoning Light, he can grab back Herald of Orange Light and it's just a huge fucking blowout. Looks like James Ark is, you know, he's staying in this game fucking somehow. He's brought back that 8 cards to 2 and now he's 2 cards to 6. Which, he's managed 2 plus 1s, but he's used all 3 of his miracles. Um, and he's pretty, pretty fucking dead here on board, unless he has a stop. And if he has a stop for these 2 cards, then... They are going to give effects. So, like, using a Hero Blast on a Mizuki is like, that's okay. But then he can just Mizuki back the Ill Blood, normal summon the Ill Blood, Ill Blood back the Goblin Zombie, and then all of a sudden, it's actually bad that you fucking had a Hero Blast that. Like, so, um, tough spot for James. Tough spot. There's going to be an Honest Activate. What the fuck is going on? How is, how is Indicate still in this? Turn one Christia. Resolve Judgment Dragon. Resolve Celestia. What the fuck is going on? How is he? St how is he still in this? I don't. I don't. I don't understand. Not only is he still in it, but he's threatening fucking lethal. So if Mumix doesn't have anything here, I mean, he's not. Nothing's happening. Like the game's over. If he doesn't have a card right now, that's crazy. That's actually crazy. We know he has a dead Christia. I think. He has Plague and Grave, at least. I don't know. Maybe you can make something happen there. Okay. Looks like the bracket's up to date. Looks like everything's moving forward as expected. And there's the Beckoning Light. I am... A little bit shocked appreciate that drunk appreciate that what's up Sevilla how's it going goblin zombie gonna mill a Gemini spark a Phoenix wing wind blast is gonna get used on a Caius but now James is on zero cards to however many and that's gonna be a lethal Caius moving on to game two beast mode taking that over James thanks to a clutch Tragodia Interesting. If you're in Mumix's position here, you just get Lila. See, this is tough, right? Because you just if you get Lila JD, whatever, you risk decking out before you kill your opponent. Appreciate that, Dark Dragon. What's up, Duelist? What's up, Seeker? How's it going? 
Welcome in RBET World Championships, the top 40 players in the world right now, facing off to get into the top eight of the most prestigious motherfucking shit. The winner of Indicate and Mumix has to play against Silchus Ruin, three-time RBET topper. Silchus Ruin has wanted to win one of these since day one. He's been in the top three, three times, which is insane. I don't even believe it. Like, that's fucking crazy. Looks like Cameron lost to Zerus and Raiko lost to Pro Storm. So Pro Storm's actually going to move on despite getting a uh, game one loss due to being late, I believe. Insane. Busted. Zerus is going to take the game down versus Cameron. And Zerus is going to face off against Crush. Pro Storm is going to move on to face J4. That match is going to be crazy. You guys trying to get three matches on screen? I have three accounts. We could get three matches on. We could get three matches on screen. That's all I'm saying. I am shocked. I am like in awe that this game is still going. This Mumix game. I don't believe it. It just doesn't make sense. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Starting off the game slow for James, just a back row. No Stratos, no Alias, no Diva. Goyo taking the Alias. Somehow this game where a Christia and a Judgment Dragon were resolved... We've landed here <laughs> somehow. I don't, I don't know how. Literally, don't know how. What did he, did he activate that gold sark or did he mill it? I don't even know. I don't think he activated it because there's nothing banished. Indicate waiting for beckoning light to activate dashi was op. Yeah, that was smart. That was a heads up play. All right, attacking the Spear Reaper. Okay, lots of damage, lots of damage. Looks like James had drawn a Gilman. It got discarded off of the Reaper. But he's going to get 1,700 damage for his trouble. Horizontal display for both matches would be a little better, but the scaling might be fudged. I mean, we're going to stop doing this immediately after. <laughs> we need a tier list review and like a cursed deck build going on simultaneously. We need more shit going on, actually. This is cursed. I think Mumix is going to take game one versus Indicate. I don't see how Indicate ever wins this. Like, literally ever. That being said, he is playing double Soul of Purity and Light. Wow, this, this deck is based. Mumix deck is based. Oh my god. Mumix is going to take game one with Christia Sworn, Christia Fairy Sworn over Indicate. That was really hype. Moving into game two for Indicate versus Mumix. And we got James Arc down here versus versus uh, Beast Mode. James says, you try to trick me? Question mark. This is nuts, actually. <laughs> this is crazy. Why are we doing this? <laughs> Whose idea was this? Whose idea was this? I want to get a third match on here. I want to watch Pro Storm J4 so badly. You guys don't understand. We saw Mumix's deck. Can we go watch Pro Storm versus J4, please? Please. Can we just check it out? Can we just check it out while they're siding? 
Oh, just a little bit of... I just want to see Pro Storm versus J4 so badly. Oh, we're going to catch the start of this too. Ah, this is hype. This is so hype. This is like when you get the fucking premium sports package and you can watch like eight fucking games and you're just like hooked up and you're just like, fuck yeah, bro. This is what it is. The fucking ESPN of fucking Edison right now. Just do three screens. Dude, you know what we need? We need a fucking backup stream. Yo. Facts, Bryce V. Facts. Thank you for the donation. That's going to go towards our super chat or whatever. That's going to go towards the prize pool of this tournament. Shout out to everyone who has contributed so far. You guys are the best. This is the red zone of Edison. Every tourney should do more than one stream and double matches on screen. That'd be fire. Looks like J4 is going to go second, but he is going to have a Black Whirlwind opening. Pro Storm with just the T-set. Just the T-set action. Totagon, that's a cursed, cursed decision. James Arc activating a uh, heavy storm. J4 going to summon Sirocco into bottomless. That's going to stop both the Black Whirlwind, any potential Icarus attack. Solemn Judgment going to be activated from beast mode. Oh my god, we're in, we're in peak gamer mode right now. My brain is dialed in right now. My brain is dialed, dude. The only thing that's going to break my brain is like one person's going to be like, hey, we need to report our loss. And I'm going to be like, fuck, and my brain's going to collapse. All right, let's see what Pro Storm is on. Oh, shit, Pro Storm's on fairies. Let's fucking go, dude. That's hype. Fairies versus Black Wings, a classic matchup. Nova Summoner going to get summoned as well. Oh, my goodness. Dude, this is sick. Beast mode losing life points here. 2150 for the Solemn Judgment. Fairy player with the back row. Two recruiters in play. A second whirlwind from J4. Does he have a normal summon though? He does. He has Bora. Now where's the stop? Jeez. No stop. Double whirlwind. You gotta feel good about that if you're a J4 fan. You gotta feel good about that. But that being said, I mean... Tricky situation to navigate. Tricky situation to navigate. You probably grab Kalut Blizzy, but you could also grab Kalut Gale. Because there's actually, there's actually an argument to Black Rosing this field. As crazy as that sounds, there is an argument to Black Rosing this field. Because Shining Angel and Nova Summoner, they're going to murder you. Like, you can search a Kalut all you want. You know what I mean? Are you getting through DD Warrior Lady ever? I don't know. You could also search Double Kalut. You could search Double Kalut, but that's like kind of silly, right? Because then you're just hoping to damage race, and that's it's not going to get you there. Yo, what's up, Yu Gi Oh! Meta Duelist with the super chat thing? Thank you so much. Is this a two-day event like the other RBET? I'm hoping to get it all done in one day. I'm hoping to get it all done in one day. The James Arc match still stalled out quite a bit. Heavy back row Spirit Reaper. Not much is really going on. I'm going to go ahead and hop over and update the bracket real quick. Looks like Sunny has lost to Syrup and Sprite. Unfortunate. But still, congrats on making it in, Sunny. Very difficult tournament. Very powerful players. Okay. There's the Gale. Let's see. Is J4 going to Black Rose this field? Is J4 going to use his Whirlwinds to neutralize these two recruiters? Which are going to... They're going to be a huge problem for this deck, dude. Like, straight up. Like, you're just going to have issues getting through this shit. Let's see if... Let's see if he's about it. Let's see if he's about it. Because, like, otherwise, like, so you're specialing a Gale here. You're just losing that Gale. They're just going to run it over. Um, Bora isn't really doing much either here. The Whirlwinds are good, but, like, you don't really have other normal summons. You don't got Shura like that. Oh, wow, he's actually going to go for this attack. That's kind of crazy. He's asking for priority and damage calc. 
This could be really bad for Jay if there's an honest here. This could be really bad. Okay, Angel's just gonna activate. Pro Storm's gonna get a search. James Arc and Beast Mode still doing nothing. <laughs> More back row though. <laughs> this is gonna be a crazy game when this board finally breaks. James is committing an alias. Dude, this is this is hype. Yes, Murray, there is info on that. It's going to be announced December 31st. But that is happening for sure next year. Barring some crazy circumstances. Here's going to be an Icarus attack. Gale targeting the two monsters in play here. That's a big Icarus. That's actually a big Icarus. And that's going to work out really well for J4. That's going to work out really well. I was thinking if he had an Icarus, he would have done it first before attacking over a recruiter, but looks like he didn't really care. Looks like he was just going in it there. Pro Storm thinking here on the attack declaration, he could like have a D prison or something here. Who knows? Looks like James gone into Bryonic, and he's just activating Bryonic for one to bounce the Spear Reaper by pitching. An extra copy of Deep Sea Diva. Okay. Looks like a bottomless is going to be chained. The Reaper is going to go back to the hand. And that's going to be that. That's a big bottomless too. Because if... Yeah, that's a big bottomless. That's going to get rid of the Bryonic. And then... Yeah. I gotta update the bracket real quick. Looks like Soltai won over Raunuk. F's in the chat for Raunuk. Brutal, brutal double elimination there. Uh, Soltai is gonna move on, and it looks like Matt K has dropped, of course. So Yomero's gonna move on. And. I'm going to go ahead and give Aleph Yatsu a match loss against Syrup and Sprite because he is not here. Okay, back to the matches. Back to the matches. What have we missed? Just lag. Okay, we got some lag issues. We got some Pro Storm lag. Pro Storm lags in the chat. It's now Pro Storm's main phase one. Okay. James somehow with a solemn judgment on that bottomless. Hmm. Another Nova Summoner from Pro Storm. Looks like he's playing two Novas. This is going to crash into the Bora. J4 thinking if he wants to collude just for a 1400 point burn. Now the Nova here can grab Honest. Which is going to be pretty fucking good if it's back in a Christia. I was just grabbing Shining Angel? Huh. That's going to be five fairies. Interesting. I wonder if he has a way to control this graveyard. He might. Cyber Valley? Okay. Respectable. He's on the Cyber Valley technology. This is a card that I love in this deck. And you're going to see here why. I mean, he's going to banish the Bora most likely to draw two new cards. And somehow against his opponent, who's got double Whirlwind, he's got five cards to their three real cards. Brain Control Cyber Valley is a pretty legit combo. All five recruiters in the grave, though. Christia offline, kind of unfortunate. Not the best situation. You have no monsters in play. You're a little bit low. Yeah, this is a tough situation for Pro Storm. I think this is actually a tough situation. I think he's dropped a little too low, and I think his graveyard position is not great. He needs to have something pretty fucking good in the back row. But he, he does have the cards. He just needs to make it happen. Like, he needs to have something to make it happen. Trigodia coming down again for Beast Mode. Big track both times. 
That's crazy. Okay, so he's, he's going to try to pitch Mizuki to take Spine Gilman. But Spine Gilman is level 3 and Mizuki is level 4. So uh, you can't can't do that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that does not work. Here comes Blizzy. Blizzy can target the Gale and search two copies of Vayu. Which is something you can do. If you want. Pro Storm big thinking here. He's going to Torrential to deny the searches. Interesting. But the Gale's going to come back in defense. Hmm. If you're Pro Storm, you're just hoping there's like not an Icarus or something. Allure getting played afterwards. Interesting. That's probably why J4 was thinking. He was probably thinking, should I Allure first to try and find like Typhoon or something? To clear these back row to make sure my play goes through. But instead he went for a little bit greedier of a line going for the Blizzy to search the values to banish one of those. Uh, James is down bad. Your boy's down bad here. It's kind of rough. That's kind of rough. Unfortunately, both times going for the Bionic push. Trigodia is going to stop it. This alias does attack over both monsters in play, though. There's a heavy storm from Pro Storm, clearing his own D prison, but also clearing double whirlwind, which you got to be pretty happy about. And now you've stuck D Elk. You know the hand is one Kalut, I believe. You don't know anything else in the hand. I think you know the one Kalut. It looks like he's also on mind control with Cyber Valley. This is a combination that, like, like I said, I've been testing it lately. And it's been insane. And it looks like James is going to fall to beast mode. And beast mode is going to move on. Both times James went for an OTK. Uh, he had Trag. And that's just tough. Beast mode talking a little bit of shit. Moving on in the bracket. Okay, we're going we're gonna to focus here on the Pro Storm match. Because this is, this is what we got to see. This is what we got to see. We're going to make this a little bigger. Make that a little bigger. Am I just like fucking up here? What's going on? That's the chat. That's the that's the okay. That's the one we wanted to clear. And this is gonna be text. Where's the text? This one. This one. Okay, we got Pro Storm versus J Four. Okay, cool. We're back. We're back. Let's go. It looks like J4 is on main deck decree. I wonder if that's something him and Todor worked out together. Todor has been eliminated from this tournament, I believe. No, he might still be in it. No, he lost. He lost in uh, losers round two to Kambamwa. This Dialk is going the distance. And if it dies, I mean, it floats back into a cyber valley, which really isn't that bad. J4 forced to stem the bleeding a little bit. Gonna use the Kalut to attack, but... That's a D prison. Clearing the Kalut. Makes sense. You kind of want to hit something good with this D Elk. Looks like you're hitting a Ryko. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Gives you a little bit of option select. J4 needs to find something this turn, or he loses the game to this D Elk. And even if he does find something to clear the Dialk, that's going to float into either Cyber Valley or Raikou and give Pro Storm even more options. Here comes Nobleman of Extermination. That's pretty big. Going to chain Dust Tornado on the Nobleman. Main deck Dust Tornado. Interesting. Bryce says losing with double Whirlwind is crazy. Dude, that's just the matchup though. Like, fairies just beat the fuck out of Black Wings. Like, you can have, like, the best shit. Oh, shit. Pro Storm banishing the tech. Main deck DD Crow getting run over. Yeah, DD Crow's not going to be that great in this matchup either. And now you're well above three dark, so a top deck dark arm isn't going to do it. And J4 is going to lose game one to Pro Storm. Damn, dude. After drawing double whirlwind. That's nuts. And it's not even really like Pro Storm had anything too crazy. Like, what did he have that game? A dimensional alchemist? <laughs> Like, what did he have? He just had some dudes. 
And that was it. And that was all it took. It was just some dudes in like a bottomless trap hole. That was tough. That was a tough one. Now, this is when things are going to get scary. Because, I mean, J4's got to have access to Deck Dev and Light Mirror and that shit. Pro Storm has got to have access to... I don't know what he's citing. Because I don't know what his build is like. I knew he was playing this going into the tournament. And that's partially why I wanted to cover this this match. But I don't know what he's citing. I know he's on some heat tech. like that. We saw that Legacy of Yadagarasu... And the main deck, Dust Tornado as well. Those two cards are going to make it really difficult for for him to take control of the game. I got to check the bracket. Okay, cool. We got a lot. We got time on the round. Lost to Blab. Blab is going to move on. Okay, cool. We got... Time on the round, lost to Blab. Submit scores. We got Burn Dig, lost to Guari. Guari's going to move on. Well, that must have meant 10 FD lost to Burn Dig. No. They didn't report that. Okay. That's fine. We'll catch up. Guari's going to win that one. James Ark did fall to beast mode. Pizza lost to a true hero and was double eliminated. And Carpath, shout out Carpath, has fallen to Dimitri. Sighting still in progress? No. We've got Ashura on the play. Okay, let me update this real quick. Dimitri's going to move on. I think that should be the, the bracket for now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, bro, bro. Do you see this shit? Do you see this shit? He is on some tech. That's some tech. That's some tech. Orb. Many know of the orb. Also, I'm just noticing Pro Storm's playing 42 cards. Pro Storm is playing 42 cards. That's crazy. Looks like Mumix did lose against Indikid despite winning game one. Indikid gonna move on with Hero Beat. Mumix with Christia Sworn gonna drop into loser's bracket. Indikid gonna face off against Silchus Ruin. That's probably a hype match. But you know I gotta watch Pro Storm J4. Looks like Shining Angel's gonna be the summon. Is there an Icarus attack? No. This is just going to be free free everything then. Huh. I wonder what J4 got set here then. DD Warrior Lead is going to banish the Shura, remove it from play. And now J4 is pretty much locked out from summoning most of the monsters in his deck, which is brutal. Dude, my stomach hurts. Looks like 10FD has fallen to Hydro Pump. Brutal. Double elimination. That's the thing. You can win a couple RBETs. You can win a couple tournaments. It don't matter. This Every, every player in this bracket is a fucking killer. Every player in this bracket is a fucking killer. Holy shit. Are you getting muted for using cuss words, Gores? I think my chat is like auto-modded. So. Alright, I don't know the settings. 
What's Hydrobo playing? I don't know. He's in loser's bracket. All I know is he lost very quickly in round one. So something that loses very quickly. This is a tough situation. Thunder King Ryo, okay. Some more some more sauce from Pro Storm. He's on it all, dude. He's got it all. Thunder King attack over the Bora. Not gonna let the flip summon synchro summon happen. Brutal. Do I have it set on top chat? What is top chat? Let's just see live chat. Why the fuck is it on top chat? Sorry, guys. Normally, it's set to live chat. I don't know why it wasn't default set to that. This is a big brain control. This is actually a really big brain control because this can attack over the consecrated unless there's a stop. There's a stop. Is that the decree? Has he been sitting on the decree the whole time? It's always been top chat. Yeah, it is the decree. That's brutal. That's a brutal decree. I think Pro Storm's actually in a really bad spot now. Because this brings back the Bora. If he wants to. Actually, if he activates this, it does play into Herald of Orange Light. But would you be okay with that? No. Wow. He's He just says, fuck it. I don't need the extra body. I'm just going to take the Synchro. That's interesting. I feel like you should just bring back the Bora. What's what's the worst that could happen, you know? That was a big brain control, and that was a big royal decree. I think J4 needed that to even be in the game. And now he's, like, very much in the game. It's sort of an even match, but... Royal Decree is very problematic for Pro Storm if he's on a heavy trap count. Looks like Jay is not going to take the Shining Angel. That's a smart play. You don't want to take a Shining Angel here. There are three fairies in the grave. Pro Storm needs to think here. If he has a Christia, I mean, Christia, when you're facing down Royal Decree, is like the best card you could have. Legit. Oh, wow. Grabbing the fourth fairy. I see. I see. And the brain control's gone too. So that means Christy is going to be nasty here. Yep. There's DD Warrior Lady. That can banish the Goyo. Let's see if there's a Christia. Let's see if that's the case. Yep, there it is. Bringing back Consecrated Light. That's pretty nuts. And a back row too. The back row, there is a Royal Decree, so it's probably not that real. It is important to keep in mind, J4 is also locking out his own trap cards, which are the way that they deal with Archlord Christia outside of Kalut. Even Kalut though, even Kalut, like they're just getting the Christia back. Even with Kalut, they're just getting the Christia back. Yeah. And you don't want to attack that way, because then they can set up for the Christia a different way. If he does have Kalut. Oh man, I'm physically hungover. Alright, looks like Crush lost to Zerus. We're going to update that real quick. This is actually a very close game. Yo, shout out to Zerus. I met him at YCS Pasadena. That guy's a fucking G, dude. Zerus is going to play against Beast Mode. Winner gets into top 8. Winner side top 8. Dude, I'm like shaking. I had a really rough night, actually. Like, I had a really bad night. Some really bad stuff happened, and I got like three hours of sleep because of it. But that's beside the point. I mean, today we're talking Edison. Today is all about Edison. What was I drinking? I was just drinking beer. 
I'm not a heavy drinker like that. Yeah, good call, Bryce. I'm gonna drink some water right now. Tough situation for Pro Storm. He's big, big thinking. Get some salt and vinegars and a Gatorade. Is that what'll help me? Oh man. My date is tonight, Batman Aranda. Hopefully. Provided everything goes well. Christy is going to attack the Gale. I think... He just passed his priority of Coke. And then Honest trades him. Interesting. And there's going to be the Consecrated Light. Now, this is just going to be tough. The Decree is set up, and the Consecrated Light is now in play. That's cutting out... The Decree is actually cutting out a lot of the... outs to this. This is a really rough situation for J4. <laughs> I'm going to be real. This doesn't look good. <laughs> I mean, like, it's possible to win from here. But, I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know. This is going to be tough. You better hope that's a fucking set Mistral the Silver Shield, right? You know what would be fucking good here is a DL. Well, no, I don't know if DL is good here. Maybe. I don't know. Brain control is gone, and there's no traps. Exactly, Ghost Rider. Exactly. Exactly. Looks like Cameron is going to lose to a true hero. F's in the chat for Cameron. All right. Yeah, I'm going to run over the Bora. And this is just going to be like a beating. Pro Storm now has eight cards to J4s. Potentially four, five. Depends on if the back row is a trap card that's locked under the decree or not. J4 needs like his own heavy storm to out his own decree here. I think decree is not good in this matchup. And I'm going to be real because first off, the way you're winning this matchup is A, light mirror and B, deck dev. When you have decree, you can't use your free win cards. And the way you lose this matchup is Archler Christia. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm going to be real. I don't think Decree is really... I don't think it's it. I don't think it's really the move here against fairies. This might just be a little bit of matchup inexperience. <clears throat> for J4. And it's going to cost him. Like, it's costing him big right now. That being said, I mean, Christia Consecrated is going to be tough against Black Wings no matter what. But... Take away the Icarus, it's like just brutal. Looks like Shamu lost his alls. Zalz is gonna move on. Need to bracket. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, just another set monster from J4 and a pass. Things look things look grim. Things look grim. Triple Bora drawn, brutal. Do I know if anyone's on dragons? I don't know. Well, I do know, but I'm not gonna leak. I know what everyone's playing because I looked at everyone's deck. But I'm not gonna leak. 
Oh my god, my neck is so sore, dude. Set Kalut. Oof. Can't even summon under the Consecrated to make use of that Kalut. Pretty brutal. I don't even know if J4 has any outs that don't involve Heavy Storming his own Decree. Has he used Typhoon yet? No, I guess he could Typhoon his own Decree too. So he has like two outs maybe. But now Pro Storm has six cards in hand, so... It's got to be that out, plus the three godliest cards that deal 3,200 somehow through Consecrated Christia. Which, I'm not seeing it. Just checking the bracket. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. If you guys want to participate in these tournaments, I'm going to do open invite tournaments in the future. Ooh, freed the Brave Wanderer. Dang. Brutal. That was a killing, dude. That was a killing. That was really gross. I want to say that that did not look close. J4 had a nut draw game one and lost. You guys doubted. You guys doubted. I get motherfuckers doubting this deck all the time. You don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand. The deck's fucking insane. Okay. Who we want to watch next? Let's check out the bracket. Let's check out the bracket. Looks like we've got Silchus Ruin Indicate or Beast Mode Zerus. I think I want to watch Silchus Ruin Indicate. That sounds pog. They are in game one. Very hype. And it is top 16. Very nice. Looks like Silchus is on something with Mystic Tomato and Diva Hero Malicious, as well as Main Deck Dust Tornado. He also managed to snipe the Starlight Road with his Dust Tornado, like a god. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. All right, looks like Gia lost to Masahiro. Masahiro gonna move on. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Silchus Ruin on Zombies, the classic. Now, a lot of people were playing Silchus Ruin Zombies deck at YCS Pasadena. I remember, I think, I had like six people come up to me and be like, yo, I want a mat with Silchus Ruin Zombies list. So his list is legit. His list is legit. He had a main dust tornado in previous lists. I could see that. You gotta force through the back row somehow. You can't make power plays if your opponent has like set five. Silchus is just a fucking grinder, dude. He's just a fucking tournament grinder. It's an absolute beast. I gotta update the Pro Storm one, I think. Did I not update that yet? I didn't. Pro Storm one against J4. Pro Storm gonna move on to play against Guari. That might be a tough matchup. Fairies versus Frogs. Can Silchus finally take a W after getting top three three times, but missing out on the W? Or is he cursed? Is he doomed to get... <laughs> is he doomed to get fucking... Third place, second place every single time.
Looks like Raikoko lost to Marcus. Pyramid Turtle gonna flow into another Pyramid Turtle. Both Goblin Zombies are gone. Mizuki already in the graveyard. Raikoko has lost to Marcus. Marcus is gonna move on to face Carpath. That's gonna be a fun match, actually. Bit of a grindy situation here. Silchus so Rune versus Indicid. All things considered, I think this matchup's pretty good for zombies. I think they can do a good job of navigating the back row. And they can, like, force stuff with, like, Caius pretty easily. And they have more power. Like, they have, like, Dark Arm Dragon and shit and Phoenix Wing Wind Blast to fight through the back row. All right, all right. If they play Ill Blood or Goku in, it's free. I can see that. On Declaration, or after Declaration, they're gonna use Gemini Spark. They were doing that to Beta D Prison, smart heads up play from Indicid. Carpath is on the Carpath. Carpath is playing the Carpath deck. Silchus has a million cards, but he has nothing in play. And he also has 23 cards left in deck. But a lot of his, like, dudes are in the grave. You know what I mean? Like, just a lot of his dudes. Do you ever be looking at your graveyard and be like, damn, that's a lot of my dudes. You ever, you ever notice that? Whereas Indicate is looking at his graveyard, he's like, eh, not a lot of dudes. Not a lot of dudes. Here comes Mizuki on Goblin Zombie. Let's see if this makes any sort of sense. All right. No, Carpath is on the the Carpath, not Amarillo Spur. He's on the Carpath. Here comes a Hero Blast. This can hit the Goblin, or this can hit the Plague. Hero Blast is one of those cards that like makes Book of Life awkward in this matchup, because if they're Lone Monster and Grave, if situations like this happen where it's like Lone Monster and Graves alias. You can't really afford to, well, I mean, like, you Book of Life, but then they just Hero Blast, and then, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Interesting he chose to pop the Goblin Zombie instead of the Plague. Do you get to know the top eight deck list? Jay Donger, this is the second time you've asked that question? No, you don't. <laughs> I will tell you after the tournament. I'll tell you after the tournament. That's a whole, a whole point of playing the game. You gotta have the information battle. <laughs> Bryce is hilarious. Yeah, maybe if you donate to the stream, I'll tell you. <laughs> Kappa. Speaking of which, all donations from this stream, all membership fees, all whatever, are going towards the prize pool of this tournament. So if you guys want to contribute to RBET Worlds, if you guys want to contribute to these great players who've been putting on a show for you, uh, that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. The community makes this event run. I run these events for free. I don't charge entry fee or anything. And I usually donate a significant portion myself to the prize pool. So if you guys want to add a little bit to that, much appreciated. Shout out to all the people who have gifted membership so far too. Y'all are real ones. Space Typhoon going to hit the Solemn. Smart Typhoon targeting smart typhoon targeting jeez dude my brain hurts
All right, Stratos alias, walking into a torrential. Huh. Windblast pitch Gilman put plague on top. Miracle fusion activation. That's aggressive. Now it's not bad. It's not bad by any means. But it's a little aggressive. It is a little aggressive. Oof. 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 Hmm. Not leaving the alias of the graveyard too is also a tell. Here's gonna be a trap dust shoot. Yeah, Demir, that'd be crazy, but uh, I am one dude. <laughs> I am one dude. I am not a production company. Yet. One day, maybe. But I am not a production company. So I, I'm doing what I can. Although I would like to give a special shout out to Diamond Dude, TCG, on Twitter. Go follow him. Because we were using his bot to collect deck lists. And he made this go much more smoothly than it would have gone regardless. So, uh, gotta give him a shout out. Go check out his tweets. Go check out his Patreon. Support him if you can. When's the hiring wave? Hopefully end of next year. Hopefully end of next year I'm big enough to hire an editor. Because, like, that would be the, I think that would be, like, the next step. Is like getting an editor and then we could do like highlight vids and shit from these tournaments but i'm like nowhere near big enough to consider that yet unfortunately call of the haunted okay so that's gonna have to be an attack position this stratos can search or pop looks like he's gonna go for the search searching ocean he deprisoned the gorse there's a set monster how do you deal with the set monster? How do you go for game here, basically? Oh, you fucking can't. Okay, that makes sense. Absolute zero is 3,000, so it can run over the token. There's the Reaper that you probably knew about because it was probably searched at some point. I'll let you know, Richard. Reach out to me on Discord. Like, let me know your rates and stuff. But it probably won't be for a little while, realistically. I also edit for another channel, so I could edit it myself, but like, it'd be like doing a job that I get paid for to, for free, if that makes sense. You, you get the idea. You get the idea. Oh my goodness, dude. This match is intense. Here comes Zombie Master Pitch Stratos. Target Pyramid Turtle. Donate him more billion dollars. What does Pyramid Turtle do here, though? And why did we not pitch the plague? Did the plague get shuffled away? No, right? What's happening here? Does anyone know what the fuck is going on right now? What did the Future Fusion set up? It set up zero, right? Huh. Play got dust shooted. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Cool, cool, cool. There's a D prison. That's gonna run over the ocean. Honestly? I don't like that D prison from Indicate. That's a bad D prison. I think he should have let the plague crash. Well, actually, no, no, that's a that's a good D prison. I'm capping. And there's the miracle for game. Okay. All good, all good. Legit. Indicate gonna take game one over Silchus Ruin. That was a close game. Indicate just had like the right interactions. And it worked out really well for him. And Silchus just had like a bunch of like recruiters that didn't amount to anything. Like he had, what was that? Two Pyramid Turtles, two Goblin Zombies, 
two like he had a mystic tomato he had a malicious he had spear reaper zombie master he just had a shitload of normal summons and like he just kept getting hit with a trap card whenever he went for a big play so he wasn't ever to ever able to get like his legs on the ground this game he's gonna he's gonna need to be focusing on basically getting through those trap cards so he can resolve a big play this hero beat matchup can be pretty tough for zombies just because it's so efficient at breaking up synchro combos murray asked any info on the irl rbet yes that the date will be announced closer to the end of december most likely december 31st but i have confirmed one i can tell you that there will be at least one irl rbet next year <clears throat> Here comes Typhoon. Typhoon was big for Indicid last game too. It ended up hitting Assault. Oh my fucking god. That's gross, dude. That's just disgusting. Holy shit. Oh, dude. Dude, dude, dude. Can we get a can we get a zoom in on that guy? Can we get a fucking enhance? Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. Oh my god. Any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. Relax. That is that is the banisher of the radiance. We're gonna see a gores. The dust tornado should be banished. Yeah, this is most likely gonna be a gores drop here. Damn, that's brutal. Yep, there's the gores. But if it's true, does it can have the sauce? Does he have the sauce? That's the real question. Does he have what he needs? Looks like Indicate has the lag, but not necessarily the sauce, just the lag. Indicate is playing very well. Despite all the shit I've talked, on Indicid, he's been playing like a champion. I'll just say it. He's been playing like an RBET ruler, if you will. God, fuck. I'm cringe. Looks like Marcus is going to take an, a loss to Carpath. And Carpath is going to move on in the bracket. Indicate Redemption Arc? No, I will still forever hate Indicate. Like, that will never change. There's no redeeming the hatred in my heart for Indicate. <laughs> Fame Phase 2 Rota. What does this even get you, though? What does this even get you, Indicate? Carpath versus Silchus would be hype. I mean, Silchus, or. The Silchus is looking pretty good here. If he loses, I think he drops down to this side of the bracket. So Carpath and him wouldn't face until losers finals anyway. So I don't think they're going to run into each other on the bracket. Realistically. But it's working out, I suppose. Big heavy storm. Big heavy storm. The heavy storm also should should be banished. Should be banished. Well, assuming there's no instigation here, there's no chaining. If there's a chain, yeah, what are you chaining this on? This, are you gotta I, like are you gonna bounce the gores? Cause then you gotta win through gores. And you gotta know about that gores, and you gotta set up a win through gores, and it is possible. But, I don't know. Patone asks, why do I hate Indicate? Why do you like Indicate? That's the real question. Why does anyone like Indicate? Look at this motherfucker. With this Nugio-ass ass avatar and this Nugio-ass ass sleeves. He's compulsing a Gores. Come on, bro. Come on. Okay, that's going to remove the Banisher, and then we're going to see a Recruiter get set from Silchus. Well, I'm assuming it's a Recruiter. It could be a fucking Mizuki. It could be fucking 
you know, fucking Spirit Reaper. It could be a million different things. But that Banisher, dude, that did some work. It at least cleared a Mystic Tomato. It did some work. The Gorge was pretty fucking insane for Silchus, though, I will say. The Gorge was pretty fucking insane. It's going to be insane the second time it comes down. No cap. An Indicate has to be prepared for the Gorge. Here comes the Deep Sea Diva Normal Summon. Viewing the extra deck. I don't like this play. That's 17. I drop the Gorge. Now, Bryonic could crash with the Gorge. But I don't really like that. Do you just bounce the Gorge again? See, I don't know. If you're if you're indicated, you probably should just attack directly with Bryonic. I don't like this play. I don't think this play is good at all. This is not a good play. Yeah, this was not a good. I don't think this is a good play. Cause now you gotta have multiple fucking cards to bounce this shit and bounce the Gores again. I guess you have Bryonic in play, but like, you gotta bounce this fucking scent monster every single turn. So I, I, I don't know about this play. It's it's a little sus. It's a little sus. Now, it's not... If you were going to do it, I think you... Well, I guess you can't attack with Bryonic because then he gets two 2700s. I don't know. Looks like Crush lost to Syrup and Sprite. Serpent Sprite is going to move on. Serpent Sprite kind of going on a tear in Loser's Bracket. Playing like he's got Sinister Serpent in his graveyard. Now here's the thing. He could get access to an Elemental Hero Ocean. And he could theoretically have a more or less Sinister Serpent situation on his hands. As it stands though, he doesn't have access to that. That was a big thing on that upstart. Upstart giving life points when your opponent has gores is just really bad. You're just like giving them an extra guarantee of that gores. The Gilman's going to attack. I don't like this attack. I don't like it. It ends up working out because it's a goblin zombie, not a battle recruiter, but I don't love it. I don't love it. So it's Goyo and only attack with Gilman. See, that's not a bad play, but then you have to attack into the set monster. The reason he went Bryonic is so he could bounce the set monster. This is going to target Goblin Zombie and probably... Alias? Chain Hero Blast. Yep, you have to chain the Hero Blast because... That's the only thing that makes sense, I suppose. Yeah, Silchus just has cards for days. I really don't like this Bionic line. Like, you just didn't have to go for it. If you had Flamville Urukizis, that might have been a better line. Because you just go pierce over their guy. And they can't drop Gores. And then you're applying pressure. But if you don't have Flamville Urukizis, then I guess it makes sense. And usually you can't make room for that shit in an extra deck that needs triple absolute zero. This is a big diva. Yeah, this could just be the game straight up. This could just be the game. Whew. Sick event so far. Really sick event. I'm having a good time. Are you guys having a good time? Sound off in the chat right now if you're having a good time. Chain to the Goblin Zombie. Bottomless the Bionic. Games have been really good. Literally every game we've watched has been so good. Like Every match we've watched has been match of the year so far. Which is tight. That's going to be a tough catch on the Bryonic with that bottomless though. Silchus still has the fucking gores though. So like what are you doing? Like what are you actually doing here? If you guys are liking the stream, go ahead and actually like the stream. Smash like. Smash subscribe too, if you like the content. 
show a little bit of support. We're trying to get to 10k by the end of the year. Unrealistic, but possible. Actually possible. About half the people who watch aren't subscribed, so we could hit there theoretically if everyone subscribed. I'm just saying. Sunny Yu-Gi-Oh says including the time where I boosted into kids absolute zero to three K so I could crash my course. To be fair. To be fair, didn't you still win that game? <laughs> Wasn't that the game that you won? <laughs> so yes, I thought that that was based. Sean says, when Bionic comes out, can you not call priority because Zombie has to trigger? Exactly. That's exactly why. You can chain Bottomless Trap Hole to the Goblin Zombie effect. Sunny says, you drew Broken. I mean, you drew Broken game one because you drew your whole deck. I'd hope you drew Broken because you had four cards left in your deck. <laughs> you're, you're saying you drew the top 36 cards of your deck, you didn't find the Broken cards? You might, you might have a bad deck. <laughs> Low key. <laughs> Oh, man. That's pretty funny. Somehow, Indicate is not out of it yet. Somehow. There's a bottomless. Is there a spark? There is. Interdasting. Now, what do you pop? Yeah, you can just go after the back row. Oh, my God. That would have been a fucking crazy kill. That would have ended Indie Kid's shit. Even though it's only bringing back two dudes, that would have ended his shit. Exactly, Sevilla, exactly. Indie Kid knows the hand. Indie Kid pondering the orb, considering the options. Gilman attacks the D.Va. Are we going to see a 2700 direct poke? No, just a set pass. Can he afford to play this control route while keeping this Bryonic here? Maybe. A brain control or a mind control from Silchus will flip this game completely. Indicate is still in it, but he needs to find some good shit. That's a really good hero blast. That's a start. Like That's legit a start to what you need. Because you need two cards. You need two cards so you can attack with Gilman... Yeah, honestly, you could maybe even summon Alias, attack Gilman, attack Alias. I'm not sure if that's correct, but you could do it. It's a two-turn clock, and then basically, like, they have to drop Gores on the Alias uh, or, the, or the Gilman. Then you run over the token, and you just bounce the Gores. But then you have to build up to two cards again, and you only get in 1,700 for that, and you lose the other card in your hand, so. You could do these things. Indicate said messed up earlier with the compulse on the gores. That was probably a mistake, maybe. I don't know. We don't know what he had. We don't know what he had. Looks like he's just gunning it. He's running it and gunning it. Silchus is going to drop the gores here. This is the correct play. You take the least amount of damage. You run over the token. And Bryonic can actually crash with the gores. I don't hate that. But now... You know, summon Mizuki, crash with Spine Gilman, bring back Pyramid Turtle is an issue. Alternatively, you could just set the Mizuki if you're scared of Bottomless D-Prison. Okay, yeah, no, that's bad. <laughs> that's fucking bad for you if you're into kid. You maybe needed to consider bouncing the Gores, but... What is your back row? Oh, never mind. Never mind. I know what his back row is. I know that's why he wanted to keep it. Oh my god, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Holy fuck. I didn't even know he was on that with Diva. I didn't even know he was about that life. Oh, looks like Siltris topped Spear Reaper. Okay. Looks like Siltris topped Spear Reaper. He's still in the game. Akaya's here would be fucking crazy. Like, it wouldn't be bad. Hmm.
Now we're just in Drago situation. Spirit Reaper? That was clutch. Silch is in the game because of this Reaper. I think his position is very bad, but he is in the game. Here's a Foolish. That doesn't really have any great targets. Plague and Mizuki are gone. I guess you can send Malicious. That's still not great. I wonder if he sided out the hero shit. Because, like, what are you foolishing here if you sided out the Malicious? I don't know. Foolish's DD Crow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, here's Dark Armed. Here's going to be Royal Oppression activation. There's a Dust Tornado. Oh my god. Oh my god, he had the Solemn off the top! Janugo says you should do more Edison tier lists. Why? I basically just say the same thing in every one. Kappa. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I should do more tier lists. You're right. You're right, you're right, right. I should do different types of tier lists. Uh, that is a good that is a good call. The last tier list got me like a couple hundred subs alone, which is big. I also cracked the formula by having the deck list and the tier list. That was a genius move. That was five head. I was like, oh, people just click through the fucking tier list. How do I get them to stop? Put good fucking information in the video. That is a lot less oppression uses, but it's still fucking three oppression uses against a person who has two cards. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, he's still also got, you know, full board of threats that killed it, killed him when the game. Yes, it is a lot less oppression uses, but I think you got a lot more stuff to worry about than that oppression. Okay. Here comes Windblast on a back row. Well, well, okay. Here's a Caius. All right. Here's a Caius. We got ourselves a game. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a game. Is there Gemini Spark? D Prison, yeah. That's tough. Indicate gonna take it. Indigid gonna take it. He says, GG's, good luck in the rest. Very polite. Very Canadian. And that's why we hate him. Alright, Indigid. Moving on. Into top 8, winner side. We have our first top 8 competitor, Indigid. Based. Now we can hop into another game. We can hop into Gwari Pro Storm, Beast Mode Zerus, or Dimitri Masahiro. Who do you guys want to see out of those top 16 matches? I think Pro Storm and Gwari started the most recently. And also I'm biased. So we're watching that. <laughs> Looks like Gwari is down a game to Pro Storm and they are siding. Let's check out what Zerus is on. We know what Beast Mode is on. Let's see what Zerus and Beast Mode are doing. They're not even fucking playing. The game ends. Did that that game might have just ended? Yep, looks like Zerus won. All right, Zerus is now your other, your second top eight competitor. Looks like James Ark lost to Kanbanwa. Kanbanwa is moving on to face off against Syrup and Sprite. Looks like Dad one hundred. Lost to Paulus. Let's go ahead and hop back into that Pro Storm game so you guys get some action. Paulus is going to move, move on as soon as fucking challenge lets me do shit. Alright, cool. Hell yeah. And then looks like yeah. Looks like Dad 100 was locked against Dupe Frogs for 90 minutes. <laughs> That's brutal.
Looks like Dimitri lost to Masahiro, so we have yet another top eight competitor. Masahiro is going to move on. Uh, Indicate weight on their match. Weight on the match. Weight on your match. Top eight weight for stream. Cool, cool, cool. All right, Pro Storm's done sighting. This has been such a good tournament. This has been fucking crazy. All right. Guari going to go first. I should update the stream so that it actually says what the fuck is going on. Quarry versus Pro Storm. I believe this is a uh, this is four top eight. Yeah, this is the last top sixteen match for top eight. The winner of this plays Zerus in winner side top eight. Um. Cool, cool, cool. All right, what is the website that I use to run the tournament? So the Discord organizes the tournament. And then the website that we're using for the bracket is called Challenge, but it sucks. <laughs> Low key, we're working on something better in the meantime. But this is what we had within uh, short notice. We're just doing it this way. Uh, but yeah, if you want to join the Discord, going to be throwing tournaments there. Link is in the description below. The future RBETs will be held in that Discord. So if you guys want to enter that, there we go. Looks like Cyber Valley and Descent Monster Pass. Pretty, pretty innocuous sort of deal here. Cyber Valley is going to banish both the Shining Angel and the Cyber Valley to draw two. One of the strengths of Cyber Valley in this deck is now, all of a sudden, your return from the different dimension is fucking godly. And then on top of that, your d are also fucking godly, so. That's pretty good. One thing he could have done, ProStorm could have done, is if he had brain control, he could have attacked the set monster with Cyber Valley to gain, guarantee it goes face up. Oh, fuck. That's gross. That's gross. Oh, oh my god. That's a floodgate. I love this card. I love the way he's just like, he looks like he's in fucking pain. The mask just looks like it's hurting. I need a DM indicator to make sure he's, he's waiting for top 8. Elk here. Vanishing brain control, not ideal. That's a tough one for the, I'm assuming, frog deck to play through. We know Guari was on frogs. In his most recent tournament victory, he won Deck Devastators 2 uh, with frogs, I believe. We had him on interview, actually, like two nights ago. If you guys want to watch that stream VOD, that's a cool VOD. He talks about his list. Looks like a true hero fell to Mumix. So Mumix is still holding on with his innovative Christius Worn deck. And he's going to face off against Zals, who I know got his top with Lightsworn. So he might be on Lightsworn. So that might be a Lightsworn mirror. All right. Finish, then save, replay, please. Damn. Fucking Indicate. See, this is why we can't respect him. I asked him in the Discord twice, tagging him, don't play top 8 match yet, and he went ahead and did it anyway. 
This is why we must hate Indicator. Hashtag hate Indicator in the chat. He said, fuck the viewers. He doesn't care about you. Indikid doesn't care about you. He said, I don't care about their experience. I want to win my top eight match. Fuck that shit. That's why we can't have nice things. Dude, this is nuts. If there's a solemn down there, this might be a wrap. I'm not sure how ProStorm is going to break through this infinite wall. <laughs> Carpath, hashtag fuck Indicate. <laughs> God damn it, Indicate. Of course. I knew he was not going to read my message, too. Looks like J4 lost to Yomero. Yomero also still in it. Fighting for, you know, for justice based what the fuck is going on can we see a play made or are we just gonna not see a play made like are you thinking about what to discard in the end phase is that really what's going on right now that mask of restrict is gross no okay. cap if you guys are enjoying this <laughs> gameplay if you can even call it that go ahead and hit like on the stream and subscribe <laughs> also if you want to donate or become a member all of your fees go towards the tournament prize pool of this tournament right here the one you guys are enjoying so if you have a few extra dollars it's literally 2.99 to become a member it's the freest shit oh that's pretty big that's pretty big control alt defeat says this is the only kind of gameplay i enjoy think for five minutes Normal summon junk synchron with no graveyard. <laughs> Mass vs. Frogs is brutal. That being said, Gwari does have junk synchron. So, he can synchro. His deck isn't just a linear frog monarch deck. While it does stop Substitute, it does stop all the monarchs, he does have access to the synchro plays. So he can do some shit here. I think. I don't fucking know. Okay, he's gonna flip Infernal Guy. Evil Hero Infernal Guy. This is gonna get a hero in the grave for his Miracle Fusions. Something you gotta think about. Okay, this can make a Catastra interesting. He's not flipping one of the other cards trying to go for a Black Rose or anything. Catastra here isn't even that good. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. It doesn't really do that much. Because then you just float him into the Freed and then the Freed can pop the Catastra. But it's a play. And also, if Gwari is playing Dark Arm Dragon, this is a third Dark. I know he's not opposed to playing the Dark Arm Dragon. While this situation may look bad because there's a fucking Mask of Restrict in play. What's up, Neo Day Dallas? Welcome to the stream. He does not have two lights to banish. I mean, you could... Let's be real. You could get two lights to banish pretty easy. It's not going to be hard. It's not going to be that hard. It's not going to be that... It's not going to be that hard. It's not going to be that hard. Yeah, he's grabbing the freed. Makes perfect sense. Interesting board state. You don't see stuff like this that frequently. You don't, first off, see the fairy deck with five back row. Because it's not a very heavy back row deck most of the time. It can be. It can be. But. Not that often. And then oftentimes you don't see the frog player with the ally of justice catastrophe and no frogs. So. That's an interesting game state for sure. I like the triple treeborn blizzy. That's, that's a good combination attack. So let's check out top eight real quick. We know so far Indicate's on Hero Beat. We know Masahiro's probably on Black Wings. And we know Zerus is probably on Zombies. Because that's what he won his RBET with. So we've got Hero Beat, maybe Black Wings, and this is gonna this is gonna be an insane winner side. 
Because we got zombies, maybe fairy or frog. And then we got Gemini hero and birds, probably. Very diverse stuff. Okay, here comes the attack. Attacking with the dupe frog first is smart, actually. I think it's very smart. Get that guy flipped face up so the ally of justice can pop it without its effect. Sunny says, has Zerus literally never lost an online match? Yeah, Zerus is actually undefeated in online matches lifetime. Which is a fucking insane stat. <laughs> Just want to throw that out there. Okay, here comes the freed priority. And he could actually, if he does have something like a torrential tribute, chain it here. Does not look like that is the case. Just going to pass. Uh, he is dupe locked. So that's annoying. But again, ask a restrict. So it's like a weird... Both players are locked. Both players are getting annoyed situation. It is really impressive that Zerus has never lost an online match. We'll see if that's going to remain the case. He has to play against the winner of this match. And both of these players are, I think, favorites to win. Gwari has a recent tournament win. And he also has a top 8 in an RBET. Prostorm has multiple top 8s. And Prostorm has multiple top eights with a bunch of different decks, which is crazy. And everything he does is fucking goaded. So. These guys are both favorites to win the event. Zerus, undefeated lifetime. <laughs> Indikid, fucking Canadian. Masahiro, not much is known about Masahiro. Not much is known. The lone Blackwing in top eight so far. Yeah, this is going to be a really unique game where the breaker is going to be something like like this, maybe. He might just be saying, fuck it. Taylor, I, I cannot allow you to cheer for Indicate, all right? That's going to be a, a lifetime ban. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, man, Indicate's going to win. It's like that time where I was like, I want everyone in the top eight to win except for 10 foot dick and then 10 foot dick won and I was just like bruh it could have been anyone anyone but him that's how it's gonna be Indicate's gonna win I'm gonna be like anyone but him <laughs> this could be a black rose this could be a second catastrophe kappa he might play two catastrophes he does play two catastrophes what the fuck is this that's crazy that's actually crazy I mean you gotta stop it this time like you can't you can't allow him to just walk all over your shit. Yep, there's the bottomless. <laughs> Taylor says, we're in a tough spot. Only Canadian representation is indicated, but you got to cheer for the home team. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Can of Egg says, why does nobody side King Tiger Wang Hu? That's a good question. I think because 1700 is a pretty bad stat line. It doesn't really get over Stratos. It kind of gets eaten by Shura and Fire Dog. Um... And it doesn't get the pluses like super upfront. Also, against cards like decks like frogs, it's okay. Like it's decent, but they can still bring back the treeborn and then chain enemy controller, take your guy. So it's kind of like. It's kind of tough. It's kind of tough. I don't think it's the best inclusion because it's only good against frogs. A. B. Um, I guess it's okay against zombies, kind of. They just summon Mizuki Crash, which is pretty bad. Yeah. Why didn't I want someone named 10 foot dick to win a tournament? That's a great fucking question, Joshua Elliott. I can't think of an answer why I wouldn't want someone named 10 foot dick to win one of my very prestigious Edison tournaments. <laughs> People say Wang Hu seems okay versus Fairy. Yeah, not really. They just said DD Warrior Lady. I actually watched a game. It's funny that you guys mentioned that. There's a game where Pro Storm had a banished Christia and three, three, uh, three fairies in grave, and he just like normal summoned Dialk into a Wang Hu, popped his own Dialk, added back Christia, special Christia, and just murdered the guy. It was one of the funniest tournament games I've ever seen. So no, it's it's not very good. 
I don't think it's very good, at least. <gasps> oh my. Okay. It looks as though Pro Storm is in the in the set monster camp right now. This is gonna be a game, dude. This is gonna be a game. One of the good things about Mask of Restrict and Fairies is that it's really hard for the frog deck to preemptively side in Twister. Cause if you side in Twister and they don't have Mask of Restrict, then it Twister is just a dead card. Like it doesn't do anything. But if you side in um you know like Twister and they have like pulling the rug. I'm not speaking straight. How does Fairy out Duplock? You can just Synchro with Herald of Morslight. You can also... Like, basically, the way Pro Storm is going to win this is he's going to summon a Herald of Orange Light. He's going to Synchro with one of his monsters, make a Bryonic, and then he's going to Special Christie on the same turn the game's going to end. Because there's going to be no outs. You can also use Torrential. You can also use Brain Control, Mind Control. You can also use... There's a bunch of different ways he can out Duplock. Uh, there's, I think, Book of Moon with Dee Dee Warrior Lady does it. Demir, no, I don't think you can do that. I think you have to progress the game state or else it's considered slow play. Looks like Paulus is going to lose to Mr. Soltai. Mr. Soltai is going to move on to face off against Burndig. Cool. Bracket is progressing nicely. Have I tried Marvel Snap? That is the least fucking on topic shit. Pro Storm won game one. All right, there was the Book of Moon. And that's kind of exactly what we were talking about. <laughs> Book of Moon, DD Warrior Lady. There you go. How do they out it? That that's how they do it. Book of Moon, DD Warrior Lady. Sunny says maybe Unifrog has to come back. Maybe. I don't fucking know. I play Unifrog in the Relinquished one because the Relinquished one struggles with Royal Oppression. So you need to have a way to break that up. But I think Unifrog and Frogs in general is a little bit sus. Rhoda can find Junk Synchron. Does he have three Catastors? That's the real fucking question. <laughs> Does man have three Catastors? Oh my goodness. This is super funny. So Mr. Soltai got into RVET rulers on a coin flip. And he's actually kind of making a run, dude. <laughs> he's actually kind of making a run. <laughs> Based. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, there's a hero monster. Is he gonna attempt for the Black Rose finally? Like, I feel like... He's been waiting, like, a very long time to go for that. Pro Storm thinking here on the summon. Dude, I have, like, wicked anxiety right now. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I drank last night. Shit, bro. It just be hitting sometimes, you know? some water it's because these duels are hype dude facts actually this give me like hella adrenaline on top of that 
Yeah, it looks like he's sick of the shit. He's gonna go for fucking Black Rose. He says, fuck it, I can't play the game. I gotta go for something. We'll see if this resolves. This is a pretty big move, because it's, it's killing a lot of the defense, and it's gonna walk right into Herald of Orange Light, dude. This card's fucking stupid. This card is fucking stupid, especially when you have a Floodgate. Dude, this card is fucking stupid. And now the Freed's live again, too. Oh, dude, this is tough. Oh my god, this is tough, dude. This is tough. This might be game if Pro Storm has return. He might not even banish the Treeborn. Oh, shit. Banish face down, Kappa. Deep breathing session between duels. I gotta unlock the Zen Duelist again. Totagon says there's no way a Black Rose is resolving under five back row against fairies. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way. But the thing is, is what are you doing otherwise? You can't just sit around and do nothing. Like you have to play the game. Maybe you don't maybe you don't have to play the game. Maybe you can sit around and do nothing. Maybe he should have been more patient. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know his hand. The other option is sitting, but sitting might not even be bad. The only reason sitting is bad is because if you start committing to the back row, your treeborn gets dead. But he didn't have treeborn in grave anyway. It was just in play already, so it doesn't fucking matter. He does have more cards in deck. Yeah, he does, but... Um, but Prostorm has a million ways to break, so... Prostorm's going to think here on the summon. Bottomless chain book. Is there going to be a think here on that book? There is a think on the book. That's the thing, though. This book is like... You know, if Prostorm can summon Herald and, like, make Bryonic and bounce this while it's face down, that's gonna fuck him up. What's up, Sia? How are you doing? How's your day going? Shout out Frequency of Sound. Relaxing music to chill out to. The homegirl. Pro Storm has fucking... I mean, you're thinking about Solemn Judgment here. That's the only thing you're thinking about. What's the prize breakdown? I'll know it after this stream. I'm most likely going to be giving $100 myself. And then we've had, I think, so far, like... Around... Or 10 gifties and... A couple of donations. I think we had, like, a couple of super chats... Ooh, that's game. <laughs> yeah, damn, dude. Pro Storm is nuts. Oh my God, flex the solemn too. Pro Storm is nuts. Moving on to top eight. Where's the donation link? It's in the announcements in the Discord round if you want to donate there. Really appreciate it, by the way. So it's probably going to be like, the prize pool is probably going to be somewhere in the ballpark of like, Depending on if more people donate or not, um, it's going to be like 200 to 300 plus the mat prize pool. Oh my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. okay. That was nuts. Pro Storm going to move on to winner's side top eight. He's going to have to face off against Zerus, who I think is playing zombies. When do you get to see the mat? Oh, the mat is cursed. You're, I'm going to finish designing the mat after we see who wins because I'm going to put something special on the mat for the winner. I can show you the rough design. But we got to hop into a game. We got to hop into a game. Who do you guys want to see? You want to see Mumix versus Zals? That sounds hype. 
Yo, we got another donation for $20. Hell yeah. Prize pool getting bigger. Shout outs to you. I don't know if you want me to say your PayPal name, but you know who you are. You know who you are. Let's watch me mix. Sounds fun. We kind of left this game earlier. That was you, Neo Dialis. Thanks, bro. Oh, we get to see another Christian play. Dude, this was just a fucking Christia tournament. Maybe it's just the matches I chose to watch. Indicate Pro Storm Winners Finals would be fire. Yeah, but I mean, it would just be free for Pro Storm, let's be real. Indicate could never win. <laughs> Kappa. <laughs> that would be really fire, Winners Finals, actually. That's like my, my dream, Winners Finals. If I'm looking at the bracket, the way it's shaping up. Now, don't get me wrong. Zerus is undefeated online. Uh, I should tell them to wait on their match, too. Um, Pro Storm. Well, go ahead and play your match, and we'll get the replay. Well, I don't know. Should we, should we just fucking have them play the match? How should we do this? How should we do this? Why are we watching? Why are we making the fucking winners wait? Carpath is still in the tournament. Carpath is still in the tournament. I wonder if Pro Storm and Zerus have started. If they've already started, we're just gonna watch it. This is a fucking top eight match. Okay, it looks like they haven't started. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think we should just tell them to fucking play. Cause fucking um. Cause fucking Indicate already played his fucking top eight match and ruined it anyway. He fucking ruined it. And I want to watch this match. Right now. Alright, cool. We got Zerus versus Pro Storm. This is a top A match. And then I'm going to get the fucking um, replay from... Why can't I type on this shit? Why not let me type? What the fuck? I'm going to get the replay from Indicate. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got another donation for the prize pool. $10 from Raunuk. Dude, shout out Raunuk. Day one, dude. Day one. Raunuk's the goat, actually. That's aggressive, James. <laughs> that's aggressive. While while I do condone the hate of Indicate, that's a little aggressive. A little aggressive? Maybe. Maybe it's okay. I don't know. Dude, Indicate's gonna win this whole thing. I can already tell. This motherfucker, I swear to God. I'm never gonna hear the end of it, too. Every time he's in chat, I'm gonna have to give him a roll. He's gonna have to be like, yeah, that's me. Best in... No, you don't gotta be sorry. Look, you don't gotta apologize. You just gotta, like, understand that, like, if it was anyone but Indicate, it might have been a little aggressive. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. It looks like... Motherfucking... I shouldn't spoil it. <laughs> I shouldn't spoil it. <laughs> but you know what I'm going to fucking say. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Oh, God fucking damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Looks like Zals did lose to Mumix. So Mumix is moving on to fight against Gwari with his Christia deck. Kind of based, actually. Kind of fucking based. No cap. <sighs> Alright, we'll, we'll open this up. We'll open this up, but we won't watch it quite yet. This is going to be a little treat for all you guys who uh, like to watch me suffer. God fucking damn it. It's also got body by Christia Herald. No outs to that shit. There literally is no outs in the format to that shit. There's no outs to that shit. It's fucking insane. Shit's busted. Pro Storm is refreshing, and then we're gonna catch this match live. I do love to see fairies doing good. I'm a big fan. I'm very happy that the top dogs decided to bring it. Mumix is a powerful duelist, and Pro Storm is a very powerful duelist, so. Happy to see the representation. The deck is pretty obscene. When it does the thing. 
all right now if you ignore this this fact here that indicate is already in winners finals we are on pace for an indicate pro storm winners finals but pro storm's gonna have to face off against Zeris, who is playing zombies and that matchup this matchup is actually like you'd think it's insane for fairies you think it's insane but i think it's like i think it's like favored for fairies but i think there's some like there's some tricks there's some tricks Zerus is going to win the rock paper scissors too which is big that's actually really big yes vi i'm gonna be doing that i'm gonna be doing the pokemon playthrough on the second channel uh but i'm gonna be doing that after i'm done with all the rbet content that's my focus for this weekend <sighs> my goodness this is gonna be a fucking match so Zerus, aka booty has never lost an online game he is undefeated on dueling book <laughs> which is fucking crazy. And ProStorm has topped multiple RBETs and has a favorable matchup. ProStorm is going second. But ProStorm's got the DD Warrior Lady. That's pretty good. Let's see if there's a back row. Yeah, just gonna banish the Sangin and say, fuck that shit. You cannot recruit. He says, none of, none of that shit. No recruiting. Getting DD Warrior Lady banished is also good if you have fucking Dialk. And yes, yeah, Zerus is still on Zombies, which is his, his deck that he's never lost a game with, which is fucking crazy. Or I should say never lost a match with. Gonna mill Bottomless? Eh. You're probably cool with that getting milled if you're Pro Storm. Bottomless isn't doing anything to this board. And you need to find some action. Dialk's a good start, I think. Dialk's a good start. It'll keep the Goblin Zombie out of play, and if it dies, it'll get back a DD Warrior Lady. So you can't really complain. You can't really complain. I'm gonna activate the D Elk. This is gonna banish the top card of the deck. And that's gonna hit Space Typhoon. A little bit awkward, but whatever. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. Goblin Zombie is gonna float into another monster. What is it gonna get for young? Zerus. Wait, 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 wait. Nah, this is incorrect. He can't special summon uh he can't special summon Trigodia here. Yeah. You can't summon Trag here. I think. I'm pretty sure if you declare the effect of Goblin Zombie first, then uh you can't summon Trag. I don't think you can summon Trag here. Because he declared the effect of Goblin Zombie first. You would have to activate Trag. They go on a chain. Don't you have to activate Trag when Goblin Zombie's still in play? Um. Yeah, the Trag is too late. You declared Goblin Zombie. And checked. Yeah, you can't. You can't activate. You can't activate Trag. You have to activate Trag while Goblin Zombie's still in play. Yeah. You have to activate Trag before Goblin Zombie. Yeah. And this actually matters because this deck does play ways to negate monster effects. This actually matters, yeah. You activated Goblin Zombie first. So you can't summon Trag here. Yeah. You have to return the Trag. Now this isn't even a matter of let, asking the opponent. He can't summon the Trag here because he activated Goblin Zombie first and he checked for Herald of Orange Light. Like he got information. Yeah. Trag would have needed to be activated first.
Yeah, this is actually this is actually how it needs to be ruled. He did activate the goblins on me first. Yeah, this is no take backs, dude. This is a fucking legit tournament. He already drew a card for turn. He already drew for turn. You can't get another search. You would have to return the card you drew. You would have to return the card you drew and verify log. Yeah. You can't just like get a different goblin. Yeah, you would have to go back on all of it. You'd have to return to that point. Scott Page, it isn't for no reason. It isn't for no reason. It actually matters. It actually matters in this matchup. Um, just fucking... Fucking send me the card you drew. A screenshot of log. Return that shit. And then go back to the game state. Scott Page says, look at the shit you're going through to shark this guy. Scott Page, shut the fuck up, dude. You don't understand why this doesn't matter, and you're just, like, griefing in chat. You're getting timed out. It's not a shark. It actually does matter, because this deck has Herald of Orange Light. So he's checking for Herald with fucking Goblin Zombie. It actually matters. Like, you get information. Yeah. I'm not just like sharking for no reason. This is like legit how the game needs to be played. Like I, I would, you gotta follow the rules, man. Derek Hudson, I don't give a shit if Pro Storm wins. I want Indikid to win because that's my friend. I don't give a shit. I literally don't care. Why I gotta spaz out, spaz out over everything? Glitchier, bro, dude. I remember you. I remember you. <laughs> I remember you, Glitchier. This is, I'm not spazzing out. This is just how the game the game needs to be played. This is just the rules. This is just the rules. Yeah, you should know these things. This is like the this is a fucking world tournament, dude. Okay, thank you. And they they understand that. Like the players understand that. The only people who doesn't understand that is like the fucking shitters in chat who don't have their invite. Maybe if you understood why this matters, you would not fucking <laughs> be in the chat. You'd be in the tournament. <laughs> Yeah, it's literally not a shortcut. It changes the game state, Marcus. That's the issue. He activated the effect first. Why, why do I have to defend myself for following the rules of the game? Why the fuck am I defending myself to you guys? This is fucking stupid. Play the game by the rules. Play the game correctly. Yeah, what the fuck am I fucking even talking about here? You're good, bro. JSH, this is not an irrelevant tournament, irrelevant format. This is an invitational. There's cash on the line. There's actual shit. Like, yeah, in an auto sim, he would not have been able to play drag after Goblin Zombie because that's just how it works. Exactly. JSH, you just don't understand what's going on. Sharking is like when someone gets upset over like a mistake or whatever that doesn't affect fucking shit. That actually affects the game state in this matchup. Like, it actually does. Like, I understand you guys want to play this format casually with your friends, and that's totally fine, too. And if you guys want to take back plays, that's totally fine, too. But this is a different tournament. 
Derek Hudson, this is not sharking, my guy. This is not sharking. You're just wrong. Even the players understand that. If the players understand that and you don't, then you got to ask yourself, why do I think this? The players understand that they made a mistake. This is a competitive event. You have to follow the rules of the game. Yeah, information does matter a lot. Exactly, Jinyoga. It does. And I don't think it's really going to change the... Yami Darius, yes. If there's like an illegal play and the match is being streamed, then yes, the judge can intervene. Yes, that is how it's ruled. Also, yeah, pretty much. It's a good game regardless. Like, this is going to be fine. Like, it's not going to change the course of this game. I don't think. If anything, it's hurting ProStorm because, like, yeah, he would have held D prison. Marcus Carice. The issue is, if there's no response to the Goblin Zombie, then you decide to drop track? Like, like you decide that after you've gained information that there was no, res no response to the Goblin Zombie. That's the diff- you, you get that, right? You get that it, it matters that there's no response. It, it, it affects the decision to summon track. Like, and you gotta play the game correctly. That's just the way it is. And look, it doesn't even matter. Like, ProStorm lost game one anyway. It doesn't even matter. It didn't affect the game at all. You guys don't understand why you need to follow the rules of the game. This shit actually does matter. Like, straight up. Oh my god. That's the whole point of this. Is putting on a fucking competitive event so people can, like, watch and enjoy a competitive event. I gotta fix some of the bracket games. You guys wanna watch fucking casual gameplay? Go watch one of my other videos. I have a, I've uploaded one every single day. Looks like Hydro Pump one and Syrup one. Okay. Okay. Appreciate the gifties that is going to the prize pool of this tournament, which is a legit. Christian says, like, why are you policing it for no reason? It is for a fucking reason. These people are so stupid, man. I'm like fucking arguing with like shitty fucking like players over this shit. Yeah, play by the rules, man. Exactly, NCXM. If I didn't fix it, and ProStorm, like, you know, got mixed up like that, exactly. That's what I'm saying, man. people are trolling at this point no some of these people legitimately don't understand why it's important to play by the rules some people don't understand that which is fine what decks are in top eight so right now in top eight we've got I don't know what Masahiro's playing, but we know Hero B, we know Zombies, and we know Fairies. I think Masahiro's playing Black Wings, but I could be wrong. Like, and then another thing too is like, where do you draw the line? Like on an illegal play, where do you draw the line? You feel me? JSH, Goblin Zombie and Trigodia don't form a chain. Trigodia activates and resolves in a different step. 
You have to activate and resolve Trigodia before you get a chance to activate and resolve Goblin Zombie. They don't form a chain. No, nah, that's not how the game... If you declare Goblin Zombie today, you wouldn't be able to go back and activate Trag. They would say you declared Goblin Zombie. You wouldn't be able to take that play back because that's not an illegal play. Glitchier says, Keegan, it's hard to enjoy the stream with you yelling at us. Just commentate or mute yourself. <sighs> All right. You're permanently hidden from the channel. This is the second time I've had to hide you. The first time was because you were like going off about some misplay during the frog stream. And it was not a misplay, which is awesome. All right, we're moving on. Looks like Book of Moon is going to interact with Thunder King pretty favorably. That's going to allow the Goblin Zombie to run over the Thunder King and going to keep the Goblin Zombie in play. Marcus, are you in this event right now? Are you in this event? Are you Marcus 1999? Is that you? Is that you? Because shouldn't you be... Is that you? Or are you a different Marcus? What do you mean, maybe? Is that you or not? I'm just curious. Victor says, what's the reason Fairy Player has a favorable matchup? Because when you go for a, um, oh, you'll never tell? Yeah, that's right. You'll never tell because you won't be allowed to. You're hidden on this channel forever. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, um, fucking... The reason fairies have a good matchup is because they have cards like Thunder King and they have cards like Christia and they have cards like Herald of Orange Light. So when you go for a when you go for a Herald of Orange Light play, you can or when you go for a Bryonic, a big Bryonic play, they can just Herald your Bryonic. And you go super minus into Herald, basically. Christian, you're a resident shitter, but you can stay. Cause I appreciate you. Yeah, DD Warrior Lady is also huge, yeah. That being said, Pro Storm needs to make something happen because he's under a lot of pressure. This is a start. Exactly, Roundup makes a good point. So this is a synchro. Jules says he's allowed to make note of the cards in hand. Yes, you are. In this event. What do you synchro into here? Cool, cool, cool. Bryonic, and that's just going to attack the Goblin Zombie. Huh. Interesting. What did he mean by this? I think it's interesting that Zara is cited in Nock, too. It's not a bad choice, but it's just interesting. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that sounds hilarious. That's super funny. That's based, Ronick.
trying to fit a giant rat and DD warrior engine into your machina deck. Sounds fun. Amanda Bynes entered the chat. That was my childhood crush. I wonder how she's doing today, Kappa. B right, who are you asking? Okay, this is an interesting situation. Cause B right, this is this is a tournament that I've been I've been hosting. I'm not entered in the I'm not entered I'm the one fucking funding this tournament. <laughs> I'm the one throwing this tournament. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not in the tournament. Uh yeah, this is an interesting situation. He can um he can do some stuff. He can do some stuff here. Yeah, I'm I'm actually already in winner side grants. <laughs> Did any dragon top eight? Not that we know of yet. I don't even know if there was a single dragon in the entire tournament. No worries, B-Ray. Optimus Prime. I, I honestly, honestly, my advice for, for you or anyone who's never been like on this side of it is like, run a tournament. Please, please run a tournament for a format. Please try it. And when you're in my situation... When you're in my fucking position, you're going to do the same exact things I'm doing. You're going to understand it. But the thing is, is you're not doing that. So you don't understand what it's like. Also, why do I have to listen to a bunch of chatters just being fucking shitters? I don't have to listen to them. I can just listen to the people who are here to enjoy the fucking competitive gameplay, which is the point of a fucking tournament. Oh, you played Dark Dragon Pizza? What was what happened? <laughs> what happened? Pizza no. Not like this pizza. What happened? Pizza no. <laughs> pizza what happened? <laughs> Double crow. Oh, that's a godly brain control top deck. That's going to be really tough to beat. Brain control for brain control, but I think it's a little bit better for Zerus here. Conversations for thinking people. Again, I dare you to... I, dr I dare you to, to run a stream. You do it your way. The Christia Sworn thing, I mean, when it draws nuts, it draws nuts. But... When it when it breaks, <laughs> let's be real. <laughs> that deck be breaking. <laughs> oh my goodness! Every time I played that deck, I get fucking owned. In the pure light swarm mirror, Christy is a it is a breaker. It is a breaker in the mirror for sure. So the brain control resolved, and now we have a Bryonic on Zerus' side of the field. Bryonic's gonna activate. Jinu gets another, it's time for another Zen Keegan video. Yeah, I'm dropping the Zen top eight. That's what's going to happen. Did we up, update the fucking thing? Is the stream got the right names on it? It does. Okay, cool. All right, Bronix going to pitch Reaper. It's going to pitch Return. Wow, okay. Yeah, Return's not going to be live... Well, it would have been, but Dark Arm's just going to be game here. Unless, you know, something happens. What do you do with this? This is a rough situation. Brain Control Dark Armed is ridiculous. If you're thinking here, it's probably thinking about a Herald of Orange Light, maybe. You kind of have to herald.
Kid Silva says, since the tournament is so stacked, it would be really amazing to see more than the top eight list afterwards if that's within the realm of possible. I'll see what I can do. I might do top 16. We'll see. Optimus Prime, so the people I timed out, I timed out Marcus for being an obvious troll. I timed out uh, Glitchier because that's like the second or third time that he's complained about my commentary. If you don't like my commentary, you can mute the stream. Like, it's very easy to do that. And then um, I think there was there was some Teledad in the tournament, Jules. And then who else did I even time out? It was just the dude who was calling me a shark when I was trying to, like, uphold the rules of the game repeatedly. I think that's reasonable. I don't think that that's a power trip. I think that's totally reasonable. Yep, here's the Herald. You have to Herald this. You have to stop it. Here comes Dark Armed. What's a shark? Legitimate question. It's like when you angle shoot someone on something that's not really a ruling. Basically. Prostorm needs to top and out here. He's kind of fucked. He has a... Th oh, we don't know, actually. We don't know how many Christia he has. He said just needed a fairy to drop Christia. Yeah, that's tough. DD Warrior Lady will get him out of this. There's DD Warrior Lady. So that's an out. I think he knows the last card is... No, he doesn't know the last card. I don't think he knows the last card. That's going to banish the Dark Arms. Prostorm says mobile, just a misclick. Unfortunate. I think Prostorm's cooked here. I think he's dead. Actually insane that nothing has been found for Zerus that just wins the game. Sultai just won again. Okay, here's the Thunder King. I'll update this Ultai game in a second. Looks like Sultai is moving on. Pro Storm, Pro Storming himself. That's pretty funny. We've got Thunder King attack. Zerus big thonk here. No track. Here's Call. I can grab one of these dudes. Let's see what this is. Scott Page, I timed you out and then you come back and then you say, a shark is short for a rule shark. Someone who sharks you on rules. Literally what Keegan did. You are so fucking stupid. All right, now you get perma I think that's a fair perma. Here comes Chain Bottomless on Micaias to stop it. That was a little bit of a smell blood play. I feel like the Kaius should have targeted the Thunder King. Because... Well, maybe not. I don't know. You force him to have the second bottomless? No, it's only... there's Neither bottomless has been used. Hmm. That's insane, man. Some people just want to be right so badly. All right, game three. That's insane. I didn't expect Prostorm to win that. I didn't expect Prostorm to win that, but he fucking top decked the DD Warrior Lady. And then he hit the next DD Warrior Lady to go through the recruit. That was crazy. Kaius targeted himself was GG, right? No. Oh, well, it would have been, but the way it works is Kaius comes down. Kaius is chain link one, targets itself. Prostorm chains bottomless. So chain link two is bottomless. Bottomless banishes the Kaius. Kaius can't banish itself, so it doesn't deal the 1,000. It has to banish the monster to deal the 1,000. And since Kaius was banished by Bottomless Trap Hole, it doesn't deal the 1,000, if that makes sense. Because change was all backwards. Yeah. If that makes sense. Zerus is going to go first. 
Now keep in mind, Zerus has never lost a match online ever. Not even once. He's never lost a match online. Oh, just kidding. Looks like we're lagging a little bit. Ace of Spades has asked me what I think about it. I don't know, man. I think ProStorm got insanely lucky last game. I think he top decked the shit out of Zerus. To be fair, Zerus' hand was nuts. It was like top deck brain control with dark arm, whatever. But ProStorm's hand was also nuts. Because he has... Um, what is it? Oh my goodness, we're getting some fucking catch up plays here. Dueling Book was lagging, and now all of a sudden we're seeing everything in real time. Does Tornado? Okay, not a bad one here. Also, charge for Raikou. We don't see Raikou that often in the zombie deck, but it did mill a Mizuki, which is huge. Soul Taker, Bandit, uh, getting milled. Soul Taker is a way to make D Alchemist timing. JSH says the correct play was Sabanish Rael, so he could add with Goblin Zombie because it's mandatory. Yes, that, well, is that how it works? I don't know, Goblin Zombie, can I activate? Can it activate? Maybe? Soul Taker is neat. It can also answer dupe frog. Giving your opponent a thousand life points can sometimes matter, but depends. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. Yeah, Goblin Zombie shouldn't activate there. A lot of power milled, does shoot, return, heavy storm, but still a lot of good stuff left for Zerus. Did I help Pro Storm playtest? I did. Goblin Zombie is mandatory. I know, but if Thunder King Ryo's face up, does it activate and resolve without effect? Shit, I don't know this shit. Either way, um, into two back row, like, what are you doing? Are you attacking with the Caius afterward? Christian says, oh, no wonder you sharks him. Oh, my God, dude. I it, Literally, I have no stake in this. I have no stake in this. Zerus is my friend, too. I know him. I've met Zerus in real life. I have no stake in this. I don't care who wins. I literally don't care who wins. You guys are fucking stupid as shit. And by you guys, I mean specifically Christian Arena. You are a fucking idiot. Never watch my stream again. If you're in my Discord, leave it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he could have got the Goblin Zombie Search then. If he banished Ryo. Uh... I don't know if that was the correct play, but. Yeah. Loki Meta says, is that actually Gunther that just got banned? I don't know who the fuck Gunther is, bro. I don't know Yu Gi Oh players, man. The biggest and most anticipated tourney has brought out the trolls. Yeah, kinda. This is just about average for a regular stream. I mean, we get Yu-Gi-Oh players in general are so funny. <laughs> uh, literally, you know it's bad when like the players in chat are like, "Oh my god, you're a shark," and then the two players in the game are like, "Yeah, I messed up." Like, yeah, yeah, you're right. We should go back on that. <laughs> Optimus Prime, Keegan, how can I reach out to maybe help you out? I don't fucking want your help. How about that? <laughs> but if you want to reach out, Discord's a good way.
See, I don't even know who those players are. Is Dueling Book just lagging? Like, what's going on? Why is the game not happening? Is something going on? What the fuck is going on? Optimus Prime, unsolicited advice is not is not helpful when I'm in the middle of a fucking stream. I'm trying to focus. Yeah, okay, some shit went down. We saw a Cyber Valley contact fuse. They're both well known. I don't know who they are. So, not that well known. Was he talking about a collab offer? Why does he say maybe help you out? After telling me I shouldn't get mad. <laughs> I just don't want unsolicited advice, man. I'm hungover. I'm trying to watch a tournament. Accidental zoom. I can't even accidentally accidental zoom. God. Ace of spades, you're gonna help me out? Fuck. This guy's account is not Christian Arena. I'm not gonna check that shit, dude. People are fucking crazy. Yu-Gi-Oh! players are insane. They're built different, dude. I'm so glad I quit this game in 2011. Cap up. Is it actually him? I don't give a fuck. I don't even know who he is. Who Megalol? What's he do? He plays Yu-Gi-Oh? Cool story, bro. Who gives a shit? What'd you do? You top a YCS? Alright. Conversations for Think People. He says, narrator, shut the fuck up. <laughs> mute the stream, dude. If you don't want to hear me talk, mute the stream. Dueling book is like lagging anyway. There's like nothing I can fucking say. I can't even exit the fucking graveyard. This shit is just broken. What am I supposed to do? I can't close the fucking window. There we go. Gotta reopen it every five seconds. Bruh. This is nuts. That's insane, dude. People are crazy. Yeah, I don't know how he plays it on mobile. That's insane, Jeremy. Dude, honestly, Raunik, Valley is nuts. I really like the tech. I've been super impressed with the way it's performed. It just, like, it kind of does everything the deck wanted to do. 
and it gives you access to like a couple of cards that like really improve the deck like mind control yeah you can get it off angel it's good too i've actually seen people use the um the what is it the effect you can target one card in your graveyard banish this card and one card in your hand and place that target on top of the deck i've seen people use that effect to stack return and then they get return back and they can return for whatever they banish from their hand and the uh, cyber valley I've seen some cool plays with that card. You can do some cool shit. Like basically, if you have return Cyber Valley, it turns into an infinite return activation. Cause like, as long as you have three or more monsters, you just keep getting back the return with Cyber Valley on top of your deck. There's a lot of like, shit like that. Pablo says slowly creating one circle jerking community, one ban at a time. Dude, I'm not banning the people who are disagreeing with me. I'm banning with the people who are like, you shouldn't judge the tournament. <laughs> the fuck? And I'd rather be in a fucking circle jerk community than listen to people be like, oh my god, don't follow the rules. That doesn't change it. That is fucking. Shut the fuck up. This is the bracket. Let me post it in the chat. I should get some mods. I have some mods. Where the fuck are they? <laughs> Murray, where are you, bro? Murray, I know you're here. You bastard. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Striker, you want to be modded? All right, you can get modded. Hold up. I can't even click on this shit. All right, you're now mod. Congrats. Do what you must. <laughs> All right, Diamond Dude, you're a mod. Shout out Diamond Dude, dude. Actually, the GOAT. It's also like a vocal minority thing. I mean, most people aren't chatting who are watching. They're just vibing, watching the gameplay. The serious gameplay, very serious dueling book lag gameplay. Gonna lose the freed. Dude, Diamond Dude's the goat, dude. Just mod everyone normal. Oh no. Well, that's bad. I'm gonna need to screenshot the log. Or get like Cameron in there or whatever. Yeah, I need a judge on this shit. Can you rule on this, please? It is an issue. Cool, cool, cool. Legacy of Yaragrasa. Huh. The lag is part of the DB experience. Is something happening here? Like, is that getting... What is happening here? Is it lagging? I can't even tell anymore. It's like I'm in a fucking loop, dude. I'm in like a fucking, like, personal hell. Yeah, it was... It is lagging. It is just fucking disconnecting every five seconds. What is going on, man? <sighs> Refresh the page. That's what I've been doing. All right, give me a second, everyone. I'm going to refresh the page. Give me a sec. We are now back, I think.
We should be back. Servers are probably pretty overwhelmed right now. Well, that's a big return. Something's going to happen here. It's kind of why the knock is a little bit questionable. I mean, I get it, kind of, but not really. What is fucking going on, dude? Yeah, return is stupid. Why this card is illegal in any format blows my fucking mind. They did change the server some weeks ago, but it really didn't make that much of a difference. Yeah, it was legal during fucking Dragon Rollers, which is insane. I don't understand. He's playing Legacy 200 IQ move. I think it's good, yeah. I think he's on to something with it. It's like unironically a good card. Yes, it is pretty against me because I play the spirit monsters. Looks like Guari lost. Have to update the bracket. Mew Mix is moving on. To fight the winner of the winner of the winner of. Loser's back is still pretty far behind. It says Legacy is ass. It's okay. I mean, like, in a format full of Raikou and Space Typhoon and Heavy and stuff, it's actually pretty good. Also, Icarus Attack. Like, if you can just get a plus one in those circumstances with Fairy, like, you take the plus ones where you can get it, basically. Yeah. The random plus is like kind of worth it to play. Also, it's interesting because like it also lets you kind of dilute your deck post board to be more resilient to certain things. And it also gives you an increased percentage at seeing your sideboard cards. So it's going to be a crash into a D-Elk. DD Warrior Lady is going to attack the Bryonic. This is a lot of damage, dude. This is going to be a lot of damage. Yeah, it is good to bait out Heavy Storm. You can draw into Herald or Honest, yeah. You can also bait drop Gores. Yeah, I agree, Raonic. In 42, it's not really increasing this seeing side stuff, though. Uh, huh. Is it just lagging? I cannot fucking tell. I cannot fucking tell. Dude, this site is giving me, like... I feel like I'm, like, going into the vortex. You know? You feel me? What happened? What the fuck happened? How did it change that much? Oh, my God. Oh my gosh. I'm sucked into the vortex. I need to watch an Indicate game to fucking untilt myself.
Is Raikoko out? Did that happen? What happened? I don't even know what happened. I should build my own dueling book just for Edison. Dude, it is fucking expensive. I was looking at it, and I was like, I can't afford that shit. Dude, that's lit, Diamond, dude. Maybe we just do that instead. I can't even tell if the game is fucking going on. Or if I just have to refresh every time I want to see a play. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm refreshing Dueling Book. <laughs> what do you mean, already locked? Bro! This has been a very painful experience. I'm just gonna say that. This has been a very painful experience. It's DB, clearly. You can see here. It is Dueling Book. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm way too hungover for this shit. This is insane. I'm getting fucking DDoSed. Take an edible or something. Sir Tiltala, yeah, I do be tilting when you spend all year putting on a tournament series and then during the most hype top eight, I get nothing but fucking trolls for me trying to enforce the rules and also the site crashes that we're playing the game on. <laughs> okay. God. Oh, are you fucking serious? Fucking God damn it. God damn it. Fuck. I missed the whole match. Oh, that's whack. Okay. Let's watch the let's watch the end. Let's watch the end. Let's watch the replay. Actually, 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 we can't watch the replay quite yet. Can't watch the replay quite yet. Can't watch it quite yet. Because I don't want to give away cards that are in other people's decks. I guess we just hide both hands. That's the best way to do it. Okay, cool. We'll do that. All right. We're going to go to game three. So next game, next game. Okay, cool. And then we'll fast forward. Okay, cool. All right. This is game three on fast forward. Set monster, pass, there's the knock. That's gonna hit DD Warrior Lady. Goblin Zombie attacks, mill one. Mills Christia, Thunder King attacks, Book of Moon. Set pass. Dust shoot happens. No, this is game two. This is not game three. Hold up. Next game. Okay, here we go. Game three. Okay, game three. Game three, what do we got? Charge for Raiko, mill the Mizuki. Lure of Darkness, draw two, banish Reaper, set, set, pass, set, set, pass. Flip Ryko, pop a back row, chain dust on the back row, mill three, attack for 200. So these chainable back rows are really good against Rykos, basically, which is normally an issue that the fairy deck has. It's like Rykos. Attack, and then this also makes it so they're more scared to flip Ryko into your back row blind. And so they might not do it, basically. Here comes Cyber Dragon, there's Soul Taker. The Soul Taker putting in a little bit of work, clearing the Shining Angel, set Monster Pass, here comes Shining Angel, that attacks, this goes and gets Cyber Valley, correct play, and then you contact into Cyber Dragon, basically get your free plus one, here comes the set Foolish Burial, that was a bluff from Xeris, nice bluff, Mizuki activates, brings out Plague, flip, flip Goblin Zombie, Synchro off, uh, Goblin Zombie effect to search, Goblin Zombie is going to search Goblin Zombie, Goyo's going to attack. Attack over the Chimera Tech. Gonna take Chimera Tech. And then Freed's gonna summon, pop the Goyo, attack over the Chimera Tech. 
we saw this much. Zombie Master, attack the freed. Honest and Calc. Freed attacks directly. 1700 sets monster. Book of Life, that's going to bring out Plague. Synchro off into Bionic. Goblin Zombie Search, no target. Attacks, goes to damage, takes 600. Nox set monster was the DD Warrior Lady. Dross Return. Legacy of Yadagrasu is activated. Return from a different dimension is activated. That's an insane return. And that's all because of the knock and the Book of Life, too. Putting the two extra cards in the banner zone. That's another reason, reason why return is just stupid in this deck. It's so stupid in this deck. Valley activates. Banish two. Draw two. Crash the angel. Go get Dialk. Attack with DD Warrior Lady. That's going to banish both. Drop to 600. Attack for 1300. Activates call on Goyo. And phase two. Set three. Okay, this is interesting. Goyo attacks. Dust on the call. That's going to remove the Goyo. Special Cyber Main 2. Pass. Alchemist Banish Typhoon. Flip DD Warrior Lady. Summon Herald. Synchro to Bionic. Bionic gets activate. And then activate again. Dang. That was a crazy return. That was a crazy return. Let's go ahead and watch... Wait, are they fucking setting up to do the top eight game? Hold up. Okay, so Syrup lost. So Dimitri won. And then uh, we gotta update that Pro Storm and Zerus. Pro Storm won. So we have Pro Storm versus Indicate in Winners Finals, but we wanna watch Indicate's game versus Master Hero. We're gonna hide both hands. Fast forward. Thanks, Neo Day Dallas. You know what? That's what's up. I'm glad you I'm glad you had a good locals. Synchro off into Android. Upstar Goblin gets activated. Black Whirlwinds. Solemn Judgment on the Normal Summon, stopping the Normal Summon. Turning Black Whirlwind into card disadvantage. Heavy Storm hitting both. This is big pressure. It's going to be hard to come back from. I wonder if that just closes out the game. Here's Gale that can have the Android. Let's see if there's an Honest. Mirror Force, okay. Typhoon on the back row. Normal Summon attacks. And that's going to be game one. Looks like Masahiro is indeed on Black Wings. Black Whirlwind start again with the Shura. This time no back row to fight through. E-call for Stratos. Summon Stratos, get Ocean. Upstar Goblin. Okay. Attack Shura. Kalut activates. 1400, special summons value. Sets four passes. Attacks for, for 800. Call the Haunted on the... Attack Declaration, Stratos Search Alias, makes sense. Stratos kind of doing what Black Whirlwind does, but for Indicate instead. It's going to be a trade. Normal Summon Bora, Dust Tornado on the Black Whirlwinds. And now your monsters in play just kind of get outclassed by this Alias. Alias is going to run over the Bora, but that's Dark number 3. Let's see if there's a Dark Armed or a Blizzy or something like that. There's the Blizzy. That's going to Special Summon back Shura. There my Armed Wing. And here they're going to try to Black Rose, but that's going to get Solemn. That's committal, but they still do have the value play. And Armed Wing is actually pretty good against... Or arm, the Armed Wing... Not Armed Wing. The value Synchros are actually pretty good against Hero Beat, usually. Because it's just a big free monster, and that's what the deck struggles with. Misclick on the Summon. Summons out Android. Attacks. Damage Calc uses Honest. Gains 600 in the end phase. Passes a turn. Here comes Greffer, pitch value, send value. That's a lot of value action. Here comes Silverwind. Silverwind's going to attack over the Android. Dark Reaver's going to attack directly. Going to Hero Blast it. Interesting. Okay. Here comes Alias. Does he have another Honest? He does. So that's both Honests. Soroko's going to attack Neos Alias. That's going to deal 100. Cyber Dragon, Neos Alias is going to be summoned. This is going to be like a... This is a beatdown. But then Indicate concedes. I don't know why he conceded. Maybe he knew something that we didn't. I guess he just conceded that game. 
All right, this game, he goes E-Call into Stratos, Stratos into Alias, set one pass. Nobleman of Extermination, that's the fire attack used on the D-Prison. It's going to banish both. Here comes Greffer, set up. No Crow, so the Armed Wing is going to walk, and the Gale's going to have the Stratos. We're going to see if this is a bit of an overcommitment on the Gale. I don't know if there's a really a big way to get punished here. He's going to Synchro into Armor Master. It does put him down minus one, but... It gives him a more resilient threat. Set, activate, Miracle Fusion. Set two, pass. Heavy Storm. That's brutal. How do the fuck does Indicate win this game? How the fuck does Indicate win this game? Wait. What? I don't believe this shit. That's crazy. That's crazy. So he gets into top deck. Monster Hero top decks allure and plays it. Has to discard both. Indicate top decks a diva and is able to make a synchro. Second android. Tax for 24. And this is going to gain life points too, which is actually really important. Another 2400 swing. Gains another 600. The issue with these like slim down blackwing decks is most of the back row is not good off the top. Like, Icarus, you need a monster. Oppression is dead off the top. Judgment's dead off the top. And Dust Shoot's also dead off the top. So it's literally just Mirror Force. That gets you out of the situation. And it just didn't work out. The Android went the distance. Crazy. Crazy top deck war. Okay, cool. So, we've got Winner's Finals. we got Pro Storm versus... Hold up. we got to update the bracket a little bit. Hydro Pump 1, and now Hydro Pump's going to play against Carpath. We've got Pro Storm versus Indicid. That was a hype top 8 match. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think we're going to do Winner's Finals, Indicid versus Pro Storm. This is like some fucking gang shit. All right. Are they playing already is the real question. <sighs> what a day. What a day. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? You guys doing alright? You guys having a good stream? Pro Stork. Hell yeah, dude. That sounds like a good night. Shiny Sneasel, hell yeah. Rock and roll. Where they at? Where they at, though? There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Into Cuddle and Pro Stork. That's hilarious. How's Losers looking? Uh, Carpath versus Hydro Pump is happening, which is pretty hype. And the winner of that plays Beast Mode, which is pretty hype. Mumix is waiting for the winner of that with Christia Swarm, which is pretty hype. Masahiro is waiting for the winner of that with Black Wings, which is pretty hype. Dimitri is waiting for the winner of Sultai Yomero to face off against Silchus Ruin. And then Zerus is waiting on the winner of that. So how's Losers looking? Incredibly fucking stacked, honestly. But we got to catch winner's finals right now. Thank you, Striker. Thank you, thank you. That's going directly to the prize pool. Much appreciated. Much appreciated.
Looks like ProStorm should be here in about two minutes. Sounds good. My heart is beating like hella fast. You guys want to know some fuck shit? So last night, I was in... Um, I spent the majority of my night in a medic tent with a friend who uh, was not doing so hot. And then one of our other friends ended up in the hospital. And it was just like a really rough night. I got like three hours of sleep. So if I'm on edge today, I mean like fucking shit, man. All things considered, I think the event's going really well. Taylor, nah, it was just um too much. I'm sorry to hear that DFI cupcake. I hope she has a quick recovery. I need to check my phone. Hold up. Hold up, y'all. Yeah, after I get this top 8 vid up, I might just take the Thanksgiving week off. And just do the Pokemon stream. Because... I need a fucking break. No, it was, re it was really close to a bad state, Taylor. Uh, I, we got really lucky. But um, it was really close to being really bad. So, Also, like, <laughs> I got into a physical altercation, too, and I fucked up my leg really bad. So it's like, <laughs> it was like a night of, like, worst possible scenarios into, like, a day of, like, things that, like, normally wouldn't bother me, but, like, I just have zero fucking patience. It's laggy and buggy as hell. Fucked up leg, brothers. Yeah, dude. Your leg's probably more fucked than mine, Diamond, dude. Yeah, it was. It honestly was about night f right for a night in Vegas. It was about right. That's like my average night. No, it's not my average night. This shit really happens. It just happens. When it happens, it happens all at once. So, here we are. Waiting for the match to start. I'm going to run real quick, go use the restroom while I'm waiting for the match to start. I'll say BRB. BRB. Restroom. I'll be right back, guys. See you in a second. If they start, I'm sorry. I'll be right back.
I'm back. Is DB broken? Did it break? <sighs> Did it break? I'm back. Dude, it was a night of bad RNG. All right, looks like they haven't started yet. Thank God. Shit. You guys want to talk some shit? Let's talk some shit. What's even happening right now? Why is the game not starting? There we go, finally. Fucking holy shit. Okay. We're back. I'm, I'm here. I'm in the thing. I'm in the thing. Cool, cool, cool. Winner's finals. Cool, cool, cool. Indicate losing the die roll. Pro Storm going first. That's actually big in this matchup, I think. It's big in a lot of matchups, but it's especially big in these like slow aggro deck matchups. Who you guys got? Who you got? Both these guys are my boys. Oh, thanks for the gifties. Hell yeah, Bryce. You're the GOAT, dude. Thank you so much. That's what we were talking about. Heavy Storm on the Legacy. That's kind of... Literally what we were talking about, isn't it? I feel like that's what we were talking about. Cameron is messaging me. Opinions on Pro Storm's run. I think he's, he's playing well. I think he's playing well. What do you mean, opinions? <laughs> Chat, let me know what your opinions are on Pro Storm's run. I think he's playing well. I think he's playing really well. I don't know. It's been one of those, like... I think him and Indicate have been playing really well. Like, the whole tournament. I mean, we've been watching a lot of them. It says, what am I doing if Fairies wins RBT rulers? Probably what I was going to do anyway. <laughs> Which is just say, Fairy best deck. <laughs> I don't know. Well, probably take a nap. <laughs> Probably they probably go to go to bed. Yeah, like I agree, Ronick. These guys are good. These guys are fucking good. Put Christian in the bottom right hand corner of the play map. I mean he he's in a tough spot, like this matchup. Hero beat, it can be good, it can be bad, but the D.Va stuff makes it a little bit more intricate because you don't want to side out Herald. Normally you side out Herald in this matchup, right? But you don't want to side it out because they have the D.Va stuff. And Phoenix Wing Windblast in particular, which we know Indicate is playing, is actually really good against the Fairies deck. So it's... It's an interesting matchup. I think this is going to be like probably like probably one of the coolest matches we see. For sure. I think it's probably going to be one of the coolest matches we see. I can say that without a doubt. Uh. 
Neo D. Dallas says, considering how this term is going, might as well replace Dandelion with DD Warrior Lady. Yeah, maybe. Normal summoning the Herald instead of using it on the Cataster. Risking Bionic into the back row. Is that really the wave? I suppose we find out. Oh, never mind. We have my control. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Dude, DD Warrior Lady is such a good card. People don't understand. No. Dude. This can't be happening. Winner's finals? No. Dude, no way. This isn't real. This isn't real. How strong is it? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's 5,600. Right? Dude. 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 Oh my god. Yo! That was fucking crazy! Oh my god, that was fucking crazy. Holy shit. What? That was fucking nuts. That was fucking nuts, dude. Oh my god, <laughs> what the fuck? That was fucking crazy, dude. That was fucking... Oh my god, what the fuck? <sighs> that was nuts. That was actually nuts. If I lost to Ancient Sacred Wyvern, I would leave the match. <laughs> like, I'd just be like, alright. I'll see you in the reset. I'll see you in Grands. Like, just fucking... You get this one, bro. Damn, dude. I was thinking, like, oh, it's gonna be a grind fest. Like, they're slow, like, aggro matchups. Like, you know, it's gonna be a lot of resource trading, hero blast, that kind of shit. Like, who can leverage the diva, the catastrophe, the heralds, and everything? Like, and it's just like, no. OTK time. Mind control. And that's the power of mind control in the deck, too. You get to play. Mind control is basically second brain control, but it can take second monsters, which is good. And you get to play that when you have the Cyber Valley, and you get to play that when you have the Herald of Orange Lights. And as you can see, <laughs> it's clearly very good when it goes off. It's clearly very good. That was nuts. That's crazy. I already know what's going on in the mat. I already know what's going on in the mat if, if, the, if the finals goes the way I think it goes. All right, Indicate gets to go first. That means he gets to either set up his shit or, I don't know. Stratos, Stratos search. Hmm. How'd you nudge? All right, we got summon alias. We got the little little guy, nineteen hundred B. We got the hero. Now what? Okay. Okay. And there's a book. And that's why you play Book of Moon. So you can stick a DD Warrior Lady, force your opponent to out it. And if this alias gets banished, then that's bad news for Indicate. I'll say it. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe he has more alias. I don't know what to... Never mind. He drew Gilman. 
Gilman pretty good against Dee Dee Warrior Lady because you hate Gilman. You want him to be banished. Pro Storm on that mobile. Dude, if he he's in winner's finals on fucking mobile, I don't believe this shit. That's crazy. Okay, 1900 is going to connect. And phase dust. So far, so good. This alias sticking is kind of an issue. 1900 damage a turn, like it adds up. Nova Summoner, okay. Crash, perhaps? All right, what's the mission here? What's the mission? Where are you going here? Probably Dee Dee Warrior Lady. Is he gonna go the distance? Is he gonna go... Nah, he's not gonna go full four fairies. He's just gonna go for the two. Preserve the life total. Take the 400. Board state's more or less even, but Indicate has the initiative, and he has a card advantage because he went first. Roundick says, haven't seen Pro Storm Summit Christia all day. He summoned it versus, I think, J4. Was it J4? Oh, Indicate drawing the second Gilman. I like, I like that. <laughs> that sucks. That's so unlucky, dude. That's so unlucky. And also, Indicate doesn't have any more back row. And this Thunder King is going to stop E-Call. It's going to stop Stratos. Oh, man. That's so unlucky. Yeah, T-King is good here. In general, T-King is good. It's just a good card. Janugo says, that's why Fairies is so good. It's just consistent, only play cards that do something. Yeah, that is the strength. All the cards are active all of the time. You don't have, like, the insane combos. And you can brick on Christia's. Bryce, I prefer the Secret Ryos because of the older border. And Secret Rare is my favorite rarity. Dialk Banish Legacy, that's kind of funny, but probably doesn't matter. There goes an Ocean. Well, that sets up for Miracle, but if he had Miracle, he could have played it last turn, but maybe he didn't want to play it into the back row. Who knows? I suppose we'll find out. Oh shit, I'm getting a call. Hold up, guys. This is actually an important call. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, absolute zero. And there's the miracle. We go into Calc. Are we going to Calc? Pro Storm's big thinking here. Uh... Huh. Why didn't he... Why didn't he... If he had Honest, I feel like... Yeah, I don't know. E-Call can find Stratos. Stratos can do... Stratos can pop the back row. I might be pop back row gang here. Oh, no. That's a mistake, dude. That's a mistake. So the only reason... He wouldn't go for the... Honest is I'm thinking he has return maybe set and I would have maybe tried to pop that 
Uh, maybe I don't know what I'm fucking talking about. Maybe he just waited as a bluff. Maybe he doesn't have honest. I don't know. Prostorm says tricky. James says he just doesn't have honest. I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't have honest. Maybe he's on that mobile lag. <laughs> Maybe he's on that fucking T-Mobile shit. What is it, Boost Mobile? Dude, playing Dueling Book on Boost Mobile on your flip phone. That's that good shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I think if you have honest, you just do it there every single time. But what do I know? Maybe not. Is he on mobile for real? Yes, he is on mobile. He has been on mobile the whole tournament. He's a goat. Either way, he's gonna need to do something. Okay, here's a freed. This is big. Big. Very big. Very large. Very huge. 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 We know alias in hand. Is that what we know? We just know alias. We don't know the other card. Okay, here comes the pop. This is gonna pop zero. And then maybe we're gonna get. So this is this is a really good freed and that's gonna activate and then there's a my body as a shield okay that's interesting this crashes here that makes sense why he didn't if he has honest it makes sense why he didn't use it now from the banished pile you can grab either dd warrior lady shiny old thunder king i don't know i think i think they're all kind of fine Shining Angel, okay. That's then you're gonna have free direct for seventeen. So do you commit the Shining Angel? And I agree with the play not to, because in the case of another miracle fusion, you actually get fucking owned if you commit the Shining Angel. So here's this. He's just gonna immediately take the two hundred. Huh. He normal summoned already? Oh, he normal summoned the freed. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I missed that. I missed that, I missed that, I missed that. Okay. Is there a spark? And if there is a spark, do you play it? That, my body as a shield, cost a lot of life points. <sighs> yeah. Pro Storm said wrong one. Yeah, that is the wrong one. But it won't matter because he doesn't have an out. That was a tough one. But I think Indicate played it very well. I think he played it very well. Knowing when to go for the aggression was good. Waiting to bait the back row before going for that miracle. Because he had set the ocean. Either he topped miracle at that very turn after or he had it and he was waiting to do it until one of the back row was clear that was an interesting game huh. I don't know that was an interesting game I'm trying to think if there was a line where it was like you crash d -elk, into Stratos, you add something back, and then you freed pop the, you freed pop the absolute zero, and you just don't care about the my body as a shield, because the alias is going to kill your freed, so like, you just don't activate 
my body as a shield and you stay up on life points maybe i don't know maybe that's not it because you're gonna take 19 from the fucking alias and then my body's gonna be dead anyway so you might as well get value out of it i don't know that's a weird situation that's one of those situations where my body as a shield did not look that good even though in theory it's probably very good against this deck stops hero blast stops gemini spark actually i don't even know does it stop hero blast it does right it's got to stop hero blast right um yeah it's just the issue is like you're trading one for one with like a removal spell but you're also losing 1500 life points and in a deck where you have to pay life points to like crash your dudes it's a little tricky i'm not sure if it's i'm not sure if i like it i'm not sure if i like that choice a lot of the other choices from pro storm i've liked but my body is a shield i'm not i don't know that's that was it didn't look that good in that game it cannot stop hero blast okay then yeah it's it's sus it's sus at best you have it for gemini spark and that's it i don't know especially in this life this matchup i think life points matter a lot oh no did he get him he did get him with the legacy and the gores that was a good bait that was a good bait legit It does stop Hero Blast if you have a monster that would be destroyed. Alright, I gotta stop reading the chat. <laughs> you guys are banned. All you guys are banned. Alright, big thonk moment from Pro Storm. You do have the Gores and the Gores token, but what are you doing with the Gores and the Gores token? That's the real question. Are you crashing the Gores token? How are you approaching this situation? Defense position Gores is annoying for the Hero Beat deck to deal with normally, but you have Deep Sea Divas in this list, so they can make Goyo Guardian just steal your shit. Also, I think Indicate is playing, like... I think I remember seeing him play Windblast and Compulsory and shit. So, his list looks a little bit better against defense position, of course. Nibiria says, what's left of the tournament after this match? That's a good question. I need to check the fucking... Make sure. Mr. Soultide lost to Yomero. Okay. Um... It's just, like, loser's top 16, I think. And then we go into top eight, and then we go into... The whole tournament should be done within the next few hours, I'm thinking. Roundhook, yeah, he's been doing that and on mobile, which is crazy. 1 a.m. to 6 a.m. his time on mobile. He's he's really good. These dudes are really good. Both these players. I know I was talking shit on Indie Kid before, but, like, that's all cap. He's actually the GOAT. Oh, wow. Is this a pro storm? Is this a pro storm pro storm? No. 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 What? Oh, man. It is a solemn set. Pro Storm, Pro Storm, Pro Storm's in the chat. This is why we have the emo. Oh my god. Dude. Oh my god. That's crazy. That was nuts. That was fucking nuts. Holy shit. He played four cards this game. Gore's Heavy, Solemn, and Legacy of Yadagarasu. He played four cards this game. That's insane. What a game. What a game. That was nuts. Dude, that match might be one of the greatest matches I've ever seen. Like, every single game in that match was really good. 
That was really cool. Holy shit. That might have been one of the greatest games that Yu-Gi-Oh ever played. That was really sick. Okay. Losers finals or whatever the fuck we're on to. Who do we got? We got Silchus Ruin versus Yomero right now. I'm about this. I'm about this match. This is what I want to watch right now. I don't care about the other matches. This is the one I want to watch. But they're not playing yet. Silchus. Silchus, Yomero. Where are you? Where are you guys? Aren't you guys not playing? All right. Yeah, it's Silchus Ruin and it's Hydro Pump versus Carpath. We could hop into Hydro Pump versus Carpath, but they they're already like they're almost done. And I want to catch Silchus Ruin versus Yomero in the from the beginning basically. Um, it looks like Yomero's going to be back in 5 minutes, so let's catch the tail end of Carpath. Let's see what's going on there. Is that not something that's happening? Is Carpath not playing? Where's Hydro Pump? Why are they not? Are they not playing? What's going on? Is Yomero on Glads? I think he is. Carpath said Hydro Pump hosting over 30 minutes ago. Is the game over? I don't know. I don't understand. Car path one, you think? Well, I'm going to need more than I think. We need some guarantees. We need some fucking guarantees, people. Um... All right. All right. What's the move? What's the move? Just tell me who won. God damn. All right, is Silchus up in this bitch? Are they playing yet? No, they're waiting. They're waiting. That's right. Yomero's going to be here in like a few minutes. All right. Carpath won against Hydro Pump. So we can watch... Carpath versus Beast Mode, or we can watch Silchus Ruin versus Yomero. I'll let you guys pick. We'll do a poll. Silchus is on, for those of you who don't know, Silchus is on Diva Zombies. Yomero's on Glads. Carpath is on Carpath, the Carpath deck. And Beast Mode is on Diva Zombies. So either way, you're getting Diva Zombies. Uh, but I'll let you guys pick. Carpath, are you and Beast Mode ready? Are they playing already? I don't think they're playing already. That's a pretty tight pull. Is it Carpath deck KFC? I think so, yeah. It's his, like, uh, Karaz Gear Town deck. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, just play both. Play whatever formats you like. At the end of the day, that's all it's about. I like this format. So that's why I am uh, hosting a big fucking tournament. All right. We'll give Beast Mode a little bit of time. It appears as though Yomero and Silchus Ruin are ready. And that might be the deciding factor for who we watch. Just because Beast Mode is not here yet. Hmm. Dude, my fucking body hurts. I am not. Oh, never mind. Beast Mode's here. Alright, guys, get your votes in now. Who do you want to see? Carpath vs. Beast Mode or Silchus vs. Yomero? And also like the stream while you're at it. <laughs> okay. Y'all 
are on stream next. So I got a shout out Carpath. He uploads Edison content. It's fucking good. So check him out. We have a series that we do a little bit together. That's good fun. I'm glad to hear that, Hydro Pump. I'm glad you had a good time, man. Better luck next time. Better luck next time. There's there's always going to be another tournament. Okay, where, where though? Where are they? If they're both ready. If you're both ready. Are they? Is it happening? Is it? Is it happening, chat? It's not even fucking happening. Hydropump says top eight playout tomorrow. We've already watched through winners finals. <laughs> so no, nah, we're just we're just wrapping this bitch up. It's only like 3 p.m. here. And I want to get it done before tonight. I really don't want to have to do this again tomorrow. I want to just take tomorrow fucking off. I'll do the top eight deck list video and then that's it. Yeah, Carpath's channel is sick. He's he's unproblematic king. I love Carpath. It's like one of my favorite people in the world. All right, I'm ending the poll. The people have spoken. We're watching Carpath vs. Beast Mode. I gotta update the thing. This is, uh, I think, Losers 16? I'm not sure. And then we've got Carpath versus Beast Mode. And again, I gotta let you guys know, Carpath, he's a creative motherfucker. But Beast Mode is a consistent motherfucker. So who are we going to see take this down? Beast Mode has topped three RBETs. Carpath has topped one RBET and he topped the Charity Tournament too. So they're both really fucking good. Um, but we'll see. Carpath is probably one of the best deck builders that I've ever met. <laughs> he just makes really fucking good decks. So he has like really strong synergy and beast mode just has the sauce, you know, he has the diva sauce. Yeah. Beast mode also topped with different decks. Beast mode was one of the few people who topped with quick draw dandy warrior, which is honestly very respectable. Cause that deck is hard. That is not an easy deck to top with. That's a grindy deck. Loki Meta says, speaking of Carpath, is Meta Breaker going to make a comeback? Yeah, totally. Totally, totally. We've just been doing our own thing for a little while. I've been really busy. I haven't had a chance to like sit down and record with him for a while. So it's mostly my fault. But it's definitely going to make a comeback. All right, so we got two monsters that don't mind being destroyed in play. Beast Mode has nothing in play. Minefield Driller making its debut, RBET debut. How does this card work? When the face-up card you control leaves the field and is still in your possession... You can target one field spell card in your graveyard, add that target to your hand. So if this card leaves the field, you get to add back a, a thing. Typhoon's going to hit the Solemn Judgment. Okay, are we going to see some crazy shit go down? Because Beast Mode's actually under some very real pressure. 2900 a turn is not something you can ignore. It looks like Carpath has innovated with Upstart Goblins to make his deck a little bit more consistent. See his powerful combos more often. Foolish Burial from Beast Mode. This can send, I think, in his list, I don't know if he plays Malicious. But I do know that he plays both Plague and Mizuki, obviously. So, probably picking between one of those. He might be picking Goblin Zombie if he's got Book of Life. Who knows? Looks like it's going to be Plague. Okay. Interesting, interesting. And here's Zombie Master. So, if Beast Mode has a way to fight through this last back row, he can actually do something quite dirty here. I'm not even going to say it. I know you guys are thinking it. It's a card that was recently reprinted in... I don't remember the name of the set. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. <laughs> Duelist of Legend or some shit. Is it is it happening? Is it happening? Yes, hot dusty, exactly, Bryce. Perfectly put. Rive King Hot Dussy. That's someone 
someone kill me for saying that. Here's Windblast discarding a Dandelion, getting some value. Ooh, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. Because not only does Windblast remove the Revive King, but it doesn't put it in the graveyard, so Mizuki can't bring it back. Now, if Beast Mode is able to find a, uh, a monster to pitch, he can Mizuki back Zombie Master, pitch a monster, and then make it again, but it's just a little trickster. It's a little bit of a trickster situation. Set Gear Town, set another Gear Town. This, I don't like this play. <laughs> I just don't. Well, maybe I do. I don't know. Battles of Legend, that's what it is. Okay, not never punished. Never punished. Never punished. Maybe the play was okay. I was going to say, I don't know if I like this play, into Mirror Force or Trenchal, but then I was like, oh, wait, they can just, you know, search a card and draw a card, and they're fine. So maybe it's okay. Who was saying upstart into upstart in chat earlier? Someone said that. Was that a called shot? Nicely done. Nicely done, chatter. The card trooper is still, you know, good pressure. Milling three monsters. I don't know if Carpath plays Avarice. And these are three monsters you probably would have liked to draw, maybe. I don't know. Giant Rat's cool. A giant Rat can get Minefield. It can get Dandelion. It can also get card trooper. So has a lot of different options. Ven says one Avarice. Okay, so Avarice is now live. That's not a bad mill. One Avarice? I like that. I like that concept. Hmm. But now what? Beast mode, despite getting 2,000 life points for free, is still kind of like in a bad spot. Because he just doesn't have a dude. Now he can put a dude into play. Okay, brain control on the card trooper. This makes sense. Card trooper mill three. Unfortunate mill. <laughs> Very unlucky. He got 3,000 for free? Oh yeah, 3,000 for free, yeah. Hmm. Really makes you think. He got 3,000 life points for free. Okay, Mizuki back. Plague makes sense. You don't have a card to stack for it. Gonna make Cataster. So maybe he just doesn't have Android. Or maybe he wants Cataster so he can fight off Gear Dragon. Which also makes sense. Attack over Sangin. Sangin can now grab Debris Dragon, which is, yeah, that's, that's scary. That's really scary. Now the issue here is that if the set field spell card is uh, Gear Town, you have to bring back Lone Fire with Debris, because then the Dandy will make it time. Oh my god, and the Rat can get Grandma, and the Grandma can kill the Catastrophe for free? Bro, this deck is heat! What the fuck? This deck is cool! This deck is cool. I don't know how to say it any other way. This deck is just fucking cool. <laughs> he is going to get dust sheeted, though. He is going to get dust sheeted. Well, I mean, that's all right. You have Mole. You have the other guy. <laughs> Three Dragon. Is Grammel just fucking insane in this meta? Grammel is insane in any position where you have the initiative. If you don't have the initiative, Grammel's quite a bad card because you're just going to fall behind. I also think Grammel is very bad against Black Wings which is one of the best decks in the format. Although we haven't seen a lot of Black Wings in this event, meaning it might not be one of the best. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? This is one of the sickest, I will say, one of the sickest tournaments, if not the sickest tournament that I've ever seen. Like, this is just... Like, you... I would pay for this shit. <laughs> Fuck, I fucking am. <laughs> I am paying for this shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah, no, but, but legit, like... This is a fire tournament. Holy shit. I'm really, like, proud of the community, man. Like, you guys are cool. I think about it a lot. I'm just like, you guys are fucking cool. Damn, dude.
Okay, what's the move? Okay, battle phase. Attack the token. Sets monster. Yell says this is the best tournament you've seen quality wise. And the quality is legit just from the gameplay. Like, I'm. I'm gonna be real. My streaming is like very casual. And my stream setup is very, very casual. Also true, if you do want to donate to the prize pool for these these players who are actually the ones putting on the show for you guys, feel free to do that. All donations, all membership fees, everything from this stream is going directly to the prize pool, 100% of it. So if you guys want to contribute to the players who are putting on this show, because legit, it is them. It's not me, it's them. Uh, then feel free to contribute to the prize pool. Just like, honestly fucking awesome dudes literally like every single person in this bracket has been grinding so hard the last year for fun like knowing that there's probably no reason to do this other than just like some like silly little internet points and like a discord role but these guys have been fucking grinding for a full fucking year dude carp has been working on this deck for more than six months how many things in your life do you work on for more than six months? This is a work of art. Like, this is legit. Like, this deck is really, really cool. I don't know, man. This is sick. It's something I'm really, really stoked on. So the grandma here is just kind of, like, vibing. Yo, thank you so much, yo, for the duelist. That's another $20 towards the prize pool. This might end up being a pretty big prize pool towards the end. I think we're either close to breaking 200 or a little bit more than 200. Right now. This is really sick. You've worked on your Metalfos machine deck in Duel Links for almost a year, Kevin. Yeah, and you understand. You understand what it's like to work on something for over a year. It's like... It's kind of crazy how, like, this game can give you a creative outlet, in a way. Like, maybe I'm not a great painter. Or maybe I'm not, like, you know, like a fucking carpenter or a craftsman or whatever. But I can build a fucking cool-looking deck. You know? And that's, like, a form of self-expression. It's kind of tight. Actually, here, what you should do is you should banish the Lone Fire. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because they have card trooper. Yeah, you just hit the Danny. What the fuck is going on? Dueling book just be breaking, dude. Seriously. Deck building is sick. Okay, here's the Bryonic. Gonna net nothing off of it, though, because... It's synchroed with the Pyramid Turtle. Bryonic's gonna pitch a card. Okay, Mystic Tomato. Mystic Tomato, a little bit of a... You know, he's just throwing tomatoes at his opponent. Bryonic, you see his little tiny arms? You see his little tiny arms? Look at his tiny arms. He just grabs a little tomato and he just throws it at the fucking opponent. He said, fuck your set, monster. I'm throwing this tomato at you, bitch. Yeah. Kevin, there is a ranked system in the Discord. If you want to play ranked. Hey, Optimus Prime. While I'm in my fucking good vibes phase, I gotta apologize to you for earlier. I'm sorry I said I didn't want your help. I actually do. Reach out on Discord. I'd love to hear you out. Cheers, bro. And I'm sorry I lashed out at you. That was not cool of me. I will not do it again. Jackson Madden, you said there's a card shop owner. Said in a video a month ago that you were talking about an RBT in real life. Said my shop can work near the Chicagoland area. Yo, what's up, Jackson? I'm super down. I'm super down. Have you... We've talked on Discord, right, Jackson? Or have we not talked on Discord? This is a big return. Well... It's a small return, but no return is a small return. All returns are... All returns are small returns. 
or big re- i'll return shut the- i can't fucking speak <laughs> i'm like thinking about three different things you don't have discord only facebook hmm this might complicate things do you have an email address per chance i have a business email on my youtube page You can contact me on the email there and I would love to work with you and we can get in touch because I think we could do some cool stuff. This is a big move. F. F. Oh, that was brutal. That was brutal. I mean, I get it. Like, where would you find the email you're bad with technology? Let me let me check my YouTube page real quick, and I can I can show you. So if you go to my YouTube page, on uh, YouTube.com forward slash a three U U V O. Shit. Okay. Return mirror force. All right. Keeping him alive. If you go to the page, and are you on mobile? If you go to the about section on mobile, no, it's not there. Shit, where is it? Fucking shit. <laughs> Fuck, where is it? It should be on the, like, in my fucking, like, bio or something. If it's not there, I'll make it visible or whatever after this. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, this is nuts. The gear dragon's going in. It's going ham. You're hungry, but you don't want to stop watching? Don't worry. You can replay on YouTube VOD. You can replay. You can, like, instant replay or whatever. Why is it not showing up? Hold up. I'm curious. I guess you can't see it on... Shit, what the fuck? Um, Bro, just download Discord! (laughs) Carpath up the game. Dang. Uh... Yeah, Jackson, uh, I'll have to get, get the email updated. Uh, you could also reach out to me on Twitter. If you have Twitter at E3 Yu Gi Oh, you can DM me on there. That I, I don't know why that took me so long to think about. Fucking. I'm brain frozen right now. So, Hells, dude, the VOD will be here. If you need to sleep, the VOD will be here. Sevilla, it might be too late for this event, but you sent me a site that does prize pool crowdfunding that if users make a new account, they get money towards the pot. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's pretty sick. I'll take a look at that when I'm uh, done. You don't have Twitter, Jackson? All right, fair. I mean, Twitter about to go down underway. Why did he admit defeat? I don't know. I fucking missed it. Was the game over? Did he lose? Wasn't he at 300 life points? That's true, Zolz. You don't get the live chat experience. That's tight, Sevilla. I like that. Yo, Striker, thank you so much for everything you did today. Actually, go everybody, sevens in chat for Striker, who helped judge this event. Striker did an amazing job. Thank you so much, Striker. You're the GOAT. You're a legend. You're a real one. Fuck. Striker's so based. Okay, I, I'll figure out a way to get a hold of you, Jackson. I'll, I'll put my email up on the fucking about me or whatever. I'll put it up after the stream. And then you can email me on there. And then we can get in touch. Because I feel like that'd be a cool thing to do. Alright, terraforming. This is the start. This is how it begins. I like Carpath choosing the zones of the tokens to tilt his opponent. Who didn't host in classic mode here comes set set okay gear town activation are we gonna see a torrential tribute maybe a bottomless 
If the set monster is a floating creature, oh wow, just nothing? Okay. Yeah, it should be fun, Jackson. I'm excited. I'm excited. Is this KFC? This is Animatic Lunatic. So this is a deck that Carpath invented. Basically, that came up with it on his own. It's a really cool combo deck. You got a lot of combos that are really cool. <laughs> you know what KFC stands for? It stands for Carpath's fucking cool. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, he waited! He waited! Oh my god, what a torrential. That was beast mode. That was a beast mode. Silchus won? Okay, let's update that. Silchus is gonna go on to face Dimitri. That was a crazy wait on the torrential. Very, very smart. Even though he couldn't beat the gear dragon. He was like, fuck it, we ball. And now he gets two searches, and now he's just straight up up three cards. Makes up for how strong that Mirror Force was last game. Exactly. I mean, he got his own sweeper off. The sweepers are very underrated sources of card advantage in this meta. Or not meta, in uh, this format. And here's a Typhoon for the Black Garden. Beast One's going to have none of that shit. And all he has to do is like put something together with six cards. Shouldn't be too hard. I think Zombie Master, okay, yeah. That's that's pretty fucking good. Can he kill off this? I don't know. No, he cannot, apparently. He can just poke the tokens, which is fine. That's not a bad place to be. Yeah, and Carpath's just done. He said, fuck me, that Tarantula was insane. We're going to game three, folks. We've got... The fucking creative deck building master, and we've got the most consistent topper to ever do it. This is a really hype match. Very, very nice. Honestly, I gotta give big respect to Carpath for bringing this deck. Because, like, that's, like, the ultimate Giga Chat energy. It's like, I believe in this thing I've been working on. And you believe in it so much, you're going to bring it to a tournament where the other 39 players are the scariest players you could play against. I got, that's fucking, you got to check out his YouTube channel after this. That's all I'm saying. You just got to check out the guy's YouTube channel. I heard it's pretty fucking lit. A little bird told me. Car Pass YouTube channel is pretty fucking lit. I'm sure he has some videos. If you guys are interested in this deck, he definitely has some videos working on this deck on his channel and like talking about the theories behind it. He called me out in his tier list. What did he say? <laughs> I watched it. I watched part of it. I think he said something like... I don't remember what he said. I actually don't remember if he said anything. That's funny. Carpath, also now my number one hater. You know what? I take it all back. He was hating on me in the tier list. <sighs> Maybe his YouTube is kind of not that good anymore. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. Bottomless on the fucking gear dragon. Okay, that's sick. That's sick. What next? What next? He said fairy being S tier is cope. Uh, it's not cope. The deck's fucking insane. I'm... I will die on that hill. You can fucking talk to me about, like... You can talk to me about anything in this format, but... Oh, shit! Pro Storm! Pro Storm's in chat. Ooh, that's a nasty Pro Storm, too. That's gonna hit, like, two high-value cards here. Black Garden and Call of the Haunted. Bully, your name is funny. It reminds me of, like... These these treats we used to feed my dog they were called bully sticks i don't know why <laughs> murray says dragon is real yeah dragon is fucking let's do okay goblin zombie attacking into the set giant rat gonna deal 350 damage because that makes sense that was a good heavy storm, but there was no follow-up, so maybe he could have 
like I feel like this card is good. Like if if you want to set a back row, then you heavy storm there. Or if you want to go for a synchro play, then you heavy storm there. But now you're out your heavy storm, and if Carpath just sets a defensive trap, you're gonna have trouble comboing into it. So it's like while it was a two for one, and that is a good thing. Like that's that's not a bad thing by any means. Um you're now out your heavy storm. Animatic says risking Gear Town was not really the smartest. Maybe he had a way to take advantage of the Gear Dragon. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe he had like a Cyber Dragon or something in his hand. So I was thinking maybe he had a way to take advantage of it. But I'm not sure. Let's see a Cataster. There could be a Cataster in the near future. What do we know is in hand? Did he search Zombie Master? I kind of missed it. I was talking about the play line. Carpath's situation sacking the giant rat sacking the dandelion for the titanial i don't know if that's great but he's doing this to play around basically a bryonic otk and he's in a situation where like if bryonic comes down and makes a push he wants to have titanial and it's an aggressive risk it's an aggressive risk mostly because if you can make a bryonic play here you can make a, a play that outs the Titanial just as easily. Just going to run over the tokens. We'll see a Synchro. Yeah, so... I don't know. It makes sense, but like... Carpass position is now really bad. Because... Beast Mode's going up to 6 cards in hand... Even if you trade one card and Bryonic for Titanial, you're up four cards to three. And your opponent's kind of like out their good shit, you know? Like, they, they, the issue with the KFC deck is kind of like, it's a combo deck, ultimately. And you need a lot of cards to put that combo together. You need multiple field spells. You need debris plus a field spell you know what i mean like you need multiple cards for you to do the really broken stuff and when you're at a low resource like this it's gonna favor the zombie player that being said beast mode is not really capitalizing off of the pressure he could be applying here he's not attacking directly he's not really like going for anything i agree diamond dude if you guys are liking these matches you gotta like the stream that's just how it goes I don't make the rules. You got to do it, though. Yeah, he could go Debris into AFD and slap a Gear Town. He could do that. But then, like, what if you do all that and you swing and it's just a Spirit Reaper? It's not a Spirit Reaper because it would be poking the hand directly. But what if, though? What if, though? What if, though? What if, though? Hmm. Necrogardena is going to make it difficult for Carpath to mount an offense too. That being said, he's had enough time to build up cards in hand. That also being said, he's not doing anything. So, what's in his hand? Like, what's five cards in hand? You're not going to play any of it? What's going on? So, is everything all right at home, Carpath? Like what? Okay, here's here's what's looking like maybe a push. Yeah, this looks like maybe a push. Kevin asked, "What's the best recruiter in the format?" Probably Mystic Tomato or Sangin, if you count Sangin. If you're talking like battle recruiter. Big DD Crow moment. Big DD Crow moment. But this is still gonna be Gear Town activate. Okay. Eh. Do we really want to attack the Pyramid Turtle here? Is that where we want to attack? Don't we want to attack the Set Monster instead? 
I guess if it's that important, he'll just necroguard the attack. That was a crazy DD Crow. First off, Beast Mode having the wherewithal to fucking side in DD Crow against this deck. And then setting up for the situation where it actually just really crushes Carpath. Yeah, it really messed things up for him. But that being said, like, how the fuck is Carpath... How the fuck is he ever pushing through a face-up attack position Pyramid Turtle? How, how is he doing that? I don't know. Oh my gosh. That's gross. Yeah, that's tough. The Battle Recruiters are very good against the Gear Dragon monsters. And they're also very good against Titanial. I was thinking if the Debris Dragon had gone through, maybe he goes Black Rose. And then Nukes. But if you go Black Rose and Nuke, you have to target Lonefire, not Dandy. F, dude. F's in the chat for Carpath. Beast Mode's consistency is just too strong. Beast Mode's consistency is just too strong. And Beast Mode's going to move on, dude. That was fire. That was a fire match. That was a really good match. And I'm excited for this next match too, which is going to be Beast Mode versus Mumix. Christia Sworn versus Diva Zombies. Do you guys want to watch that? That sounds kind of fire. Yeah, Beast Mode had his shit together that game. I, I The Heavy Storm made sense because he was just like on a value plan. He was just like, how do I ever lose if I just get pluses now? As Beast would say, I am him. You guys want to watch Beast Mode Mumix or do you want to watch the end of Silchus Dimitri? We are moving into, I think, if I go top 16, we are well into top 16. Are we in top 8 only right now? We are. We are in top 8 solidly. Okay, so we have a top 8 breakdown. Let's give you guys the top 8 breakdown. We've got Indikid on Hero Beat. We got Masahiro on Black Wings. We got Zerus on Diva Zombie. And we got Pro Storm on Fairy in Winter Side Top 8. And then in Loser Side Top 8, we had Beast Mode on Diva Zombie. Mumix on Christia Sworn. Silchus Ruin on Diva Zombie. And then Dimitri on some cursed shit, I'm just now hearing. What is Dimitri playing? Should we check it out? I want to watch the Mumix match. I want to watch the Mumix match. We should, we should get the replay from Silchus and stuff too. Uh... Oh, it looks like they haven't played the match yet. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold. Hold, everyone. Hold. Okay, Silchus. And we could actually get all of these. We could actually get all of these. That was a really good run, Carpath. You almost made it. You were literally one match away from top eight. Okay, Silchus and uh, Dimitri, go ahead and play and save me the replay. We're going to watch Mumix versus Beast Mode on stream. All right. Dude, this is fucking hype. Shout out to Carpath, everyone. Definitely check out his YouTube channel. It is actually so fire. It is actually so fire. Cameron Saunders says the best player in the format in finals is truly justice. I agree. I think this top eight is indicative of the best players. Literally, look at this top eight. Beast Mode and Silchus Ruin were the number one and number two seeds. Pro Storm was like the number four seed or something. Zerus won an RBET. So it's like, this is like a very, 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 very indicative of like the best players. They really get this format. Like they really get it. They're about it. All right, we got Mumix versus Beast Mode. Now I've heard good things about Mumix. Mumix made it into the tournament at a very low seed. He was a, um, he was a pass down invite from an RBET. 
James Ark says Mimix will kill this man, and I'm inclined to believe the things that Ark says. Thank you so much, Ven. Donating 2010 for the Edison format. Based. 2010 towards the prize pool of this tournament. Hell yeah. So, I've heard good things about this Mumix person. And I've seen some crazy shit. We saw a Turn 1 Christia earlier. That's nuts. That's all I'm saying. Turn 1 Christia is... Holy shit. <laughs> we, may, we might even see that again. James Ark says he's next level. I'm seeing some next level shit right here. That's the thing, though. That's the thing. Beast Mode's consistent as fuck, dude. He just be hitting the, the good shit, dude. He just be drawing well. He just be playing well. He just be doing what's necessary. I cannot deny Beast Mode's consistency. So, Mumix is definitely the underdog here. He's definitely not favored, and I also think this matchup is bad for Mumix. I, I do not think this deck does well against Zombies. I think the Zombies deck is going to, like, fucking murder it. Yeah, this is not where you want to be. Yes, the Numeron avatar is based. I will say that. That is a, that is a based and professional avatar. He made top 8 with... Uh, he made top eight with a fucking the most based ever list. Okay, two fairies and grave. He's two off from Christia. As far as light swarms go, he's got three names, so he's one off from JD. Searches Arcus. I, you know what? I respect it. Arcus after the Caius has resolved. I can see these things. I can see these things. Summoning Arcus to play around main deck trap hole. I like it. And there's the fourth name. Perfect. JD is now online. Can Beast Mode do anything about JD? Technically, yes. He can. Technically. Hmm. 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 Is that Shire Light Swarm? I do believe that is the Shire Light Swarm. Normal Summon Pyramid Turtle. Ooh. Ooh. That's nasty. The Druid. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, man. This is tough. <laughs> This is really tough. <laughs> I think you have to honest to save life, dude. I think you have to honest to save life. Cameron, dude, I keep forgetting to do that shit. I have to mail like six things out and I keep forgetting. I didn't remember to do that. I'll do it when I'm uh, off stream, Kappa. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Seriously, I have it. It's literally on, you know, my fucking kitchen table. It's on the corner of my kitchen table. I just haven't mailed it. I just, I'm just being fucking stupid about it. I just need to go to the post office. Um, thank you for reminding me. Mumix says calc? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> Cry. <laughs> Sedge. Yeah, you do have to honest. This sucks, but you do have to do it. Because you can't take the damage. If your game plan is JD Christia, which is a game plan. Now there are four fairies in the grave. I'm just saying, you can go, theoretically, JD Christia. You can theoretically do that on the next turn of the game. But the situation is not... It's not a happy situation. It's kind of like a... Ooh, I don't know situation. It's kind of like a... Mm. So I had an idea, I had a concept here that of a play that Beast Mode could have made. Maybe it's a good play, maybe it's not a good play. But how you lose this game is JD Christie. I mean, that's how you lose the game. Which makes me think, do you want to set up Stardust Dragon to try and protect your back row? Stardust Dragon will also protect you from a, like a Celestial, Celestia, not Celestial, uh, coming down. 
He does have four fairies. I mean, that's it's pretty fucking good. What are you adding back, though? Probably Honest. Maybe Soul of Purity and Light. You do need to get something in place so you don't die to brain control. Hmm. That's not a Christia. I'll, just, I'll say it. That's a JD, though. Title needs updating. Oh, my gosh. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Beast mode versus new mix. And then we got to do, what is it? Top eight. Losers top eight. And there's a, that's, that's a gores. That's a gores. Of gores. You got to pay a thousand, but now you're just fucking, you're fucking cooked by brain control. Uh, I think the only reason you're dropping gores is because you have brain control. Otherwise, you don't drop it, right? I guess it makes them pop the chain. Mills the Christia and the Plague. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a tricky one. I think... Because there's no Christian play, it's just curtains. He's got Mizuki, he's got Plague. I mean, that's just like... You know, he's... You know, he's got the thing. He's got the fucking vibes, bro. Yeah, you can take the other guy's Plague, yeah. Mm. Deify Cupcake? That is not someone I would enjoy to work with. That. This is just like unnecessary flexing. Taking his plague. I guess it's to play around Crow specifically. I mean, this is just. This just be. Hmm. Threatening Roar one time. Nope. Tough. Yeah, that matchup's tough, especially when you go second and your hamster gets Kaiest and you don't have Christia when you have four fairies. It's tough. It's tough. Sometimes you can have double JD and it's just not enough. And that's kind of what we saw there, is that he had double JD and he was just a little bit too behind and the bottomless was enough. I was pretty tricky. That was pretty tricky. Beast Mode has some tricks, I will say. He has some strategies. Forcing an Honest on a Recruiter was also a little iffy. I mean, you have to Honest there. Because if you don't, you just take too much damage. You can't even activate JD. Because you take fucking 17 from Mizuki and 24 from the Kaius. I think you actually just lose, don't you? Wasn't he at like 3,900 or something? Says you don't even play around the second Kai's. He was, I think he was more so playing around bottomless by searching Arcus. I think he was playing around bottomless. And he did have bottomless, so. It just worked out really poorly. Because, again, Beast Mode had the initiative. He had the Kai's drop on the hamster. And Mumix just took way too much damage. He was at 5600, so he was not dead, but damn near. Hmm. Okay, so he could have JD'd one time. Maybe you let that go through then. Because if you can activate JD once, like, that's really all you need. I could be capping, though. He was playing around the dark end. Yeah, he could have made dark end, too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that was a, that was a tough one. I think the Beast Mode just kind of had everything, like... And Mumix deck, it's one of those decks where, like, uh, feast or famine, you know? This is a pretty good setup, though. Two fairies down, three Lightsworn names, turn one. Lila pressuring the opponent. If they have a back row, then maybe they have to think about setting it. I'm actually, like, personally a really big fan of this card, Lila. I think it's, like, one of the best cards in the format. Like, underrated best cards in the format. You could play this card in, like, almost any deck, and it wouldn't inherently be wrong. That's why I think this card, I think this card's really good. If you, like, imagine you tell someone you have an MST that mills you three cards and blocks an attack. Like, that's not even a bad card. Like, that's actually a pretty good card. 
So he did set the back row. But like, do you go for it? Mm -hmm. Do you go for the Lila activation or is it just a bait all along? This must be like some sort of a uh, bait. <laughs> yeah, looks like it was. Looks like it was a clever bait. Mumix not falling for the bait. I still think you take the plus ones when you can get them. I think, like, no matter what it is, you just pop it here. Like, why not? Just take the plus one. But maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Pana says no way, it's like a dust shoot. Maybe it is. I think it's Phoenix Wing Windblast. But even then, like, I'll just fucking gun it with the Lila. Hmm. Whoa. That's scary. That's fucking scary. Damn, dude. That's a scary card. And now Beast Mode... Can he set another back row? Can he? Or is he just going to end up activating the Lila anyway? Okay, Raikou Pop Monster is... It does something, I guess. And that's the fourth fairy, too, hitting the grave. So now we've got Christia online. Judgment Dragon, not quite online. Thunder King and Double Oppression. Holy fuck. This deck is crazy sick. This deck is just like hate. Like look at the look at the nature of this hate. What's Dimitri playing? We don't know yet, but I'm gonna get the replay from Silchus Ruin and we're gonna watch that after this. Hmm. Based Arcus. He makes a return. But now what? Now if it's Phoenix Wing, Omega Lol. Dennis, is that really what he's on? That'd be crazy if that's what he's on. That'd be fucking nuts. Okay, M phase mill five. This is gonna fuck up the Christia most nope, did not fuck up the Christia. Goaded. Actually goaded. Dude, he's on frog FTK? That's insane. That's gonna be nuts. That match is gonna be nuts. Dude, what a top eight. What a top eight. Oh, this is a big diva. Does he play Gilman? Do we know if Beastmo plays Gilman? Is he a Gilman fan? Does Mumix have the third Herald? Is this just a fucking, like, blowout? I mean, you Herald the D.Va. Like, they have to defensively plague, right? Like, they just don't have plays. Bryce says not on Gilman. EVZ says Frog FTK without Rona Totem. How does that work? Frog Slicer has incredible content on that. If you want to see anything... From Frog Slicer, he can explain it better than just about anyone else. He's like a YouTuber. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's some back row, dude. Heavy Storm gone, Typhoon gone. Three Rikos gone. How are we playing through five back row, Kings? Cameron says it doesn't, just ruins people's day. Yeah, I think the same thing. I think it's not that good. But it did top eight this tournament, so... That's kind of based. <laughs> I fucking shit. That's kind of based. And we're going to see it. We're going to see the, the frog FTK in the replay once we get it. If we're looking at the top eight, while Mumix is thinking here, we have Hero Beat, Black Wings, Diva Zombies, Fairies, Diva Zombies, Christia Sworn, Diva Zombies, and Frogs. 
So three zombies, two fairy, well, one fairy, one fairy light sworn. Okay, there's the judgment. I probably would have gone for the blind line at first. But maybe you want that to get judgmented. I don't fucking know. We're just gonna hit. Now we special Christia? Yeah, it's possible. That's both JDs, so Christia is the only thing left. Here's another Lila. Second, or is that the second bottomless? No, that's the first bottomless. Okay. See, B Smoke was kind of stuck here. Now we special Christia. Now we special Christia. Frog Slicer says Dimitri made some serious improvements to your deck. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Shout out Frog Slicer. We're going to take a look at that deck here in a second. What a crazy top eight. If someone had told me like this was going to be the top eight, I wouldn't have believed you. I wouldn't have believed you. Straight up. Croco Lord, are you going to like watch the Keegan Salt early match compilation earlier? Where I'm just banning random people. Just kidding. It's not banning random. They deserve it. Kappa. Soul of purity and light. Dude. The soul of purity and light. I was like genuinely curious how he's going to play through five back row and he just like fucking did it. <laughs> he just fucking extended and did it. How many Blackwing in top eight? One. You missed it. No, it was just, it was just some people like getting upset that we were like judging on a ruling surprisingly the person who got upset is someone who has topped a lot of YCS's and I'm like dude it's a bad look dude sometimes you know what hear me out sometimes people talk about how many YCS tops they have and I'm like you don't gotta like you don't gotta talk about your YCS tops like that like that's like it's cool like you top a YCS that's cool Top 21 YCS is... Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> no, I'm just hating. I'm just being a hater. It, it's really impressive to top even one YCS. Uh, RBT tops over YCS tops. Not yet. Not yet, but soon. Milling the Soul of Purity and Light. That Soul of Purity and Light almost just ended. Ended Beast Month's shit. This card's fucking cash money, dude. So the Lila can't be switched. There's eight cards left in deck. Five are getting milled M phase unless the Lila gets converted. We know the center back row just doesn't do shit. Zal's came in 33rd at a YCS. That's pain, dude. It was probably someone impersonating the guy anyway. It was not. <laughs> it was actually him. Uh, he DM'd me. Yeah. Really interesting. That you can be that toxic and fucking act like that in a twitch chat but be like a pro player of this game what was the original background it's probably a bluff might be like called on it or something this is a crazy game is it mst wow dude you mixed fucking crush that game that Soul of Purity and Light was insane. That was like, that was three ways to push through back row. People are like, man, I don't know how good it is. I'm like, if you could special summon a 2000 monster from your hand, like that's pretty fucking good. Cause it just lets you play through shit. Um, yeah, same Totagon, but what can you expect? Yu-Gi-Oh players will Yu-Gi-Oh play at the end of the day. Even I am guilty. Even I am guilty of the salt. The fairy cards are insane. Why does nobody play the tricky? That's a good question. The fairy cards are insane, but I must say, the Lilas were looking pretty good that game. Like, the Lilas, that was like some sick, nasty pressure. Turn 1 Lila made it really awkward for Beast Mode to even play the game. And then on top of that, Beast Mode just didn't draw a non-tuner. He just drew D.Va and Plague and Trap cards. 
and that's not enough to really put anything together. That's pretty unlucky. That's like not part of the course of what his deck is, basically. Yeah, there must be an optimal list, yo. I I believe it. Hydro Pump says Gilman is the hero we need. Yeah, if he was playing Gilman, I mean, he would have been fine. But then again, he would have drawn the Gilman, so... That's just the nature. I feel like there's like a Murphy's Law for Yu-Gi-Oh! Where it's like, if there's a Gilman in your deck, you must draw it. We've seen more double Gilman draws than we've seen not double Gilman draws from Indica today. And somehow he made it to the fucking finals, or whatever. Which is crazy. Okay says, are Gladiator Beasts playable? Yeah, they are. They almost made it into top 8, I believe. I think they just lost out against... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Garnet's Law. That's hilarious, dude. Garnet's Law is funny. We gotta, we gotta fucking make that a thing. Garnet's Law. That's fucking funny. All right, here's Charge of the Light Brigade. This can grab any Light Sworn. That's level four or lower. Cannot grab Celestia, but it can grab Shire. <laughs> Garnet's Law, that's fire. Yeah, in current where you always draw Dash or Celestial, it's the exact same thing. Dang, this game is hype. Okay, big Aaron moment, big Aaron. It really makes you think. Really makes you think. Yeah, okay, he has to have bottomless. Otherwise, you can't you can't set a monster against Light Sworn unless you have Bottomless, because they just air in your shit. Decent mill, two fairies, one Light Sworn name, so like decent mill. Mystic Tomato is good pressure. Mystic Tomato also like holds the board really well and like can flow into something that you want to sack for Kai's. So, I think this Mystic Tomato is actually pretty good here. Not flipping the set monster is interesting. But the Aaron is banished, so it's not like they can really capitalize off of that. Okay, draw two mill two, and now we have four fairies, so... Are we going to see a Christia? Did Mumix find a copy of Archlord Christia here? A lot of thumbs up being exchanged. Lotta, are you going to crow me being exchanged? Looks like beast mode is not going to be crowing a fairy. Mumix is thinking really hard here. If there's a Christia, it might be lights out. Like, it's just straight up might be game. Because, like, Christia, you run over the tomato for free. If you can summon another monster, you run over the other guy for free. And then just, it's gross. It's just over. And you can add back fucking Herald of Orange Light and just, like, win. Like, that's just... If there's a Christia, the game is most likely over. That's how insane it is. Looks like that's not the case. So Beast Mode is getting another lease at life here. Beast Mode needs some fucking cash money shit. Double back row is sus. Probably one of them's a Royal Oppression. Maybe there's a Beckoning Light trying to set up for that Christia on a later turn. Okay, says no out for Christia. Well, normally the outs that Beast Mode is playing is Brain Control. And then back row. And as you can see, Beast Mode has no back row right now. So it's literally just brain control that he could have. And if you have brain control and you take the Christia, but Mumix is still at 6,600, you can't really do anything with it. Like, you can sack it, but then they just draw the Christia again, play it again, and then you get fucked. So, um, they need to be l much lower in life points for brain control on Christia to really matter. So, uh... Yeah, I don't think... I think Christia there would have been a good game. Doesn't Beast play Gale? He does, but Gale doesn't out Christia. It just puts it to 1400, but then Gale still doesn't get over the Christia. And you just lose your Gale. So you're just bleeding cards, trying to weaken a Christia. And then you can also, because the Christia can get back the Herald, you can just Herald the Gale if you really want to. Reaper into Caius is an out? No, because you can get back Herald again. It's like, eh. 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 Oh my god. That's nasty, dude. That's a nasty hamster. Whew. James Arc losing his fucking mind in chat right now. The super nimble mega hamster resolving. James Arc is awoken. That was gross. <laughs> that was 
even if that was a Raikou, like, what do you... I guess you have to attack it, right? Like, but that just feels so bad. Because now they have this fucking hamster, too. And you have to get through that to even deal damage. Every little piece of body... That's the weirdest way I could have put that. Every little card you put in play is actually really difficult for zombies. That's why I think the dandy drill stuff is really good against zombies. Because they have to go for Bryonic to, like, shove damage. And if they have to bounce more than four cards with Bryonic, it's going to get really hard. Mills three fairies. So now he has seven fairies in Grave. That's going to be hard to manipulate even with a Beckoning Light. Sol says Hamster is the best card in Lightsworn. I mean, you would know. You're Lightsworn Master. You made it into the RBET with Lightsworn. Um, but that being said, Mumix didn't pop the Mystic Tomato, which why the fuck, why the fuck would you not pop Mystic Tomato? Cause the set, what is the only monster he's not flipping and attacking you with? Goblin Zombie he doesn't want to mill you. Obviously, the set was a thousand percent a Goblin Zombie. So I feel like you would just always pop the tomato. That's just my two cents on the situation that being said if there's a beckoning light some stuff could happen hey what are you talking about hot hot dog water am i did i miss something did something happen that shouldn't have happened Why are they talking about K-pop idols in the chat? I just want to see the fucking Silchus Ruin fucking replay. What's going on? You feel like zombies should start running a couple DD Warrior Lady. Why? I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just curious why you think that. Do you think it would improve the deck? Maybe he wanted to snipe Reaper... So, on the previous turn, he attacked directly with Mystic Tomato in an open board, and he didn't flip the middle set. If he had Reaper, he would have 10 billion percent flipped it and attacked with it. Here's the Beckoning Light. That's why there was a big thing. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? This is fucking crazy. Getting back Christia. Okay, so you got one, two, three, four fairies, five fairies now. You can add back one of the fairies or you can just banish one with the soul. Maybe grab a JD. And I'm gonna grab the Herald, that makes sense. And we're just gonna we're Just gonna Soul Christia, I think. Visual says, what is the best version of Hero in my opinion? I think that really changes depending on the meta. So it's tough to say. Okay, here's Soul. So this is gonna banish two non fairies. You gotta banish two non fairies because you gotta have, you know, your Christie of you live. It's gonna banish JD and Harold. Huh? What? Huh? Is he going for a game shot? This has got to be a game shot, right? So that's your normal, synchro and bionic. This isn't a game shot, though, is it? Hold up. You special Christia, you get a card back. You bounce both monsters, and then it's 51, 71, 73. It's not lethal. It's game with Honest, right? I don't think so. Is it game with Honest? I don't think so. I think it's just 73, no matter how you do it. The only other way you could do it is, oh, have an extender. <laughs> that's a, that's another way. Okay, and that's just going to be that. I mean, that's just going to be... That's going to be game. I thought... You're right. You're right, I thought. I was wrong. You're right. Wow. What a game. Holy shit. 
That was something. Now you don't even need to think. I mean, the game's over. You just bounce the set and you win. This deck is insane. It's very feast or famine. It's very feast or famine, but it is it is insane. It looks very good. There's the honest for the extra kill damage. A Mew Mix with the GG. Damn. Congrats on Beast Mode for his fourth top eight of the season, which is fucking insane. But Mew Mix is gonna move on with his very innovative Christia Sworn deck. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Who could have predicted that? Not me. Not me, that's all I'm saying. Not me. Next up, we got Mumix on Christia Sworn versus Masahiro. But first, are we going to get Silchus Ruins fucking deck thing? No, their game's still going. We'll try to get Mumix doing the thing first, and then we'll get the replay of the other thing. That deck is clean. When it goes off, it looks insane, obviously. Ramon, I don't know the answer to that question. Can we get a deck list? We will be getting top 8 deck lists within 24 hours of the event. So, yes. You can. You can get a deck list. Yes, okay. After the tournament. Dimitri is still playing Silchus? Okay. So we've got... Um, Umix... And Masahiro next. Are y'all ready? Cool. Yes, people have petitioned that and it's gotten thousands of signatures. But that's that's besides the point. That is besides the point. Would it, it would make it blow up, probably, yeah. Maybe. I mean, the people who want to play are already playing it. Okay. So next up, we're going to see... Umix versus Masahiro. Unless they want to take 5 million years. In which case... Uh, train of thought we'll get the replay of Silchus versus whatever Cameron says the petition was sent out by Nesh without our permission I wish people would forget about that because it wasn't a real petition hey man 4,000 people signed something it's, fuck it's pretty fucking real that's all I'm saying that's all I'm saying that's all I'm saying all I'm saying is like Four thousand people signed something. This is pretty fucking. <laughs> it doesn't matter who put out the petition. That's pretty fucking real. <laughs> oh shit. Also, Bryce V makes a good point. It's time to get back to work, Cameron Saunders. It's time to go back to your literal slave judge job where you get paid nothing, and you have to answer judge calls from people who are worse than the people I had to ban in my chat today. <laughs> I can't think of anything more depressing. Sleeping Lion says, could I get deck lists from everyone, not just the top eight? I could. I could do that. I'm sorry to hear that, Cameron. I had to ban people. Yeah, I had to ban two people today. How did Goat Format get a rated Q? I mean, they just felt generous at the time. Mumix says, can you give me like 20 to 25 minutes so I can eat dinner? What do you guys think? I mean, Master Hero's not even fucking answering. Uh, start eating. Shit. I don't know what I'm gonna take this time to plug some shit. Alright, we gotta plug some shit. Mumix is gonna eat some dinner. Well, Vados, it says, it sounds like bias. We're waiting on something anyway. Like, we're waiting on a match. And I also told top eight players that it would be sequential. I told them it would be sequential. 
and it, and we're not doing it that way. So like, this is the least I can do. Um. Where where was I going with all this shit? Uh, plus Masahiro is not even here, so I'm like, go eat. <laughs> If I'd rather I'd rather him go eat and come back and Masahiro be here and then not have to DQ someone in top eight for being AFK. Oh sick. Diamond dude just DM me every list. Base. You are to go. Okay, so I gotta plug some shit. First things first, we gotta talk about Diamond Dude. Okay, Diamond Dude is the GOAT. Why is Diamond Dude the GOAT? Okay, hold up. We're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. Oh, this is not the right way to do it. This is not the right way to do it. Hold up. Diamond Dude, can you just DM me your fucking Patreon link? Can you just DM me that shit? Just DM me that shit right now. Also, everybody who's in the stream right now, like it. If you like Edison format, like it. If you like everything we've done this whole year, like the stream. I need it. I need those likes. For me personally. Oh, fuck. What was I doing? What? Patreon. Oh, yeah, 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 fucking, there it is. Diamond Dude posted the link. There's his Patreon link. Diamond Dude made, it coded a fucking thing. Support him. There you go. That's the plug. <laughs> All right, looks like Monster Hero is back and ready-ish. But It is interesting because we've tagged him in the Discord and he has not responded to us in the Discord, but he's hosting saying Mimix here. Is he not, is he not paying attention? Masahiro, we are going to start your match with Mimix in about 15 minutes. Hopefully the Silchus Rune stuff finishes in the meantime so we can watch it. Uh, okay. Yeah, Diamond Dude coded a fucking bot, and it's sick, and it's great for discords, and it helps you make a discord community if you play any format. If you have like a Tengu plant discord, or if you want to make a discord for your for your homies, and you just want to have a cool bot that does cool shit, what does the bot do? What does the bot not do? Literally, the bot, it, it can, you know... What is it when someone, like, is a priest and they can, like, get you married? The bot can le legally marry you. Like, it's actually so fucking insane what the bot can do. Uh, the bot has a license to kill in, like, 17 countries. The bot has four passports. The bot is ordained. There we go. Yeah. The bot is ordained. Yeah. The bot is excommunicated by the Mormon church. Make of that what you will. Does Edison have a world championship at the end of the year? Like, go, you're watching it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what, <laughs> what... Is that not in the stream title? Did I mess that up somewhere? <laughs> uh, the body is ordained, sleeping lion, yes. Does the Edison ban list get updated or not? So the Edison ban list is the March 2010 ban list. It doesn't change because it's the March 2010 ban list and it's like a historical format. In theory, we can do like fun tournaments like we've done in the past with like Pump King of Games where we give incentive to people to try new things or to play stuff that's like outside of the box. But for the most part... Um, no, we pretty much keep the ban list the same for all the tournaments. We might be doing some custom shit in the future with, like, Cube, where we're getting, like, unique metagames, unique limited formats and whatnot. But for the most part, like, when we're talking Edison, Edison is... It is what it is. So it's not going to change. It's basically an eternal format. 
Kevin says, what is a comparable Edison meta shift co similar to Amsa raising Yoshi on the tier list to possibly top tier all the way from bottom five? Uh, I don't know. I don't think there's a character that's like, I don't think there's a deck that's really like Yoshi. That's kind of hard to describe. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because like people at the beginning of the format, like at the very beginning of the format, people were like, frogs are the best deck and it's not even close. And quick draw is the second best deck and it's not even close. And then everyone was like, eh. and that changed a lot. Yeah, Zombie was also not even played in the first few major tournaments until we had a tournament to incentivize it. I think it's just one of those formats where, like, if you were playing hot, you can do whatever you want. And that's all that matters. And that's being shown here. Like, the best players, literally the best players, have top aided more consistently than anyone else. That's just the way it goes. Beast Mode, Silchus Ruin... They both have four tops at the end of the season. That's ungodly. That's ungodly. There's been fucking seven tournaments. And they topped over half of them. And there have been like thousands of players entering this shit. And they've topped over half of them playing different decks. <laughs> They're just playing really well. Uh, I think really what it comes down to, this format, even in like the tier, like the tier lists are like, in my opinion, for Edison format, largely a meme. Largely, in my mind, I feel like the best 10 to 15 decks are all S tier. Because as long as you're just playing hot, you can just win. And you have, like, the right text and whatnot. Jacob says that locals in 2010, it was Flamvel, Quickdraw, Blackwing, Lightsworn, and Gadget. Yeah. And how many of those decks do we see today? We just see Blackwing and Lightsworn, really. Quickdraw doesn't see a lot of play. I don't know why I think Quickdraw is good. But Flamvel and Gadget, like, fell off plus ratio. Jacob says, some zombie players that didn't want to give it up. I mean, what's crazy is they probably were right. Because zombies is just a really busted deck. Yeah, there's there's a pretty... It's a pretty deep format. It's a pretty deep format. Mizuki did get limited, but... Just because the deck is less good doesn't mean it's still not really good. That's another thing people forget. Like, how many ban lists did Blackwing get hit on? Almost every single one of them. And it's still, like, a great deck in a lot of formats. Same thing with Infernity. People did just write it off. That's true. I feel like when a deck gets hit hard, people are always like... What happened? Alright, we got a match, I believe. I think we got a match. I'm gonna see if I can get the, uh, the replay. Dimitri, can you send up your match for us? This is going to be perfect. This is going to bridge our gap into the into the next thing. Who else is another top Edison YouTuber? Well, that depends on what you're looking for. Because, like, I'd say Carpath's one of the biggest ones. He's killing it. He uploads like almost every single day, banger videos. I think Who Needs Meta is really good for like paper stuff. If you're Italian, then Edison Format Italia is really cool. Um, there are a lot. There are a lot of really good channels that have come up in the last few months. So I think, I think there's a lot of Joe Giorlando. Yes. Joe Orlando with the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. He does cover Edison every once in a while. Um, Murray does IRL duels. Check out Murray's channel. There's a whole community tab in the in the Discord for like things you can share. I'm about to grab the link. Uh, you and Zer Zer is need to. I think should we hold on, hold up hold up. What time is it? Four thirty-five. Dude, Dimitri's match was long. Can play, save the replay. Okay, we've got a replay link. We've got a replay link. Totagon streams, yes. Streams the Edison locals. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. If you if you just start looking, you'll find some stuff. If you just start looking, you'll find some stuff. And I'll say this. 
every single Edison creator I've seen is fire. Every single one is fire. There's not a single Edison creator that's whack. So if you just end up on an Edison video, then you're probably having a good time. All right, let's 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 grab this, this link and check out this top eight replay. And we got to update the stream too. Okay, so Dimitri is playing some cursed shit from what I've heard. And this is a loser's top eight game between Silchus Ruin and oh, Silchus Ruin and Dimitri. Okay. Silchus Ruin wins the rock, paper, scissors. Are you guys ready? You guys ready for this? Is everyone ready? Press one if you're ready right now for this. Because this is gonna be a fucking nuts match. Cameron says, please don't watch this on stream or at least do it on fast forward. We're going to watch it on fast forward. Jacob says, you don't think anyone in Edison thinks that Edison can get bigger, bigger than general UV tube. Okay, so this is a cool question. This is a cool question. We're going to do a quick aside while everyone's telling me if they're ready. There are four things you can do in UV tubing. There's competitive shit which is like meta shit with current stuff there's alt format stuff which is where edison falls under there's pack opening and then there's complaining there's like a there's like a whole category of like complainers edison kind of falls in the alt format category guess which of those four categories is the biggest on youtube alt formats is it's the biggest thing for you tubing is alt formats on youtube because it stands the test of time. Pack opening is not the biggest thing. Alt formats are the biggest thing on YouTube. Progression series. You guys have heard of progression series? That's an alt format. I'm going to do a video on this uh, at another time. But if you if you look at it from that perspective. Um, yeah, Cameron, dude, complaining is fire. Some people build careers off complaining about Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, we're going to watch this game and complain about it. And build a career off of it. All right. Dimitri goes second. Silchus Ruin is going first. Oh, shit, I'm showing hands. <laughs> Nobody saw anything. Nobody saw anything. All right. Uh, what's up, duelists? Top eight match. Silchus Ruin starting off with some sets. We're going to see a Substitute activation. What does this do? Swap Frog sends Substitute. Set two, pass. Activate card destruction. Chain main deck dust tornado hitting one of the back row. That's going to pick off a symbol of heritage. For those of you who don't know what this card does, which I'm assuming is most of you guys, this card says activate only while there are three monster cards of the same name in your graveyard. Select like one of those monsters, special summon it, and equip it with this card. When this card is destroyed, destroy the equipped monster. So this is literally premature burial, but you don't have to pay life points, and you can special summon in any position, and you can, uh, you just have to have three, three of the same name. So it looks like he's just trying to do that with Substitute. Use the symbol of Heritage to special summon out the Substitutes. Card Destruction is going to discard some cards. And now you'll see all three Substitutes are in the graveyard. So Symbol of Heritage is now live. Pot of Avarice getting activated. So the Dust Tornado... I don't know if it hit the right one there. And Dimitri did find one for one Fishborg. So a lot of power getting used in the opening here. Card destruction and one for one in the opening however many cards. Very, very powerful opening. These are the, if you could stack your deck, those are the two best cards you can stack in this deck. Okay, one for one, and then activate the Fishborg, bring it out. Substitute's going to sack for Swap Frog. Swap Frog's going to send Substitute, sack for Swap Frog's going to send Substitute, bring out Poison Draw. Normal Summon Uni Frog. Attack directly for 400, pop the back row, gonna go main phase 2, sack the uni frog, grab swap frog, send poison draw, draw a card. Pitch elemental hero ocean, sack the fish board, go into the dupe block and pass the turn. So, we've thinned the fuck out of the deck. We've got a fish board engraved. We don't have a treeborn engraved, but I'm assuming it's because he doesn't play treeborn. We've got the dupe block set up, so Silchus Rain needs to out the dupe block and deal 8,000 damage to make progress here. Looks like he's just gonna set a few more cards and pass. The cards discarded were not the greatest cards, but they were not the worst cards. Book of Life can interrupt with Symbol of Heritage uh, by just banishing one of the names. Exactly. Cameron Saunders makes a good point. Lonefire Blossom is at 2 in this format, and has stayed there forever because of Symbol of Heritage. 
Which, honestly, they should have just banned Symbol of Heritage because this card's fucking stupid. All right, continue on. Draw go for a little bit. Here comes Heavy Storm. So another power spell getting used, but it makes sense. At this point in the game, Dimitri's thinned his deck down to 20 cards. He's going to see his power spells here. Here's the Symbol of Heritage, and this is going to be, I believe, full combo. Yeah, this should be full combo. The way this card works is you special summon it by shuffling back all your monsters in the grave. It's fucking miserable to resolve, uh, but you got to do it. <laughs> Synchro into Bionic. Continue substituting. Substitute through all your frogs again. Bounce the symbol. Sacrifice for do the thing. Go do the thing. Get the thing. Get the thing. Draw the card. Bounce the thing. Bionic. Bounce the symbol. Symbol again. Bounce the thing. Symbol again. Bounce the thing. Draw your whole deck. Draw your whole deck. So this is a whole a draw your whole deck combo, basically. Yep. So you symbol of heritage with Bionic. And that's infinite combo. Yeah, there you go. You guys saw it. Pretty cursed, right? Pretty cursed. Now imagine watching that in real time. <laughs> Alright, next game. Next game. Next game. Silchus gets to go first again. Let's see if he has the interactive pieces necessary. Normal summon Mizuki set one back row. Alright. Upstart Goblin. Makes sense. You need to draw into your fucking combo or else you can't do shit. Upstart Goblin three times. Whoever mentioned Upstart into Upstart earlier is a is a genius. They can see the future. They should go buy some stocks. Adam is a lore says, is a win con to summon an attack or is there a way to burn? I don't know. We didn't see the win con that last game. We didn't see it. I don't know it. We're going to find out. I think. At some point, win con is going to be established. Okay. Normal summon, attack, attack. Oh, wow, level leader. That's kind of cool. I'm sure there's some sort of combo with that. I could see that. Brain control. Take Mizuki. Okay. Mizuki attack Goblin Zombie. Goblin Zombie searches Plague. Sacrifice for Morbius. Skill Drain is activated. This is a card that Silchus Ruin is very high on. Um, I like it. I think it's heat. It helps him deal with bullshit like this. However, Morbius is a pretty good side tech. Frog Slicer says he's going to make a video talking about everything. He has so much to say, but had to keep it on the down low. Fair enough. Everyone, be sure to check out Frog Slicer's video on this combo. I'm sure he's going to go way more into depth with it than I ever will. <laughs> Another really sick Edison Yugi tuber, I should say. Frog Slicer. Uh, Book of Life, targeting Goblin Zombie and probably Borg, I'm assuming. Cameron says, this deck is only playable when you run hot and open one for one. Don't think you've ever seen it, the deck win a game that it doesn't open one for one. I agree. You lose to Crow, you lose to a lot of random shit. But like if they don't have, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a gamble combo deck, which Edison doesn't really have. Uh, but yeah, you're going to get some synchro stuff. Vado said, did multiple invites improve seeding for this tournament? It did. So Silchus Ruin was playing with, uh, from the first seed, and Beast Mode was also playing from the second seed. Okay. Here comes Plague, Stardust. Stardust to defend the skill drain. Mizuki back the Revive King, Return. Bring back the dudes. Make a Goyo Guardian. DD Crow the shit. Special summon Dark Arm. Oh my fucking god. Dark Arm return, ladies and gentlemen. That was nuts. We were watching it in fast forward, and I like felt my life like flash before my eyes. Like as I saw the return get flipped, and then I saw the Dark Arm get dropped, and I was just like, oh. Oh. That's nuts. Ramon asks, what is seeding? So seeding is basically where you're placed in the tournament bracket upon starting the tournament. Almost like his deck was pissed off at the last game. It was, dude. That was insane. Lore says, this is so much better than the last iteration. Much more consistent, much higher power level, much harder to play. So far, the only card that I've seen that's different is Symbols of Heritage. That's the only thing I've seen that's different. 
I haven't seen anything else that's different. Oh, he opened one for one. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Pitch to special swap, send substitute, bounce level eater, fishboard blaster, activate pitch le level eater, normal summon substitute, sack swap frog, bring out death frog, activate level eater, bring it out, sack the fishboard, bring out swap frog, swap frog, bounce level eater. So use level eater to gain advantage here. Level eater's the plus engine? That makes sense. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, that's that makes sense. All right, going to that, bruh. That's cursed. So you can you can go with the level eaten death frog, the swap frog, and the fishboard blaster into power tool. Power tool is going to grab you as symbols of heritage, which is going to get you back. Substitute. I'm assuming because you sack substitute. You level eat first, then you upstart. Well, why would you not upstart before level eating? I don't. I don't fucking know. Uh, keep in mind, level leader cannot be sacrificed for substitute. So the only way you can really utilize it is by bouncing it with swap frog and then using it as like a discard for fishborg. So it's a pretty involved combo. The fact that he's getting it turn one is pretty lucky too because he did have the one for one. One for one is really the card that makes this deck broken. Uh, we're going to go into the dupe lock and I just pass the turn with a power tool and a bryonic. See, like this board is the board that you make. But this board is like, I'm just going to activate lightning vortex and the game's going to end. Level leader does say, f no, cannot be tributed except for a tribute summon. Mr. Maple says this isn't the board. Then somebody fucked up somewhere. Because if this isn't the board, then somebody fucked up. How do you open one for one and not have the board? Someone want to fill me in there? I feel like if you open one for one, you just guaranteed have the board, no? Like, that's the whole point of the deck. In any case, moving on. <laughs> Cameron Saunders says, even when it does open one for one, it can still be terrible. Roundex says, why no Treeborn? Uh, because I don't think it really contributes to the deck, but it can help you in like turn two pop off situations with Substitute. Silch just drew all three copies of Diva in this game and couldn't play. Damn. That's unlucky. I feel like that happened to Silchus in every single top. Every single top he gets there and then he just bricks on like double malicious, like unreal bricks. I think one of the ones in his first top where he got second was like double malicious Gilman double diva opening hand. It was something like that with like a miracle fusion. I remember it being like insane. Uh, what? How does he win? How does he win through this? Yeah, if Silchus had had any sort of anything, the Torrential would have been enough there. He TTs and then he draws Minecon. Oof. Adds back the Death Frog, passes the turn. Normal Swap Frog, attack. Bounce Swap Frog, pass. And then he rips Avarice too. He had to rip something too. If he had drawn Minecon before the TT, he would have auto won. Yeah, that's true. Because he just mind cons the dude and the synchros and then he's vibing. And then also, Dimitri had to rip the avarice. That was a case of some Sackery. That was a case of some Sackery. I do respect this take on the deck. I think it's a lot more cool than the previous takes on the deck because it's more of a synchro combo. I feel like the FTK shit is cringe. But uh, I like the synchro combos. I think they're kind of unique. Are they good? I don't know. But it's unique. He drew really well this game. <laughs> I'll, I'll just... I'm going to call a spade a spade. I mean, he fucking... He drew really well this game. But that's what the deck does, right? It's built to draw well. You have a lot of redraws. Does it play Moray of Greed at all? You're telling me you play fuck-ass 
90 million poison draw frogs and shit and you don't play moray that don't sound right that don't sound right something don't sound right here wait a second something don't sound right here so future fusion is so you can send ocean plus another guy he's on mallet instead of moray Okay, mallet's basically the same thing, except it's worse because it's a minus one. What the fuck is in Silchus's hand? He drew triple diva mind control. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Assuming there's a miracle fusion in here, I don't. Triple diva mind con Caius. Dude, what the fuck? I've paused this and it's still just going. I don't know what the fuck is happening anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mateo asks, when will be the next RBET event? So here's what I'm thinking. January for sure, maybe December, depending on my schedule. But January for sure, for sure, will be the next one. It'll be open invite. Anyone can enter. If you want to enter, you can join in the description below in the uh, discord and if anyone brings this deck in the future they'll probably get some sort of slow play violation um if they're not playing as quickly as i'm assuming dimitri was this deck is so annoying to play against yeah i mean if it ever becomes real it'll get hated out really fast that's the thing and it, it, he also like it's kind of like what i think about dragon turbo is this is how this is the deck that i feel like i feel similarly to this deck to like roundick says can just change time limit to 10 minutes this game he took 11 to 12 minutes yeah exactly he was doing it in under the time limit which is respectable he played by the rules and that's totally fine um but if this if this becomes too much of a problem then you know we can we can uh figure it out just with like tournament rules because it did take a really long time for the tournament too and he's still in his next game like i told him to play his next game because i don't want to watch this shit in real time and we do get to see silchus's hand it just didn't work book of life no zombie mind control when there was no field caius triple diva he already beat zeris interesting okay we're gonna watch that too i suppose we're gonna watch that too, I suppose. All right, we've got a match versus Zeris. And then I think the winner of this plays, who? The winner of Masahiro Mumix. Mumix said he would be back soon. Are you ready? Looks like they should be ready, but we're gonna watch this game while we're waiting. <laughs> Okay, let's mark this win for Dimitri. Smith scores. And then uh, we'll mark the win in a second after we watch it. Cool. All right. Um, What's going on here? Oh, shit. We're showing hands. No, not show both. Fuck. Hide hands. There we go. Okay, cool. We're good. Is this deck the Magical Library of Edison? Kinda. Yeah, probably. What did he open? Zara said OTK and Dimitri said yes. I feel like you still make him play it out because he can fuck it up. Yeah, he did open one for one again. I feel like I feel like you should still make him play it out because he can fuck it up. It's not like it's not like the easiest thing to execute. Plus, with the turn time limit, if he just takes longer than 15 minutes, he just loses the match. Or he loses the game. So, yeah. Uh, upstart Goblin again. Pass the turn. We're noticing a trend. We're noticing a trend. He should have hit with the Diva too for 3,000. And then he should have maybe made Stardust to defend against um, this shit. He has Solemn for that. He opened fucking Trunade Brain Control? What a god. That's insane. I wish I could draw like this. 
Dude, give me Trunade Brain Control in a real deck, and I would be winning this tournament. What the fuck? That's nuts. That's actually so nuts. Substitute's gonna activate, main two. Gonna send all the frogs. Frog shit, frog shit, frog shit, frog shit, salvage. He's gonna crow one of them. Second card does still get added on salvage. He says, well, didn't realize. Yeah, that's tough. Did he just fiendish chain Goyo in the damage step? I think it was on attack declaration. All right. There is a treeborn, apparently. Morbius is coming down here. He's going to pop both back row. Attack over the diva. How the fuck do you have zero cards here? What happened? How did Zerus lose all of his cards? What happened? How does he have... His opponent hasn't even fucking played anything. He's played a Trunade and a Brain Control. How do you have zero cards? I don't fucking understand. Also, what I'm curious about is like how many Black Wings Dimitri had to play against. Because I feel like... I feel like that matchup's gotta fucking destroy this shit. I feel like Black Wings just fucking destroys this shit. Like, you just flip an oppression that that can't play. In any case, um, getting to play against a zombie player who bricks <laughs> multiple games in a row is... Hey, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. There's another crow. There's another fish borg. And Zerus is gonna concede. Dimitri said, sorry, my deck is toxic. No, I hate this shit. Don't ever apologize. If you're gonna play a deck, just don't apologize. Mumix versus Masahiro has started. Thank God. Get me out of this shit. Get me out of this shit. We're gonna go watch that shit. All right. Mumix versus Masahiro. Nice. That's another thing, too. Like, how do you ever play through an Icarus deck? You just probably get rolled. You have to draw, like, fucking nuts. Oh, I gotta watch. Uh, and he drew nuts in all those replays we watched, so. Where the fuck is this shit? Search. There we go. Cool. Dude, imagine FDK in finals. Oh, that's cringe. That's cringe. I hope it doesn't happen. Theoretically, he should have a pretty bad matchup against both of these decks. Theoretically. Because I don't think his combo can win through Arcus, honest. <laughs> How could the deck beat Herald of Orange Light and Fairy? It's a great fucking question. I don't know. Is this Vayu Turbo or Hybrid Black Wings? This is the Swedish list with Black Whirlwind. Ryko popping some stuff, milling some stuff. All right. Now Mumix is up a card, but that Ryko's looking kind of juicy if there's a Shura. This is a matchup as old as time. Lights one versus Black Wings. This is one of the craziest matchups. I think for me, it's not a very fun matchup because whoever like gets rolling first just steamrolls the other deck like whoever has this shit yeah like the second this shit hits play the blackwing player wins but if the light swarm player like gets milling like crazy and recharges then they just win and it's like it's just a weird it's just a weird matchup it's a weird matchup that i haven't really like i haven't explored as much as i probably should have Card network is just tuning in. There was a there's a fairies and winterside grands. There's a frog combo deck. There's Christia Sworn and Black Wings right now. You wonder if Mumix is siding consecrated. I wonder that too, enraged. I wonder that too. Consecrated did some work earlier in the bracket. But 
We didn't see it from Mumix yet. Interesting he's attacking the Raikou. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. If you're not going to set a back row, then there's no reason to attack the set monster. Although, yeah, I don't know. If that's just another Raikou, then Mumix is fine. Reversal says, are all the zombie decks out now? I believe so. Yes, all the zombie decks are now out. I gotta update this real quick. Dimitri did win versus Zerus. Okay. Big thonk moments here, big thonk moments. Just a back row from Mumix. Nothing too serious, nothing too committal. Not getting too crazy with it. But there's some issues, right? Just a back row. You're not engaging with the Black Whirlwind. So you're giving your opponent at least another plus one. Glad you're loving the stream, Card Network. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, there might be some issues with... Uh, Finishing the grand finals on time. But we shall see. We shall see. Normal summon the clue to get the whirlwind surge makes sense. Okay, special summon Gale. What now, though? What now? Now that you've searched for this Gale, where do you go from here? Okay, it's time for some, some more Piercy Pierce. Some Pierce Morgan. Some, uh, Pierce and Pierce. Gonna hit over the hamster. Gonna deal a thousand. That's very real damage. It's not fake damage. It's real damage. Another 16 here, too. Masahiro saying, I got a value down there. If this Armed Wing dies, then I got comeback potential. I'm going to deal at least 2,600 this turn. Like, things are just looking good. I think things look really good for Masahiro here. I think his setup is, like, the sort of setup that you see from Blackwing players when they beat Lightstorm players. Like, I've seen this game before. I maybe have not seen this exact matchup because Mumix playing like fairy shit, but I've seen this game before, if you guys know what I'm saying. I've seen this position. Yeah. All right. Mumix, big thonk. Perhaps. What is the thonk? What is the thonk? Okay. He was thinking about what he wanted to pop. He's going to take 1600. He's going to pop the whirlwind. And he's going to mill a third fairy. Still one fairy off from Christia and very, very far off from Judgment Dragon. Only one Lightshorn name. So, not the best grave. Losing on board. Losing in terms of card advantage. None of the threats are live. This is bad. Like, this is straight up bad for Mumix. Like, this is just not a good spot to be in. You need something crazy. You need, like, your, your crazy shit to go off. Or you're just going to die next turn. And if you don't have your crazy shit, I mean, like... That's probably what he's thinking about here. He's just like, fuck, how do I win? 
And that's kind of the thing with the Christia Lifesworn deck. It's feast or famine. Like, you either get the exact mills you need and you draw the boss monsters, or you don't get the mills you need and you kind of just get run over. Because at this point, like, you spent the early game, like, milling and, like, trying to get to a certain point. And you've taken a disadvantage in terms of tempo and you've taken a disadvantage in terms of, like, uh, actual raw card advantage. And you end up here, which is like, I'm in a shit spot and my mills didn't go well. Now what? Mimix needs like solar recharge. Mimix needs like charge the light brigade. Mimix needs like some fucking. This is maybe something. But what is it even? Are you discarding two fairies? You can add back Ryko Christia. Hmm. Yeah, that's unfortunate. You have to grab bag like soul no wow what the fuck grabbing Ryko Christia anyway but only three fairies in the grave yeah I, eh. there it is okay this is what you needed this is what you needed you needed solar recharge now and you need to mill a fairy like straight up. maybe yeah maybe there's something but I don't know you're just short one fair oh fuck never mind never mind but now if you mill one fairy you're fucked oh man milled two fairies let's see the soul of purity and light should have been add back Soul Christia. That's crazy. Because he had double recharge, probably probably should have been Soul Christia as the add back. As it stands now, like you need one of your souls. Is he playing three? Do we know if he's playing three? And even then you need to out the back row too. This is a tough game, dude. This is a fucking tough game. We did see he's on three solar purity and lights. Okay. This is a really tough game to be in. Or tough spot to be in. Then he couldn't recharge. Oh, you're right. He couldn't bring back soul because he needed a light sworn. Hmm. Well, then maybe you take the JD gambit. Because Christia doesn't stabilize you here, but JD does. Yes, RJ. Fairy Light Sworn in top four, I believe. Top eight? Might be top six right now. Yeah. Because, like, you're hoping to get, like, exactly four somehow. And then get a Christia. And then the Christia just fucking loses to a Kalut. And then you're just like, what did I do all that for? When in reality, it should have just been, like, bring back JD and hope to hit four names. Now, did he hit four names? He did. He actually did hit four names, so obviously hindsight's twenty twenty, but yeah, I don't know. I I feel like going for JD there's better because JD actually impacts the situation you're in. Jay says, "Is this deck hopium copium?" I think it's legit, but I think it's inconsistent, which is fine because most of the decks that we've seen in top eight are inconsistent and they have insane high roll stuff which people are banking off of, which is fine. Cameron says, JD is obvious here. They both lose to Solemn, and this Blackwing list doesn't use Bottomless. Yeah, and they both lose to Oppression, too. So, uh, you would have got fucked no matter what. Either way, though, I do think the back row is Oppression. So I think the game is over. Yeah, that's gross. All right, we're going to game two. That was really tough for Mumix. That was really tough. I think there was a sequencing error there, but looking at what Masahiro even had for the comeback, which was Gale, Armed Wing, plus Vayu in the Grave, and Dark Armed, plus Blizzy, I don't think there was anything he could have done unless he stuck the Christia and somehow cleared the board. 
which is just never happening there. Um, unless he gets very lucky, mills zero fairies, and then tops Lila, and then can Lila pop the back row. Christia add back Honest somehow, and then like fucking get through the monsters using Honest, or get through the clue using Honest. I agree, RJ. I agree. I think if you're like, if your bad draws are fair and your good draws are busted, then that's when you have a good deck. Because, like, you can play the fair game till you hit the busted cards. Mumix going first is really big. This is, like, the one matchup I think the die roll has, like, significant, like, changes because you get to mill you get a mill like guaranteedly through back row and that alone makes the game so much harder for black wings if you get like a good mill or whatever big thonk from mumix pitching the lila milling two fairies so two lights were names two fairies halfway to either boss monster pretty good start Another mill could very easily get Mumix to exactly where he wants to be. A card I haven't seen from Mumix yet is Card Trooper. I feel like Card Trooper would be very good in this deck because it can mill main phase. So you could like high roll hitting your fairies for Christia and then special to Christia and then do that. Normal summon Lila, M phase mill three. What do we mill? Two more fairies, so that's a live Christia, but um, JD's a little bit off. Here's a whirlwind start. This is very, very bad. Whirlwind insurance start. This is a very, very bad for Mumix. He is on Trooper Diamond Dude? Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, that's true, Jay. It does allow you the choice of how many cards to mill. Does clear clear Ryo? Yep. A Ryo can be bad for your boss monsters. There's a pretty bad circumstance. Not gonna lie. Our boy. Mumix here might be getting murdered. <laughs> okay, says when is there gonna be another event like the pumpkin one? Probably next year. Realistically. Lost Hero says pass priority, going to take 100. This is going to get a value out of the deck, and I'm going to say it. I said it in the last game. This is where the Blackwing deck beats the Lightsworn deck. I've seen this position. I've seen it. I've seen this position before. This is where the Blackwing deck beats the Lightsworn one. 10 times out of 10. Like, it's just, it's just too hard. There are two names off of JD, which is how you break. And they can summon a Christia, but like, what the fuck is the Christia doing? You know what I mean? It just loses to the fucking Kalut. Okay, that's a start. Getting a nice, maybe two for one with this Royal Decree. Maybe. Could be like a Typhoon or a Book of Moon down, but it's most likely two trap cards. So the Royal Decree is making something happen. That's like the start. Control of Defeat says, if Lightsworn loses, I donate $200 to the prize pool. Holy shit. <laughs> Someone hates Lightsworn. Which, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> I ain't gonna... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. Cameron says pros are going to be 200 bucks for a trick. That's fucking crazy. Pro Storm is in Winterside Grants. That's pretty nice insurance. Yeah, Whirlwind is like literally gateway. Okay, we're going for Heavy Storm just to clear the Whirlwind. Makes sense. Going to pick up two trap cards as well. And here is the Christia. Okay, so we're now at an even situation. We're now at an even situation. Christia can run over the Vayu. You can do that pretty safely.
the situation is even. And he needed fucking Royal Decree Heavy Storm for that to, ma- to make that happen. The Lila opening just kind of gets punished by the Shura Whirlwind. Yes, Grizzly. We have successfully summoned RJ. And their effect is now activating. The players are evenly matched. No, this is like the this is a dead even game right now. Masahiro has the out to this Christia. And Mumix has the Herald of Orange Light for the out. So this is kind of an interesting situation. Herald can make negate Kalut. Taylor's saying Blizzy. Dude, if a Blizzy gets summoned here, that's it's not a good look. Control Alt Delete says double collute. Double collute is possible. However, if you double collute, I guess you get destroyed by Honest is the only thing that destroys you. Murray says any Gladiator BCS. Yes, I think Yomero got like ninth with Glads. Either way, can someone make a fucking play already? Is it lagging or is it just me? All right, we've got a play. We've got normal summon Shura. Is there a double Kalut baby? Is control out defeat going to be a happy camper? Here comes Kalut. Here comes Herald of Orange Light pitching another copy of Christia. Here's the double Kalut. That's pretty fucking crazy. Plug. That's going to be tough. Dang. Now the Shura won't activate because it didn't send it to the graveyard. Yeah, Shura doesn't activate here. Why not? Because it didn't send it to the graveyard. We're gonna we're gonna clear it up. Yep, Umix understands these things. Any quick draw players in this tournament? Not that I noticed. Maybe. I'll have to check. Sure is going to attack for 1800. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Blackwing player is at the advantage. There are five fairies in the grave, so this Christie is kind of fucked. Uh, it's, it's dead in the hand, unless there's a soul of purity and light. Asgir might have been, yeah. And it looks like there is a soul of purity and light. And people doubted this card. This card's kind of nice here. Both Kalutes have been used. There could be a third one. But if there is, I mean, Christy is just adding back Herald, right? You got rolled by him round one time on the round? Oof. Yeah, the soul is exactly what he needed. I mean, it just turned on his whole hand. This card is really slept on. Have we seen a soul exchange in the list? Why would we see a soul exchange? So you could sacrifice a light swarm for a celestia? That's kind of cool. I feel like that's the only time it comes up. Maybe double tribute for Christia. Yes, Pro Storm in the chat saying he has a similar build of Crystal Light Sworn, but it's kind of heat. I tried your build, Pro Storm. I did not win a game with it. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. I don't know how these guys do it. They draw so good. Okay. Well, now it's pretty tough for the Blackwing deck. I was saying, like, I've seen them win the... Or, I see the Blackwing player win from this position almost all of the time. This kind of brought it back. I and mean, this was, like, an exact sequence. It had to be, like, specifically Decree, Heavy Storm, to stop the Black Whirlwind and the Trap cards. 
And then on top of that, it had to be like exactly mill four fairies and then have a way to go back to four fairies after you heralded the first Kalut and lost the second Kalut. So Mumix has just had layers of like necessary outs. People might be wondering why did Masahiro not crash the Sirocco into the Soul of Purity and Light? Because Soul of Purity and Light has a static effect that decreases all your opponent's attack by 300 points. A lot of people forget about this shit and play into it. The deck is huge sack. That's true. And it looks like it was good enough sack for that game. We're going to go to game three. This has been a tight match. This has been really close. Are the finals going to be today or tomorrow? Hopefully today. Hopefully today. We have to get through a fucking frog match, which I might <laughs> like have a guest commentator on or something. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we have to get through a fucking frog match. Um... Hey, Frog Slicer, are you still here? Are you still here, Frog Slicer? Does anyone know if Frog Slicer is in the building? Okay, Masahiro going first. Huge advantage. Like I said earlier, you stop the mills, you kill the deck. It just doesn't work. It like straight up can't work. He's online on Discord. Hey, if Frog Slicer's here, he can, and he wants to calm, he can calm uh, the next match, which is going to be Dimitri versus the winner of this. Because he'll actually want to talk about it, and it'll provide you guys with like decent commentary. While I fuck off and go take a call. That's a win-win. I feel like that's a win-win. Because, like, y'all can watch the frog deck and get good commentary. And I don't got to watch that shit. <laughs> You're stuck with it. <laughs> Where, where's frog sizer? I got to DM him or something. Is he in the Discord? I don't even fucking know. Wait, what happened to Indicate? Dude, Indicate is still in it. I forgot he's still in it. Dude, Indicate is still in the game, dude. Indicate is still in the game. This is a good dust shoot, but dust shoots are usually only good when it's backed up by pressure. And how the fuck are you getting through two hamster Harold Ryko shit without fucking a monster in play? <laughs> Straight up. Dude, Indicate is still in it, dude. I forgot he was in it. I keep forgetting. I see him and I'm like, nah, there's no way. There's no way Indicate is in losers finals right now. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But it's real. He's here. You can't spell Indicate without Dick. I'm thinking about that lately. Thinking about how Indicate is really just like an extension of the word Dick. Alright, big damage. No, zero damage. Huh. Little damage. Some damage. Hey, Jason K, do what you gotta do. I'm gonna create new rules to fuck your deck over next time. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I mean, you've been opening pretty busted too, which is it's always a good, always a good sign. <laughs> he says, please do ban it. Congrats on your run, though. Very powerful run. I must respect it. You won your Edison Locals with Welly Dad? Dude, that's base, Ryanide. Congrats. Uh, this might be a tough one, too. 
Control defeat stoked to hear about the Weladad victory. His child out there. Crushing souls. What is Indicate playing? Some Canadian shit. That's all I'll say. Just some fucking dirty Canadian shit. Just some gross, filthy maple syrup loving fucking maple syrup. I already said that. What else is Canadian? Fucking French speaking Canadian shit. That's what he's on. Uh, this is fucking nuts, by the way. Every card in Indicate's deck is stained with maple syrup. He goes to shuffle it. The whole deck is just stuck together. Dude, could you imagine? I feel like that's something in, like, a nightmare. Like, you're at a YCS. Like, YCS nightmares. You're at a YCS, and you go to shuffle your deck, and it's just, like, covered in maple syrup. But you have to shuffle it, and you have to play. And the judge is like, why is your deck so sticky? <laughs> Bruh. Every Canadian's worst nightmare. Mr. Maple in the building. Fitting. That's cursed hydro pump. That's brutal, Taylor. You hate to hear it. Is there not a single moose card in Yu Gi Oh! plug? That doesn't make sense. Alright, there's a DD Crow, which I'm not sure what that did exactly, but did something. Oh, got the third dark. That's how. All right. And that should just be game. I think struggle attacks and then dark arm direct. And that is curtains. Masahiro is going to move on. Light sworn. Beat the fuck out by skill drain. That's the thing with the light sworn stuff. You see a flip skill drain. You cry. You, you just cry. You're like, oh. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> But GG's to Mumix. I mean, a very unique deck, and he was able to take it very, very far. Masahiro's going to go on to face against Dimitri. Black Wings versus Frogs. Is Frog Slicer somewhere? Is he fucking somewhere? Congrats to Mumix. Very well done. Very, very well done on his top performance. All right. Masahiro moving on. We now have Masahiro versus Dimitri, and I think this is top four now. I think this is finally top four. Let me see if I can do that. Oh, we can't even cut to that. Yeah, it's one, two, three, four. Yep, top four. Okay, cool. Nice. Frog Slicer is here. Frog Slicer, do you want to commentate this match? Do you want to get on comms for this? Sick. All right, call me on Discord or something. Or message me. I'll get you in a call. And we'll get you up in this bitch for this. Oh. Hold up. I'm just making sure the players are ready. Dimitri and Masahiro. Are y'all ready? Okay, cool. We got a voice call. Now say something. Dude, Control Alt Defeat just donated $200. Yo, dude. He, man of his word. He said if Lights weren't lost, he's going to donate 200 Amazing. What's up, Frog Slicer? Okay, I'm going to have you speak a little bit, and I'm going to adjust your volumes. All right. Can okay, let me put the, put the lapel on. Hold everyone. Can How's everyone... it going, dude? Do I sound beautiful? Do you sound what? <laughs> Do I sound beautiful? No. <laughs> Your mic sounds oh. like... I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. you sound good. Can everyone, <laughs> I... can everyone hear, hear... Wait, speak. Speak. Keep speaking. I'm speaking. This is currently me talking. Everyone can hear him all right? Everyone in the chat can hear Frog Slicer all right? 
Volume sounds a tad high. Okay. Are you a tad high, Frog Slicer? <laughs> Hydra. <laughs> no. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I turned him down a little bit. All right, sexy Frog Slicer. What are we doing? Are they fucking starting already or frog what? Slicer. If you could just read everything I'm typing as a nice test for Keegan. <laughs> Dude, nobody's fucking ready to start shit. They're playing yeah, already? So Bruh, they're already playing? Do they know how this shit... Fuck. How... They're not... What is this fucking thing? Oh, it's a different name. Okay, that's why. All right, they're playing already. Cool, they got the jump start on us. What's happening here in this match? Do you need me to share a screen with you, or can you can you just join the game? Hold on. I'm just going to watch the stream. You're just going to watch the stream? You're going to be delayed. delayed. You're going to be delayed. Yeah. Okay, just... yeah, share, then share, then share. Okay, okay, give me a second. God damn it. All right, hold up. All right, there you go. That should work. Cool. So it looks like Dimitri opened one for one. You want to you want to speak on his ability to stack in this tournament? Yeah. So a lot of our playtesting was going into the binaries of dueling book and just figuring out how to open up one for one every game. Yeah, I mean it's working out great for him so far this tournament. Yeah. Oh. No, I mean I think uh, I think including card destruction helps him open it a lot. Uh, but yeah, he's definitely been opening a lot. Yeah, that makes sense with the triple upstarts, the cubs, uh, the card destruction as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's just plain running fewer frogs than I did. I think he has like two fewer or three fewer. Makes sense. So you don't want to like break more... on that. Yeah, because he has the minus one draws and everything too. The magical mallets. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Cameron says, I, I swear to God, he that. opens one for one every game. I want to know the numbers. Someone better run the numbers. Because opening a one of is yeah, not... I mean, we'll... I'll definitely go over the replays after this. Okay. I know, because he's doing an aggressive thing where he does a future fusion with a hero in deck, just as an extra foolish burial for Fishborg as a combo starter. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen that in the last game. So it's just like, um, whatever you can do, all or nothing, kind of. And the yeah. Treeborn is not mained, it's sided, right? I guess, I don't know. Because <laughs> we, we've I, only I seen it... help him make the final decisions. We've only seen it in game two in tandem with Morbius. Yeah, the, the decision for Mobius was definitely like because of the Soul Exchange Brain Control kind of side deck plan. Um, I don't know if he decided to cut the Soul Xs, but I know he has Brain Con. Yeah, Soul Xs. I'd imagine good. he'd want to keep the tree born. Makes sense. I don't know. Yeah, especially when like Duplock is good enough, the Soul X is good. Yeah, I don't know what he does here, though. What are you looking to set up here? Can you OTK from this with like Arm Colossal? Is that what you're trying to do? Like clear the back row and then Arm Colossal? Yeah, uh, it's kind of gotten away from me how much more complicated it is. Um, like, usually you're doing setup for setup. So he's probably just waiting for some sort of back row clear. But yeah, you, you can colossal army arm into a zero attack monster still. This it's is... Just, not, how, much, how much card advantage do you have? This is not a good situation for him, is it? Because, like... Game one? No. Yeah. <laughs> Game one, absolutely. Huh. But, I mean, sometimes, sometimes Duplock does work. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. And we'll see how aggressively Masahiro wants to play it. Because mm -hmm. he might not have been watching the stream. He might not know what this deck does. So we don't know. If he does anything like normal, activate Soroko, Chain Icarus, something like that, then like... Yeah. Like it's pretty... All right, good. honestly, just having... Uh... Any sort of interaction, right? <laughs> yeah. But all you need is time. That's that's how the frog deck works. You just need time. Yeah, and cards. And one for one in your opening hand. Yeah, obviously that. You know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. He needs a sweeper to play, right? Uh, Dimitri? I mean, yeah, or, or YOLO. So, I mean, you can always poke with Unifrogs and stuff. That's true, Unifrog is good here. But, you know, you're just banking on Duprog sticking in to draw something more relevant. We also noticed in the last match that Masahiro is on Skill Drain, which is a card that 
I don't know how how effective is skill drain versus the stack. Is it good versus the stack? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, you you have plenty of side deck cards to because a lot of your sweepers are spells and traps, so it's not that it's not the end of the world. But then you're banking on it. The reason why I can you can deal with a lot of back rows because you can poke with Unifrog and you find Unifrog. So if you're afraid of something in particular, you can kind of clear the way over turns or you know just get lucky. But yeah, without that, then obviously like Mobius or something as a plan is completely dead. But I think even that game it went pretty well for Dimitri. Yeah, we know it. Yep, there it is. Took a second, but figured it out, and now. Let's see if Masahiro has any other back row he can lay down to sort of make something happen. He needs, like, I don't know. If He doesn't have any black wings he can special summon. Otherwise, he would have summoned them for more damage. He doesn't have right. any, like... Yeah, so he's not threatening too much right now, so we got six life cards, hopefully. But he does have a four-star in the grave now, and here's the yeah. heavy storm. So if he has any gas, then this is a pretty easy colossal fighter armory arm. Which he has Fishborg engrave, right? No, he yeah. doesn't. He has a uh, level leader, but he doesn't have Fishborg. We'll have to see. If he can make a uh, Brio, then he can get whatever he wants. Yeah, pretty much. I think he should be able to figure it out. If he has Fishborg, then he's got this. Yeah, I think. Uh... <laughs> okay. So he's at least remaking Duke. Uh, oh, hopefully. He might draw them. He 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 could have drawn them both, but it's pretty unlikely. He also needs a monster to summon. Okay, the fish borg is what you needed, right? Like that's just yeah. that gets you where you needed to go. I don't know if he has the card advantage. Um, I, he can string something together here. Let's see. Maybe but not. The, too... the big difference is. All the poison yeah, you can always just pivot and Well, you don't care. You want them in the grave for symbol of heritage. So all you have to do is make a Brio, and you use the symbol to bring back uh, poison draw, and then you bounce it back, and then you bring back a swap, and you draw a card. And you maintain card advantage by utilizing those swap bounces to bring back level eater. So all you need is to uh, accumulate monster levels to, to maintain card advantage. And you can do that with... We'll see if you can do it. Yeah, with level eater. Know. Level eater, yeah. Oh, Exodius. If, if, you can stick, if you can stick in Exodius, Exodius is like a plus four or plus five or something. That would make sense, yeah. So Brown is going to pitch. He he had to pitch Exodius to make this happen. Yeah. So yeah, he's one card short. Yeah. Man, this isn't horrible. What does this do? Oh, I forgot about this part of the combo. <laughs> uh, it's not deterministic. Um... I can't remember exactly why, but he sh he shoots dupes so that he so that he doesn't draw. So he wants to thin his deck of all his frogs before he starts doing poison draw stuff. Monster is act asking what happened. Swap frog sends dupe frog. It's part of the effect. Yeah, that's correct. You can send one monster um, from your deck or face up field. Sorry, not one monster, but one level two or lower water aqua monster from your deck or face up field to the graveyard. So swap frog can send yes. the dupe frog basically, right? Yeah, so for people who don't know, like, everyone always talks about poison draw missing timing. So you can't just sack them off to substoad, obviously. But if you get one, and then you can go wide with your board, so you get a poison draw out, you shoot it with Swap Frog, you send it from the field to the grave. You do the exact same thing with Duke Frog here. Yeah. And instead of drawing a card, you'll return a frog from your grave to your hand, or you'll search for one from your deck to your hand. Yeah, so he's saying he has OTK. So it's got to be Colossal Fighter on. Yeah, I think it is too, right? Because Level Leader comes back, he bounces it. He pitches it to bounce the symbol, and he's got. Mm. So it doesn't do blue. He's got timing. the card advantage. Yeah, the dupe does not lose timing here. Not from Swap Frog sending it. Yeah, this will be a game, game shot. I'm trying to think if there's a way that it's not a game shot with like multiple colutes. Yeah, that is something you have to worry about for sure. Um, also, Master Heroes at ten thousand. Yeah, single colute might put him out of range. I I find myself having to do that math every time. So what does single clue mean? That's 34, 4,400. That means he's dealing 16. I think it has to be double clue. And even double clue, I don't think is going to be enough. Because, like, yeah. you only need to connect with Colossal Fighter, what? Four times? Well, actually, I don't know. 
Is single collude enough? Well, you're dealing 28. And how much are you minusing? Uh, what was it, 44? Like 16. Yeah. I, I think it know. might have to be double collude. When when I'm in tournament, this happens to me. I just go for it, and I hope it's enough because I can't, I can't do the math on the spot. <laughs> yeah, and any minute wasted is like bad for you in tournament. So exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But yes, so this is cool. Um, the rule that Mika helped set up for this, where you demonstrate a, an infinite loop once and repeat it. Uh, now you can do that for the non-infinite turn with this deck, just with Symbol of Heritage. So he's showing now that he can draw through his entire deck by um, by pitching his plus one, and he'll 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 draw his plus ones like Pot of Avarice and Salvage and stuff to to generate card advantage. And eventually he'll get Exodius for the for the levels for Level Eater, which he'll be able to use to generate enough card advantage to make his synchro play. Roderick has asked how how much think... time in the turn so far. Are you keeping track? Because I'm not. I'm I actually haven't. Even... No, I'm not really been listening to you and for you know this I'm this kidding. is room for debate because if you're if your opponent's asking you to, to clarify things i don't know how much of the clock i should really eat up and that's you know we'll have yeah. to see how that kind of stuff plays out but dimitri's definitely playing as fast as humanly possible because he's a machine yeah um yeah this this new version is so much more complicated because you have to just do so many branching decision trees but once once you kind of learn them and go down that path it's it's not too bad. Yeah. Well, I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm going to let you take yeah, over, Frog Slicer. I'm going to use my charisma to steer your channel into the sun. Oh, my gosh. Like, I haven't already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Everyone, be sure to check out Frog Slicer after the stream. Show him some love for all the work he's done for the format. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. Yeah, I gotta, take your I gotta break. Go make a call. Yeah, I'll take the combo turn. Oh, yeah, this is uh, not an entertaining deck. I will, I will definitely concede that. But what it is is very, very, very intricate and easy to mess up. I do not recommend anyone do it. Version of Edison format. No swap, no dupe, no sub, Treeborn at one. Now let's put Treeborn at three and no sub. How about that? Let's see how that goes. Uh, Cameron's coming in with the very, very bad. Yeah, maybe. Hide with Chainburn. Yeah, so he's doing all the things we were saying he's going to do. So he's just cycling through his deck until he gets his, his stuff, and then he's going to use this Death Frog to make a Rio. Or, sorry, to make the Armory Arm. Sorry, the Colossal Fighter into Armory Arms. Cool. And yeah, he could have the double clue. Who knows? Frog Slicer, sorry if you've explain it already, but what actually is the win con of this deck? And what is the crux of the loop? How does it achieve infinite draws? So um, Symbol of Heritage doesn't require you to be in play to work. So you play Symbol of Heritage, special on the monster, and then use Brio to bounce it back. So if you're able to continuously put three monsters in your graveyard back, then you keep on, and you keep on drawing uh, generating plus ones, you can use the card advantage in your hand with Brio to bounce it back and go wide. And the way you, you just OTK, you swing for a game. Um, depending on how much card advantage you can generate, it determin <clears throat> determines whether or not you can play through Gores or Gores and Trag. So, you know, uh, depending on how early, like if say, say one of your extenders is on the bottom of your deck, you, couldn't, you could potentially not minus, not plus as much as you want. But once you get going, it's basically guaranteed. And, and if, if you're asking when to crow, it's, it's really variable when to crow. See, I don't, I don't actually like this. I don't like comparing this to library because library is actually a pretty straightforward deck. There's, there's only one or two decisions you can really make. Okay, yeah, there's game. So yeah, no, no, uh, 
no shame at all for Masahiro to make him play it out for sure. But once it's confirmed, then you, know, you got it. That's kind of how it goes. Uh, this should generally be longer than Dragon Turbo. Yes, Hydra. If you crow fish Borg, it depends on how good your hand is. Like we saw earlier in a match that uh, that exact scenario happened, but he had one for one after it. So uh, he just kind of got out of it. <laughs> yeah, I did uh, 50 test hands in one of the ribbits with one of my older versions, and I had roughly 24 out of 50 FTKs. Quote, unquote, FTKs. You know. um, for this version, I think he said he got 36. So it's, it's over that 50% threshold, whatever number he actually said it was. So it's more consistent. They would disagree about library. It seems mega complex. Yeah, I mean, I'm opinionated. <laughs> my, uh, my word isn't law for sure. Fishborg is the best fish. Okay, you don't have to get three in grave. You can you can use poison draws in deck to dig through your deck. Um, and then once the three are in grave. So you can either send them all immediately, or you can do it the old style way where you you piecemeal dig through. What's the best card to counter that deck? I have no idea. Hey, pulling the rug. So this is the... Uh, <laughs> a lot of people always want the side deck plan for the Frog OTK to be Frog Monarchs. It seems intuitive. But almost always, without fail, people side in pulling the rug, even though the main strategy is largely unaffected. But it's just something you have in your side deck that actually works. So people bring it in. And we see, here we saw it work out right away. And that's a Rico search. That's going to hurt pretty bad. Yeah, power, power Filter is very good against this deck. Yeah, let, let's start. Everyone start maining Power Filter. Let's see how that goes. Uh, the Witch Doctor version is significantly worse. I think House Gear said earlier in chat what he thought the tier list was of the variants of this deck, and I largely agree with him. Yeah, I've, I've definitely joked about powers, <laughs> Power Filter before. Top tier art, by the way. Don't care for this man's opinion anymore since he. My, I said my favorite fish was Fishborg. What do you mean? You're talking about to eat? I'm vegan. <laughs> uh, so, Chains Disappearance. I've lost games to Chains Disappearance, but I've also won games where they sided it in. It can be effective for sure. Yeah, sorry, Gorth. I don't eat fish. It's on that one. <laughs> Did you crow oppression skill drain or just chain one eruptions? I'm back. Yeah. What's back. up? I think I held on the fort okay. Were you talking about veganism while I was gone by any chance? Yeah, I'm uh I was advocating on your channel oh for my veganism. God. God, I'm ending the fucking call. That's what happens when you walk away for one second, dude. I mean you give me the reins, I don't know. I'm ending this call right now. I'm sick of your shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Hey guys. This deck wins the tournament. Guess what I ate last Don't night? Oh, I'm gonna tell him right now. No, I didn't eat it's fish. It's tacos. I ate quesadilla, which is good. <laughs> Shit was fire. What is that? It's like meat <laughs> in like okay, a fucking yeah, yeah. cheese thing. I've heard of that. I've heard of that too. You've heard of meat and cheese? <laughs> yeah. Wait, are you vegan or am I just fucking with you? No, I am. I am vegan. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Heavy storm. Wow. Let's see that starlight red. He drew heavy storm. That's crazy. Man, sighting in the tree is Really interesting. Yeah, you missed it. The pulling rug hit a salt frog in the normal summon. Turn one. Um, cool. <laughs> it's just 
you wouldn't think it would do that. That's true, I guess. I don't... <laughs> you should be vegan so you can call you Keegan, King of the Vegans. He might be thinking about Solomon. King Tiger Keegan. I think he's thinking about Solomon this. Or like Icarus, Pop Whirlwind, Pop Treeborn. Mm. I can see either of those. Honestly, both of those... That'd be something. Yeah, see, this is... It... Mm. We'll see if it pays off. Time on the round says I'm confused by this deck, but it looks cracked. It is not cracked. <laughs> yeah, you you can play you can play against it enough times, you'll realize it's just high rolling you. I had like a serious session against something similar against the Witch Doctor version, and I was just like against Graceless. No, not against him. Um, oh, with against Reputable, and I like was like okay how do i beat this deck and i just like sat there and i lapped it out and i'm like okay if you like sit here and like figure it out you can generally like beat it with like one crow or whatever uh, that's gonna hit the swap it's pretty good yeah that's that's a move is this armed wing negated out of curiosity it is right i wasn't i wasn't paying attention you weren't paying attention you have one job. <laughs> you talked about reading chat, right? You talked about veganism. Fucking can't, can't even tell me if the arm <laughs> ring is negated. <laughs> God damn it, Frog Slicer. Hey, I'm on the spot now, right? right. <laughs> I only pay attention to my turns, okay? It's, everyone should know that by now. Treeborn does not remain in graveyard. No, it does not. Yeah. That being said, any monster wins, right? Uh, most monsters win, actually. Not any monster. Yeah. Hey. Checking. Yeah. yeah. The DD Crow will not stop them from adding back the salvage. Yeah. Why didn't they Icarus the Heavy Storm? What? Oh, because the Heavy Storm is going to destroy the Whirlwind anyway. So it doesn't really matter. All right, pass the turn. Let's see some fucking action. Can I see a goddamn Bora the Spear? Can I see a normal summonable monster? One time for the fans. That's oh, they, not going to do summon. it. That's not going to do it, though. Should have been more specific. You could... Why would you hey, attack hey, with Gale? That. Why would you attack with Gale? YOLO. It's, it's lethal if it's a bluff. Oh... Uh... Yeah, it's lethal if it's treeborn. For sure. Pretty risky. Let's see if he has another back row. If he has another back row, then this is tough. Yeah, for sure. Because yeah. Heavy's gone. He needs True Nade plus full combo plus ratio. Yeah, unless it's fake. And he has it's to play. He just has to play. Like, he can't. He can't afford to not play here. Because he'll just die the next turn. Actually, what? He has one turn? Because Gale value is 20, 2100. So technically, yeah, technically he has one turn. Which is, you know, maybe all you need. Oh my gosh. Is it Morbius? Okay. It's Morbin time. It's Morbin time. No, it's not Morbin time. Huh. That's a good card. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it is a pretty good card. <laughs> That's a pretty good card. All right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know if I've won a single game where my opponent saw him. Huh. So you're saying if your opponent has Solemn, you just lose? Yeah. That's tough, man. Not always. Wait, didn't you, didn't you literally just say you haven't won a single game, and now you're saying not always? No, for me. For me. Oh, for you. Okay. 
yeah, not necessarily for our viewers at home. You know, everyone's going to go home and play this deck, you know, obviously. Mm. Just like Ribbit 1. What was Ribbit 1? Oh, the first tournament of the year? I don't remember that tournament. Yeah. I don't remember shit. After, That's when, uh, yeah. after the last Ribbit, I just don't be remembering it. I had to, like, look at the Ribbits again and be like, who topped this shit? I don't even remember. Who even topped? <laughs> People were saying, like, oh, yeah, I topped. And I was just fucking believing him in the Discord. I was like, yeah, it sounds right. I don't know. Yeah, sure, I'll put you down. If you had gone in and been like, yeah, I got an invite, I would have been like, all right. <laughs> yeah, I could have showed up, dang. <laughs> Plug. Oh, man. We would have had two of these decks. Hmm. Yeah, but one of them would have been out a little earlier. No disrespect, Frog Slicer, but <laughs> yeah, Dimitri earned his invite, and <laughs> where's your invite? <laughs> I lost my to Dimitri. Oh my God, this guy is a... here. It is here. This it guy's is insane. All right, guys, that's insane. I told you. How did we he went do to it? the binaries? And he opened subsode too. It wasn't just one for one. It was one for one subsode, so we can get the. That's insane. How did you do this? How did you sack him this like crazy? I told you. So so there's a seed that is the generator for your deck. And all you have to do is click start game at the right time and you get the perfect seed every game. I don't think he's going to be Indicate. I might be real because I feel like Indicate deck destroys this deck. Like it just has. Well, yeah, I mean, this, at the end of the day, you win the die roll and you combo. You're not worried about anything. I don't know. So there are definitely bad matchups. For he, sure, could, he could fuck this up. Yeah, but he usually doesn't. People are saying Frog's S tier. It's kind of like opening, I'd say, Morphing Jar Book of Taiyu. <laughs> it's about that. It's about the same as that. <laughs> it's basically exactly that. If you guys do it too, then what? if enough people play, it'll happen. It you guys, around. you guys are just, you guys don't even get it. Just Shout out open Pastr one for one. Cameron's been telling you guys for years. Who's Pastrami Panda? You know who that is? Plug. This is so funny. This guy just ended on a fucking be looking. dupe sub. What happens if you get decked after you fucking lose? I guess you don't fucking lose, but... Loki Meta says, I don't come for Edison to watch modern Yu-Gi-Oh combos. The dude just went minus one into sub dupe. I was gonna say. <laughs> it's not like, it's not a combo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's it's just minus one is a sub two. Yeah, he didn't have it. Soroko's big. Yeah. Do you think that is what what I think that is? Uh, deck dev? No, no, definitely not deck dev. Definitely not deck dev. We don't play that. What? Oh, what no, is Divine that? Wrath, okay. This is not looking good, bro. This is here not we go. looking good for the for the home team here. What's the back row? Did he open did he actually open fucking one for one substitute and his opponent opened zero trap cards? <laughs> is that real life? He opened zero trap cards. He opened zero gale, so he couldn't make like dark end. He opened zero fucking anything. Yeah. When does Unifrog probably... activate damage set? He's trying to get a chain link. Yeah. I mean, you can still like what fucking uh, Icarus substitute and Unifrog in your yeah. mind, right? Uh. Oh, sick. Thanks, Diamond Dude. Diamond Dude's a realist. Does my body work on deck dev if you have a guy on board that would get destroyed? Yes, it does. Low key metal. Yes. It would take. And a face of oppression. That too. Or not a face of oppression. Plug. Okay, what what's going on here? The match has already taken five million know. years. Like, what are we thinking about? 
he's trying to he's <laughs> he's trying to figure out if this Unifrog is destroying after he deals damage or before, I think. And it's after damage. I, I don't know the exact phase. We would need to get a judge. Cameron, the judge, is saying he's trying to get Dimitri up to 15 minutes. Let him. All right, Cameron. I'm going to look this shit up. When does Unifrog activate? Activates in the fucking damage shit. Just tell him it activates in the damage stat. What do you mean you need to know exact phase, bro? Just tell him it's in the damage step. Can I just tell him? Can I tell him that? I can't tell him that, can I? Yeah, he needs to talk to the judge. Is the judge... Your turn, I'm I don't know. Yeah, fucking shit. Frog Slicer, what the fuck, man? I thought you were the judge, Kappa. I am so bad at rulings, it's unreal. I'm like C-tier duelist at rulings. Rulings is the worst part of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, straight up. Uh, all right. Just gonna fucking tell him damage step. Yeah, yeah, activate in damage step. Cool, whatevs. Plug. Yodi, gang. You feel me? For real, for real. Need I say more? Smackington the Benjamin. Faded than a hoe. Faded than a hoe. Faded than a hoe. Step Faded five. Than a hoe. Faded Obviously, than a hoe. it's. <laughs> Obviously, it's subset 5. And anyone who doesn't know that, like, I don't know what you're doing here. Yeah, damage step, subset 5. Okay. Uh, I don't like popping Duke Frog there, but what do I know? It'd be better Shall if he was protecting another back row. Cameron says, why was that so hard? <laughs> Dude, I want to say some fucked up shit, but I can't. Because I'm on the stream in front of fucking... How many people are watching us right now? There's at least two of us. 197 people are watching us right now. <laughs> Wait, all 197 of you have to like the stream. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, nice. He drew broken. <laughs> and his opponent drew zero back row. <laughs> nah, he had the Icarus. Bryce he had to give up his main phase one. Oh, shit. Never mind. He drew back row. Nice. It counts. That counts. It's lone Unifrog. Faded than a hoe. 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 Need I say more? Do you watch fucking Damien Luck, Frog Slicer? No. I have no idea what that is. What? You don't know who <laughs> Damien Luck is? Oh, hold up, hold up. Hold no. Up. I'm gonna put you on. Hold up. I can't believe he had a salvage. Wow. It's like literally the only thing he could have done to get a, a sub back. I yeah. Pot I can't believe Damien. he draws that well either. So I don't know how the fuck he does it. <laughs> I don't know how he fucking opens one for one salvage symbols. Fucking know. doesn't break Next on crack. his That's nineteen here. frogs. Why would he ever draw uni frog? Why would he ever draw treeborn frog? Why would he ever draw any of this other shit? <laughs> oh my Those God. belong in the deck. Those are garnets. He normal summoned this turn, but... right? No, he didn't. That's right, he didn't. Cameron says the deck yeah, is good. He did. Dimitri is good at drawing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hold up. Let me get you on this fucking shit. Oh. Damien. I might get demonetized nice. for this shit. Hold up. <laughs> Is this it? No, this ain't it. Fucking. How do I spell this shit? Is it Damien? I don't know how to spell it. Yo, D gang. What? <laughs> What's going on? He said you need to control level three. This is a cursed game. Yeah. <laughs> Damien Luck925. I'm sorry, stream. You know, you don't get to watch it. Yeah, he didn't use normal. 
Here we go. Found it. He's asking. <laughs> I'm going to watch one piece and just get my whole fucking stream demonetized. Right, he summoned so. uni from the deck. I'm ruining the whole fucking stream right now. So this guy, Damien, look, right? Oh, you can't see mm -hmm. this. Only the chat can see I, this. I can see. Uh, I'm, I, I have Bofa. Hold up. Did you say you have Bofa? I have both up. The stream and what you're streaming to me. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I have Bofa, too. What's Bofa, Frog Slicer? <laughs> <laughs> Bofa D's. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Bofa D's extenders in my hand for my frog combo. Uh, fucking. So this Bofa guy. He's limited to one combo enablers. He has 580k subs. He had like, like a thousand subs like a month ago. Wow. Yeah, and he does this thing where he gets faded in the whip. Faded in L.A obliterated at carl's jr severely faded in the store faded i got faded with strangers in public yeah exactly faded in an in i got faded with keegan on ribbit rulers yeah karen's like got Madeline. mad at me in the pet store that one that's a little different this one faded fulcrum story time so he just he says the same five words over and over again similar to like every successful YouTuber. he's hitting that algorithm Dude, he blew the fuck up. 2023 yeah. is the year that E3 Yu-Gi-Oh! will put Faded in every single title. And we'll see We'll see how it works. I will do it. I will do it. Why don't my email address show up like this? I was having an issue earlier. Dude, he blew up like fucking crazy, dude. Why discarded sub and summoned back? What? Why discarded sub and summoned from deck swap? Anyway, back to Damien Luck 925. So this guy, I'm not sure how I feel about him. I'm going to form an opinion He's... based off of someone I don't know. How do you feel about him, Frog Slicer? I think he has cracked the code. The the tendrils that connect all of uh, human consciousness. He's he's wriggled his way through them. By being... And the algorithm recognizes that. Faded than a hoe. Yeah, truly. Yeah. Interesting. Fan account says I got faded and frog locked on DV. Cringe, dude. Frog players really open one for one and act like they did something. I'm just kidding. <laughs> there were so many clicks I had to do, and I had to do it in 15 minutes. You guys don't understand. <laughs> the girls are all walking away. <laughs> You're just at the club. <laughs> Let me explain to you my frog combo. In fact, I have 50 videos talking about it. Wait, this video, smoking printer paper as fast as I can, has less views than my last tier list video. We take okay. those. We take those. Him <laughs> smoking <laughs> printer paper as fast as he can. <laughs> Not as good as my fucking A fucking content. Yeah. Puff, puff, print. That's what I always say. Is Dimitri still playing? I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, his opponent keeps on asking him questions about how Exodius works and why he puts Substitute back in his deck. <laughs> I don't know. This has been... Can Indicate just destroy this guy already? Like, can we just get to the fucking... Can we get to have Indicate fucking Pro Storm Grands already? Like, the fuck? Whatever it takes to make this more painful. I think that's what we're going for. This is suffering. You're staying on as long as the fucking frog deck is on. Oh, man. I think my internet's going out, dude. I don't know. No, you're staying here. I'm leaving, dude. I have a date in an hour and 20 minutes, and this motherfucker's going to make me late. I'm so mauled right I started now. The, I started this frog thing. I'll end it. Yeah, after this, I'm just, like, banning Exodius on principle. Uh, Exodius isn't that important for the deck anymore. <laughs> I'm banning it all. I'm banning you don't even have to run Exodius. symbol of heritage. <laughs> you, could cut ex you could cut Exodius. We're turning Edison custom after this one. Ban trap does shoot. Oppression 3. Ab 0 at 1. 
Brown Hook says Frog Slicer is going through a tunnel. Sorry, his connection is bad. <laughs> he should just fucking end the call. <laughs> Real gelato. And it's just him lighting a blunt. The fuck? <laughs> that's, that's, that's just weed. <laughs> that's not gelato at all. Uh, yeah, Frog's a freaking matchup against Hero Beat, I think. Yeah, dude, they can play through Hero Blast Gemini Spark Skill Drain really easily. Yeah, no, the combo's hard, but if you do the frog stuff, it's actually pretty favorable. Uh, Royal like Crash. Yeah. Setting a 2k beater. Yeah, setting a 2k beater is good. If you can get, like, an opponent who has has no brain, which is most Hero Beat opponents, to be fair. Right, like, why'd you play Hero Beat, you know? Yeah. But I think it should be okay. It'll be a fun match to watch. At least Indikid will know what the fuck is going on, I hope. Um, yeah. What is Masahiro doing? Can we give I'm him not, a slow play I, fucking I violation? No Can we tell him to hurry the fuck up? You need to make a play. Like, this is fucking... Uh, 15 seconds, or like, fucking slow play shit. There we go, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let me think. Hmm. <laughs> I'll start by activating Black Whirlwind. Oh, okay. That works. <laughs> Plug. He's probably starting to stop for the 15-minute thing. That doesn't, it's his turn! <laughs> if he spends 15 minutes on his turn, he loses! <laughs> and I'll give him fucking slow play DQ before that. I have places to be, bro. If you're gonna lose to some shitty frog deck, at least just lose and get the fuck over with. He sacked you. Just hold the L. I remember I lost to a fucking empty jar in an Edison tournament once, and I went and I punched wow. something until my knuckles bled. <laughs> okay. Was it a jar? It was not a jar. It was just fucking a brick. I punched a brick wall by my house. I was so mad. All right, uh, I think I'm going to start bringing a uh, empty jar. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate you, man. You're going <laughs> to... How I brought empty jar to the RBT. What is the point of this bryonic? What does this do? This doesn't. I guess you bounce do. It goes minus. It um. Yeah, I mean the other, the other subs gone. Spanish them. So. If he has a trap card, then this is okay, right? We're gonna see a trap. No, okay. Yeah, when when you're in these low resource games, it's it can just go anyway. Uh, I mean, we still well, we're still six to three card advantage. So if he can summon anything that outs the brio, then oh, he can for sure because he has fucking um, uh, fishborg and grave. All he needs to do is put an extra body in play. That's true. Yeah. Okay, this isn't this ain't it, but pops the whirlwind, I guess. This is the stupid Right now, it, you can only make a level four. Yeah. If it says, I don't know sub, you can't do good. the cool stuff with this room. Symbols isn't good just because it's not live. There's nothing to fucking hit with it. Yeah, I, I don't like symbol that much, but it's clearly enabler. Okay, now we've got another 15 minutes of him reading Unifrog. Bruh! I'll give him like, okay, cool. We got a monster. There's a shirt. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is this even bad? It's a graveyard dark count. Oh my god. Is this real life right I now? I have only... I have only talked about it. I've never actually done it. He sides the mirror force. Dude, all he had to do was fucking bounce the back Oh row. my god. What? Yeah. But you never do, because you never respect the back row of the bricked frog combo. Well, I mean, this is just game, That's right? That's something you just gonna... Well, it depends, because he has to put back subs and draw them. Oh my god, I love when you say it depends. It's, pro Frog it's probably going to That's my favorite. That's my favorite thing when you say it depends, because <laughs> he needs to take another sixty-five <laughs> years to actually do something. I have okay, okay. Is he going to attack with the Exodius? 
What does it do? Yes. Foolish or something, right? It foolish or something, yeah. All right. For the level leader? Yep. 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 That's cool. Man, that Moby's doing work. Morbius. Morbius. Michael Morbius. I had two Mobius in my first version of the side, and I slowly took them out. And then our playtesting, we decided it was it was really good for these really these real matchups where you have to deal with back row. Balance back row, Shura get Vayu Ugg, says Pro Storm. Yeah, I, that was so fucking free. I don't understand how he lost that shit. Yeah. It says can't really lose from that position. I know. I I understand Pro Storm. I understand. You don't gotta tell me. I understand. That's pretty good. What does that do? Goyo? Fan account says top 40, by the way. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, nobody has to play against this fucking deck because it's not real. Yeah, that makes sense. You have to take Morbius because then they can synchro with it. Yeah. I mean, if he didn't draw any gas, then it really is just kind of stalling for time. This is such a weird fucking game. It doesn't make yeah, any I sense. Agree. It's it's a hot mess. But there's a catastrophe to be made. Does he extra catastrophe? He might not even extra it. Yeah, yeah, he does. He has catastrophe. Doesn't have android. No, I, I think it's both nowadays. Um, but with the ab zero, I'm sure he cut something because he has to have ab zero for future fusion. Hmm, that makes sense. Sonny says Dimitri doesn't play this deck on ladder, though. He just climbs up normal decks. Yeah, because this deck would do yeah. terribly on ladder. You'd go, like, fucking barely higher than 50-50. So Sleeping Lion, that. you're saying if this frog list had got played in Pasadena, would they have had to do every bit of the combo? Would it have been slow playing IRL? Yes, so they would have had to do every bit of the combo. It would not have been slow playing IRL, but you would go into time almost guaranteed every single match. Yeah. If your opponent didn't scoop, you would just side in some sort of cheese to gain life, and you would just win the match. Yeah. So if you it, could it, it would be much worse. Time frame. Right. Yeah. It'd be it, like, like in, said, in theory, it's... you would you would take the full forty minutes. You would take as long as you wanted on your combo. Yep. You could abuse the timer. Although, yeah. wow, wow, that's not a bad draw. It's some serious top decks. I mean, the Blackwing deck's good. <laughs> I don't know yeah. if you know this. <laughs> it's a pretty good oh, deck. Oh, I love Blackwing. You're lying. It's okay, though. Definitely a fan. It's gonna be a liar. Uh, <laughs> what do we know that he has? Is it fucking do anything? The Bayou does shit, right? Level 7. So we make Armor Master. Okay. Okay. Um... <laughs> I'm worried. Something's happening. What's going on, man? This doesn't feel real. I mean, so this is usually how it goes. If you don't do the full combo and they don't scoop, and they have an out to at least my old stable board, you get this low resource grind game uh, where the longer it goes, the more it favors a frog player. But sometimes, some yeah, sometimes a 2,500 attack, like, he can still win this. 2,500 attacks can wall this if you don't <laughs> at, draw anything. Alright, Dimitri needs to make a play soon. Looks like he's going for it. There's going to be a Death Frog. Okay, that's going to get him there, right? Like, that's just... um. No, wait, that can't. You Not to, immediately. Yeah, you have to level lead it? Question mark? No, that doesn't do anything. Because you can't bring back board right. unless you have right swap. So it it may have been the play to 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 tribute summon the uh, well yeah he should have tributed off level of the leader yeah that was a misplay yep that was a misplay yeah because now he's just gonna lose his fucking bionic access yeah it feels bad all of that just to choke <laughs> it does feel bad we're gonna see another blizzy that'd be crazy dude.
Damn, you could have kept the uh, armor master of the grave. Not that that really matters, because there isn't another Ryu right now. They just used one. Yeah, it was. Well, they used it on a Sirocco, though, so it would have been... Oh. It would have been live, by the way. If it says, damn, unfortunate misplay, I don't know if unfortunate is how I would describe it. Sonny says might be over. We've been saying that for like 18 turns. We don't know what the fuck is going on, bro. I mean, he can still just draw a substitute. You know? <laughs> can he? How many does he have in deck? All three. No, wait, just two. One got crowed, right? The only two. Because, yep. Multiple back row. That's unique. It's not a mirror force. <laughs> Duprog does something, I think. I don't fucking know. You have to kill Treeborn, right? Yeah, there you go. Well, the Treeborn can come back. You, know, you can do what you always were going to do. It can't because there's two spells and traps in play. Oh, uh, right. So he needs to play the bo both spells and traps before the Treeborn can come back. This actually turned into kind of an interesting game. Yeah. Okay. We got to get him with the the slow play shit if it starts to get bad though. I'm looking at my fucking timer, my stopwatch. <laughs> you pull one out. Cameron says Brio is dead. No, it hasn't been used yet. Okay. There's a tarantula. That's going to kill everything. I'll draw a card. Masahiro says Brio is dead. Oh, Masahiro's Brio is dead. Tom of the Round says this game is actually sick. I mean, both players my stance as well. played it exceptionally poorly. This is to get the tree worn live, right? Well, they both just had one major misplay. I think other than that, it's been just weird. Hmm. What is fucking Masahiro drawn that he he hasn't drawn dude he's drawn one trap card in the top fifteen cards of his deck. That's insane. Yeah. He had some relevant sequences of monsters, but you would think by now there'd be a fucking royal oppression. Something, or something. else. Yeah. Something like, else. Dude. What is going on? Trunade is gone, Storm is still in the deck. What is he what is in his hand? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Crow. Yeah, that makes sense. That treeborn. What was the treeborn even doing? Yeah, so now if he has anything real. Then... Sunny says Sirocco Dark Arm. Dark Arm makes sense. Sirocco, yeah, also makes sense. Only one's been used. It could be another crow, too, because he was like really willing to just burn it on the treeborn. This game is so funny. This is really bad, dude. This when two decks don't do what they're supposed to do. This is the variance of Edison that people actually like. It's what just is... in the setting that... What's in his fucking hand? Yeah, it's, it's just gotta be Sirocco. He has double Sirocco Dark Armed in hand? Oh. <laughs> I guess we'll see you later. Six turn clock, yes. Yes, yeah, six Yeah, turn that's clock. where we're at. There's what is it? What is the four okay, Kalut, okay. That is bigger 
than Swap Frog. I don't know how Dimitri's going to deal with this. Not wrong. We do have a trap card now. Although I'm like 9 billion percent certain Dimitri has an out to a trap card. Because his hand sucks. And he hasn't played a card all game. And that means he's got to have an out to a trap card because he hasn't been playing shit. There's a salvage. That should get him there, right? Straight up. Yeah, without a crow and assuming this isn't too interactive. Oh. Uh, so he's going to mallet. Okay. I read that. He's going to mallet and draw the same cards, dude. He's got a lot or of Or he's just going to set a dupe and then poke with uni. That's his plan. Okay. What is going on, bro? Okay, this is good because... Um... Because why? <laughs> it's just a level five. It's just an android. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope I can stick this android. I don't believe this shit. Wait, level six? Implications? Implications? It could also still be a level five. Yeah, I knew it was Icarus. Oh, wow. That's rare. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, so that's that's actually the side deck plan we have for deck dev and oppression. And Icarus. Kind of works. And it killed a dark armed earlier, which it probably should never do. But... Yeah, that was pretty good. Oh my god, he's DCing. This is like... Wow. the worst game <laughs> it's like a good game it's like actually a really good game yeah it's been so grindy yeah, these have been these have been my favorite games is when it comes to this i prefer to people just scoop when i have it and then if they have an answer i you know go to a fair game swap and then Let's he can level eat level eat um, bounce that no He's just going for Xaxes. Yep. Dang. Was it a Gores all along? No. What was in his hand? Wow. Crazy. All right, GG's. Let's get the next <laughs> match going. Let's get the next match going. We got Indikid yep. versus Dimitri, and you're staying on. You don't get a leave, dude. Oh, my house is going through a tunnel, man. I don't know. Nah, dude. You can't. You're not. Nah, you can't leave. You can't leave, bro. You're stuck here. You brought this on us, bro. You brought this on. So us. Ribbit one. You helped him test. Ribbit this one. I introduced shit. the. <laughs> I did. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I did. If you have to, if you have to sit here for the rest of the fucking reset, the I'm in purgatory. Reset, you're stuck, dude. You're stuck. You can't leave. You thought it was Saturday night. You thought you Congrats could go. my out. boy Dimitri. Excellent game. Side decking choices basically did everything for. Me. I think the most frustrating part was how poorly I think both of them played it. Yeah, yeah, that 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 misplay felt pretty bad because you could you could see him thinking about it. You could see him uh, experiencing it. Yeah, for sure. Okay, and uh, the mirror force was, yeah. And could get the fuck in here and show us what Canada is made of. Yeah, give us some of that maple. Okay, syrup. so who do you want to lose more? Definitely, definitely Dimitri. No offense, but like, see, I hate Indicate. Right, and I, I. But you hate. But I hate. This you shit. hate frog combos more, dude. If I'm gonna be late for this date, like I'm literally just gonna do the grand finals tomorrow, cause like I, I, I have real life stuff that we shouldn't be, you know, taking that long per she, game. She really should be here on the stream with us. Honestly, she would probably hate this too. Realistically, I, I can wingman you, dude. You can wingman me? Okay, what's your... I can black wingman you. What are you going to do? You're going to fucking talk about vegan shit? You're going to be like, yeah, Keegan really knows how to cook some fucking... No, no, I'm just, I'm just going to say, hey, uh, you know, Keegan, he's built this community. He left the fucking call. He left the fucking call. He left the call. He blocked me on Discord. 
He blocked me on Discord. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it, Frog Slicer. I'm banning him from my server. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool. Don't worry about it. Where the fuck is this guy? Tell him to hurry up. Dimitri, you have a match. The whole world has been waiting on you. Please hurry the fuck up. Oh, he didn't mean to disconnect. Okay, that was just part of the bit. All right, we'll get back in the call. We'll get back in the call. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was a pretty good one. I like that one. All right, can you uh can you speak? I got to reset your level now. Yeah, um biddle biddle battle biddle battle. Where's your fucking boy? Uh, yeah. Oh, there he is. He's finally joining the game. All right, cool. There he is. Sweet. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, if you wouldn't mind sharing again. I did. I did. Ah, I see. Thanks. Yeah. The computer's just kind of blowing it. <laughs> oh, that was a cursed game. Okay, um, Frog All Slicer, right. your boy lost the die roll. How are you feeling about that? Oh man, it was a great time. You know, we we really really went came in with all we had, uh, but you know, we just couldn't we couldn't take it. That's cool. Um, how does your deck deal with an ally of justice catastrophe game one? Uh, it doesn't care at all unless you open up deck death. Well, Indicate's on 15 copies of Deck Dev, and I am I can assure you that one of them is in his hand, and the other four cards in his hand is like Solemn Judgment and well, shit. Well, do you think do you think an opening hand to Deck Dev can beat an opening hand to one for one? Yes. Oh. <laughs> That's not... Wait, wait a second. Wait yeah. a second, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Dude, Indicate is one of the most cursed players I've ever seen. He's gaining life, man. He says, think position. Bro, he can substitute into Death Frog and run your shit over. What do you mean, think position? Think position. Think position, really? You're thinking about getting Armory Arm OTK'd through fucking multiple back row turn one? You're smoking crack. So, Dimitri's gonna hit the 20% uh, chance of opening a back row sweeper, and then on top of that, the 30% <laughs> chance one. of combo. <laughs> And then, uh, GG. What is that? He gets a battle phase. What is that? That's like 6%. <laughs> 6 percent. Six percent. Oh. Actually, this is a pretty great, pretty great game for this. Why is this a good game for this? Future Fusion could resolve. Oh, in theory, it might. It but could. in reality, he's going to get fucked up if this is all he got. I'm just saying. I also know Indicate oh, has some like really annoying interactive pieces for this combo in his deck. So we'll funny. see if he's he doing them. He predicted this. He knew Dude! The what the fuck is this? What did I just say? He hasn't even cast an upstart goblin. He hasn't even cast card destruction. He just opened future fusion one for one. What did I tell you about the binaries and the seeds? I told you. What the fuck is this? How do people draw like this? We literally need to check these matches to make sure he doesn't have multiple one for ones in his deck. <laughs> like I'm I'm dead ass cause he's opened sure, it yeah. every single match game one no draw he's upstart gobbling after activating one for one that's insane he's drawing it for all the times I couldn't you know uh, I think he's here oh I think he's in response to the fishy board I can't believe he opened that <laughs> when Cameron Wright yet again Dude, this is insane. Pro Storm said not sure who to root for. 
pro storm i know who you want to root for the one that gives you the dub that's all i'm saying cameron says there's only one one for one in the deck i'm looking at it right now that's insane Cameron says he's either a god or he's hacking. I mean, sometimes you're just lucky. <laughs> Why not both, man? I don't know. Yeah, sometimes it is just your day. There is a reason. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's what I was saying. This deck has some some pieces of interaction that can make it difficult. Phoenix Wings, Y Carpath doesn't like my deck. Why? Because it just beats your deck? Yeah, so what? You want to fight? I don't know if it beats your deck. I don't fucking, I don't fucking see it yet. I haven't fucking seen it. Your opponent, <laughs> or not your opponent, your boy likes to draw fucking 16 limited spells in a deck with like 85 frog bricks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Insane. He also had the one of Unifrog. Okay, it's going to get forced. Uh, I think this situation favors Indicate. Yep. Yeah. But the future fusion might resolve, so there is that. All right. Yeah. These uh low low power game states. Murray says I want to fight Frog Slicer. You know what? I don't blame you. This motherfucker. <laughs> no. Frog Slicer, how much can you bench? Oh, not that much. I have no idea. I'm a runner, not a oh, Okay. Lifter. What's your fast what's your fastest mile? Twenty. Twenty? Four twenty. Four twenty is your fastest mile. Yep. Four minutes and 20 seconds. 20 seconds, yep. Flat? <laughs> yeah, like in change. Like 69 cents, I don't know. Smackington the Benjamin. <laughs> he opened double subs a toad. This guy's a fucking stacker. This guy's a fucking stacker, dude. <laughs> I actually don't understand how you can draw this broken. Like, he literally just fucking stacks. Like, you, there's so many bricks in this deck, and he's just not drawing them. That's fucking crazy. How does he draw like this? Copium. James Ark is even saying how. The luckiest man on no, earth is saying how. No, it's just Copium, chat. dude. You guys don't get it. It's not Copium. He just opens the just, fucking actual Just nut. play the deck and you'll see. I don't know. Yeah, and I, I'll draw triple fucking poison draw frog and I'll just be like, oh, this is great. I'm really happy I did this. <laughs> I'm going to draw so many fucking 16 swap frogs. Dude, I know it's happened to you so many times. I've literally seen you <laughs> scrub out of every RBET with this shit. <laughs> hey, I get a, I bubble every time. Okay, it's not scrubbing. I might have, <laughs> bubbling scrubbing. If you ask me, I'm just gonna. Uh, say. Not for me, dude. That, I feel like I feel like one, two, and thirty third is the same record. <laughs> I feel like it's just the same. Yeah, it feels bad. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So if this backer doesn't do anything, then Bryce says, "Has he drawn a poison draw frog this entire tournament?" No fucking has and he's drawn fucking one for one triple substitute future fusion heavy storm giant true nate every game um if this yeah, background so is anything, real then right. he wins he's should gonna put on a, attack and get... should we put on something for the where's the dangling keys yeah because if, if he can draw he'll eventually get his heavy and he'll get the claw swarm room okay i get you Although, yeah, the power tool, I don't, I don't really remember how that plays out. Yeah, me neither. It's too confusing for me. I think he sacks off the power tool. After he level eats it full time. Interesting. I really like this part of the this part of the game. I can't tell if it's like seamlessly cutting or if it's like the if there's like a zero fade every so often and he's just doing like a thousand like 15 second takes of this. I'm not sure what this is.
10 hours. Oh, that FPS, dude. Dude, is that the dueling book FPS? I'm having a hard time deciding which of these I want to watch more. Is the combo still going? Yeah. Oh, sorry. You did Pot of Avarice to shrink the power tool. See, the reason I'm doing this is because I need a turn timer. Oh. <laughs> sure. Vado this is says, the best turn timer I've ever seen. Why is there a most replayed part of this video? That's a good question. Why is there a most <laughs> Asking the real questions out here, dude. Sleeping Lion says I need a new PC. Yeah, I really desperately do. I'm on a fucking rig from 2014, dude. I need a new PC so bad. I need to stop throwing RBETs and just grind like mindless Blackwing videos for the next like six mm. months and then just buy a new PC. Do a 10-hour stream. Says, dude, please gameplay. Only. I'm begging you. Some people have never seen this deck before. We've seen this deck the past four matches. What do you mean, people? <laughs> have, you been, have you been watching the stream? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're this back. Is, this is the interesting part. I don't know. <laughs> but we know the loop. Like, it's just the same loop. He's just executing Yeah, for, it. for the people who actually care about the Minutia, I'm going to make a video with Dimitri. And there I'll, you go. He's going to make a video with channel. Dimitri. You can watch Frog Slicer's the, video. The people who care about <laughs> the combo, you know. See, this is like the cursed, like, I have the best part of Edison, which is fairies and winner's grands. And then I have the worst part of Ederson, which is this fucking dog shit combo going up against zero back row. Um, he played through two back row. Okay. He played through one back row. Played through one back row. Mirror is not a real back row in this matchup. Well, I, you actually do have to play around it, but yeah, you eventually will draw your heavy, right? Because you, you are you're trying to claw slow, right? Yeah. But yeah, he's he's definitely has it. So. Yeah. Too honest. I mean, he's. Why is he asking this? You should just not say this. I just risk it. I guess he's. He might not even have to, honest. He might just be bluffing. Dimitri says yes. Yeah, because you don't have to cross my room. Yeah, you can I just. Don't like... think, I don't think that's necessarily what he's going to do. He, he knows the, the break points of how much card advantage. Yeah, triple army imbalance. Yeah. That that board state, the one that beats Gore's Antrag, that one's really interesting. That's he. You use um, Iroquazas or whatever it's called, the level six piercer. And then you equip the arms to the pierce guy. Yep. So no matter what, he's going through. Yeah, no matter what, because he draws one for one every game. That was he insane. did lose the die roll, all right. That was well, he insane. did. He did open one for one future fusion double subs to toad. Like okay. you, you could pick. You could pick a slightly worse hand. Like, you, yeah, just don't give him heavy storm or train it. Okay, but like, come on. And then on top of that, Indicate didn't have oppression. Like, he hasn't had to face yeah. a fucking single royal oppression this entire time we've watched him, which is crazy. Because isn't that the meta? It's out of flavor. Everyone's in, everyone's anticipating the black wings. He just, you know. Stop playing impressions. Yeah, I feel it. How does the deck beat Protector of the Sanctuary? Just curious. <laughs> what? You know, Protector of the Sanctuary. Um, yeah, very easily. You you can generate card advantage without drawing cards through dupes, searches, and then you have enough card advantage to bounce, bounce it. Okay, that makes sense. And if if you don't need a card advantage, you can just bounce it. Probably. Javier Probably. says, I knocked out Frog Slicer in the $1,000 RBET. Javier, you just got modded. <laughs> Welcome to having yeah, power, uh, Javier. Yomero and Dimitri both knocked me out, and they're here. You got fucking owned. You're getting like... Yeah, he did. Dude, okay. You're getting cucked. Like, you're watching someone else play your deck. Oh, I was already done. <laughs> this shit's too harsh. Yeah. yeah once, no, the, you're like... once, the, once Dimitri came over these changes, man, it was already too hard for me. That's crazy. Hydropump says, I beat Frog Slicer 10 years ago with Windup. Someone confirm this. 
Oh, hydro, yeah. All right, also modded. <laughs> All right, you have also, to do to be a mod uh... is beat Frog Slicer in some arbitrary game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, well, literally everyone on my team beats me in our internals. I'm, like, completely defeated. Dude, look at his hand. Substitute, Future Fusion, Caius, Upstart, Dupe, Avarice. Insane. How much you want to bet he upstarts into fucking one-for-one one right now? <laughs> nah, Solex, dude. No, because he's going to shuffle back. Sub. Solex. Or Caius. Mm. There's no way he takes Caius here. That's fucking stupid. I know. What do you mean I'm hard? saying, like, the Solex. Why is he saying hard? Is he... Is he hard? <laughs> what do you mean fucking... Take Substitute. Think... Well, I guess if he has the out for substitute, that's not a big deal. Definitely worth thinking about. All right. I want to make a bet with you. Yeah. How much do you want to bet that he opens one for one in game three? <laughs> I'll give oh, you man. four that's... to one odds. <laughs> Forty-one odds. Well, I'm, you bet. I'm not that... much of a gambling man. I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather bet an arbitrary amount of pride than an amount of money. Okay, what's, I'm, what's something? I'm what's not something feeling confident. Bet? I'm not feeling confident. What's something that you? He's gotten be... too many. No, you don't understand. When someone gets it all, they get it all, dude. Like you don't understand. Yeah, I, I guess I'm just thinking about it from my perspective, you know. Yeah, no, the world's you... always out to get me. They fucking hate you, dude. They fucking hate you. The fucking the Illuminati they. hates you. Probably. You should do a, do a poll. Do a poll? What do the viewers think? Well, we know what the viewers are going to say. They're going to say he's going to open it because they have nothing to lose. No. They have I'm trying to lose. get Imagine someone being up. wrong. He sent back Duke oh, and wow. not sub. That's why. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Cameron is losing his fucking mind right now. He's like, fuck. Finally, someone that, drew a trap card. That's uncharacteristic. Is this the uh, Gemini Spark? So after battle phase. What's up? He's going to swing. Take that 100. I mean, there's always a substitute there. Yep. Yep. Yepers. Smart attack from Indicate. Very smart attack. Yeah. Okay. Well. We have another set monster. Camera says, why would you take the 100 first? Ronix says, minus 100 for no reason. What are you talking about? You can't Gemini Spark in the damage step. And you're not going to Gemini Spark your blind. Well, you knew exactly which monster. I guess he didn't know what it was. What it was after Upstart. So yeah, technically, the Upstart made it not public knowledge. Not deterministic. Yeah. It's not obviously so. Yeah, it's in case he's a hundred damage is worth it. I yeah, hundred damage doesn't mean shit here. Like yeah. you're perfect information is everything, dude. I would take that every single day of the week. All right, Frog Slicer, I got a bet for you. All right. All right, every time you play this format, <laughs> you have to play this fucking deck <laughs> from now on. That's my frog. But that's oh. if he opens one for one. Oh my god. And then you get to pick you get to pick you get to pick whatever you want for your uh, what do you what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Man, I have to think about it. All right. All right, think about it. We got all of the 5 minutes it's going to take for him to fucking get owned <laughs> yeah. this game. At least he gets to, he gets the Kai's here, but I don't know. Yeah. Daniel says I'm down to donate twenty if he opens one for one game three. I don't know what you'd want to wager the other way. I. I don't know. I don't know either. Because if you're donating twenty, just, it's just going to fucking his prize pool. I would it's rather going to Dimitri. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather just not. <clears throat> Plug. All right. <laughs> so how about this? If I win. You have to play this deck forever, right? And then if you win, okay. you buy me a brand new PC. Yeah, see, though, 
That's very compelling. <laughs> it feels like win-win for someone here. For you, really. Because you get, you know, you buy me a new PC, and then I make you high-quality Edison content. Right, right. Forever. That's, Which you've been un unable to do so far Which without the computer, yeah. Yeah, the computer's what's holding me back. <laughs> All right. I need That's... my substitute reprints, dude. Dude, I've been working on that. I've been working. You cannot say I have not been working on getting Edison reprints. You cannot say that I have. You not. have. I've been That's working true. On shit. I'll get you a sub. I'll get you fucking Starlight Rare substitute. What does this even do? Two thousand Defender. All right. Compulsory is the other item that I was thinking of. That's another item that can do things. Yeah, because book can do work, but Compulse does some serious damage. Yeah. Indigit should just ta start talking shit right now. Because I want him to talk shit, <laughs> and then I want Dimitri to open one for one and then fumble the bag. I saw him. Damn. Can we just go to the next game? Please. Nah, he's gonna side in those malevolent catastrophes. It's not real. He sided in fucking Mirror Force Torrential. He don't got malevolent like that. There's a lot of room in that side, alright? <laughs> Good draw. Good draw. It says, Dust Shoot Oppression Solemn is my worst nightmare. Bro, you open one for yeah. one every match? Dude, what do you mean, worst nightmare? You're living Not the dream game. right now. You're living the dream. <laughs> the fact that you're even in top three. Like, what the fuck? It's the best deck of the format. You have no idea what you're talking about. I feel like you're huffing copium. Is that what that is? How much have you bubbled? How many times did I you bubble? I thought I... Uh, three. You bubbled three tournaments. And then, uh... Someone said they beat you at Uno. That's hilarious. No one has beat me at Uno. Not even once. Okay, here's here's the deal. I know you're not much of a gambling man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you win, I'll play Uno with you live on stream. Holy shit. Yeah, I know. The famous E3 Yu-Gi-Oh. Are you gonna Uno. are you gonna are you gonna throw? Because I can't I can't take a loss on stream with a new. <laughs> Dude, I can't I can't win at Uno. I have, like, the worst Uno luck. Hmm. There's no way I beat you at Uno. I'm, like, zero in a million. All right. It would be, like, All the right, ego boost it. of a lifetime. I'll Huge W for vegans everywhere. What Uno is stream. What does he side? Hydro Pump has Uno. Shit it is out. so, so hard. Stop acting like this deck is that hard to play. You just open one for one and you just mess up the combo and then you're just like, oh. I should be doing that. I really should just be doing that. Stop trying to make frogs a thing. It's never going to be a thing. I, I just want to go on record and say that I would be betting on him with one for one in his hand. So if Frog Slicer yeah. doesn't take the bet or doesn't come up with an idea and he doesn't open one for one. No, the Uno. That's oh, the is, bet. Do you want to take that bet? You're going to bet yes. your entire Edison career versus yes. us having a, like, fucking 12-hour Uno stream. How long of a stream do you want? 12 hours? I don't know how long of a Uno stream you want. Until you win. It will never end. It'll be Uno subathon. <laughs> <laughs> Just trapped. Uno subathon. Purgatory. We love alt formats. Fuck. I'm the taking one... the bet. He's not opening one for one. Okay, so we do a Uno stream, and then if we I win, Uno stream. You're, you have to play this deck in Edison for like, I don't know, six Exclusively. months. Exclusively. Exclusively. Alright, well, here I, it is. Only online. You're so, <laughs> you're so fucking wrong. You're so fucking wrong, dude. He's he's looking at his hand, he's like, hmm. Hmm. Alright, when well, do I play this? Do I play this after or before the upstart? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, wait for it. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right. <laughs> Wait for it. 
<laughs> it's in his hand. Oh, I swear no. to God, it's in his hand. It, and it he's gonna. It probably is. He's gonna throw the game. He's gonna throw the game, and he's gonna be like. <laughs> God damn it, Uno stream. He gets to draw one uh -oh. here, right? Uh oh. He took the bait. Oh. Where's that true nade? I'm surprised he didn't use his honest to deal that extra 100 points of damage. Damn, I tossed him in the end. <laughs> Pot of greed and Uno, yeah. Well, I can tell you one thing for sure. He doesn't have Thunder Dragons in his hand. What the fuck is going on? He doesn't have Thunder Dragons in his deck. This is game three. Right. That's the Frog Slicer special, the triple Thunder Dragon special. Yeah. The good old days. Do you play any other formats? No. I played Edison, and then I stopped uh, when Tengu Plant was, like, started. Dude. And then I came back 10 years later to Edison. You're based. I always knew you were based. <laughs> Why did you stop? I'm just curious. Was it, like... I played one deck exclusively. I played Dimensional Yados. And uh, Exceeds came out. And uh, Acid Golem just, like, hard counter in my deck. And I was like, I'm okay. I'll just stop playing. And then I sold my deck for $1,000. So I just kind of quit, naturally. What did Bought you my do? First car. Oh, okay. I was about to say, what did you do with the 1000 Buy your first car. That's a pretty good pretty good purchase. Yeah, it was, it was a good way to go. It's like, oh, my deck's not really there anymore. It was a, it was a weekend before Pod, Pod of Duality got reprinted. Oh, so I, I guess God, I played a little bit after up. that. That's a big come up. Yeah, it was cool. I had a bunch of champion pack stuff and whatnot. Yeah. Who do I owe 20 bucks? Yeah, I just donate to the stream. He finally drew poison draws. Yeah. That's crazy. Feast and famine, man. Yeah. Sonny says Fossil Dyna would be insane. I concur. Fossil, Fossil Dyna is very hard to deal with. And guarantees the game's a slug. What is that? Five billion damage? Oh, that's a good bit. But he draws a card. Here it comes. Trap dust. Uh, <laughs> heavy slump, dude. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine heavy slump. That happened to me. <laughs> Wait, someone heavy slumped you? Yeah. And I've been heavy slumped. I've been fiend comedian. Uh, when did you get heavy slumped? That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> Probably pre. Not even future future. Yeah, not even future future. What the hell? Here we go, heavy. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, that's the Starlight Road. Yep. That was a brick. Indica the goat. I never doubted Indicate for a second. I never bet on him opening one for one or the full combo. I'm scrubbing that last part of the VOD. Indicate is my favorite. Thank yeah, you. Indicate. Solex would have been. Indicate the savior from now on. I'll just be, dude. You know what Not we got? Man. You know what we got? Do you want? Do you want to stay on for grands? Or are you? Yeah, sure. All right, Frog Slicer. It's been an absolute pleasure. Guys, if you're watching the vod, if you're watching the stream, make sure and check out Frog Slicer's channel because he's a goat. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just get him in here. Just get him fucking going. Alright. Fucking. Finally. Ugh. Whoever said it earlier where they were like Pro Storm fucking Indicate Grands would be a dream. Hey. 
called it. Dimitri had an insane run, though. That's crazy. Yes. Yeah, that was excellent. I'm really happy because if I wasn't able to make it, I'm glad that basically exactly this outcome. Anything short of this would be asking way too much. And a lot of my team did really well, I think. Uh... Wait, you're on a team? Yeah. Yeah, we're Crow's Nest. Oh, you're on Crow's Nest. Yeah. So it was Dimitri and Carpath and okay. everyone else in Edison. <laughs> oh, interesting. Don't you guys have like a, a YouTube or something? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Snack mostly takes, mostly takes care of that. That's pretty cool. Shout out yeah, to Yeah, most of us have channels now because Sunny has a channel. Yeah, there's a Crow's Nest channel, there's Sunny's channel, there's my channel, and there's Carpath's channel. You know what's so sick about all this? Is that, like, everyone can, like, do their thing, and there's actually, like, a shitload of genuine interest for it. Faded than a hoe. Yeah. Faded than a hoe. Faded than a hoe. Faded than a hoe. Faded than a hoe. I love Indicid. I love Indicid. <laughs> Why did he leave? Oh, I wanted to duel him. <laughs> oh, shit, I have an alien deck. finals? Yeah, this is fucking grands, dude. It's... Oh, you played him. Oh, I gotta upload. I gotta upload. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Or not upload, update. Pro Storm versus Indicate. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? If you looked at the bracket, would you have predicted Pro Storm in Grand Finals? Yes. Oh. No, that's... All right. That's fine then. Why am I looking at this shit? I will. I will always. I will always put money on Pro Storm or Silchis topping. <laughs> you would have won a lot of money. But you're not a gambling man, so. <laughs> right, right, right. Obviously. My words mean nothing. I just bubble. I bubble with my fishies. That was fun, though. That was fun. Dimitri said he's been practicing the deck for months to be fast and see the lines and get optimized. We got to give some respect to Dimitri. James Ark says second to Indicate, yeah, I mean, dude. The reset's not happening. You're just you're just huffing hopium, dude. I'm gonna be fucking insufferable if Pro Storm wins. I'm gonna be like, I told you guys, very best deck. None of you guys listen. Very, I, I told you, I'm, all it takes is a skilled player. <laughs> I'm so fairy pilled. I always have been. Which the deck's so good. <laughs> but I'm gonna be so annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just like control decks are scary. Like, that's basically it. Pretty much. I'm going to fucking clickbait it. I'm going to be like, I told you, LaMeo. Reversal says, what decks are in the finals? <laughs> Hero B and Fairies. What is Pro Storm playing? Fairies. I, please keep asking that question. I want to I want to say it all night. I don't want to stop talking is, is about fairies, it. Is Fairies in the finals of River Rulers? I would say it's in Winner's what? Side Grants, actually. <laughs> what? What is Ribbit Rulers? So Ribbit Rulers, it's an invitational... Uh, I don't know if this was clear, but it's like okay. the, the 40 best players who earned their invite skillfully and didn't bubble. and No coin flips. There was not a single coin flip in the entire tournament. That didn't happen. Um, okay. Although that was kind of based, you have to admit. And he did make a loser's run, which would have been... Dude, imagine he wins the whole thing. That would have been hilarious. Um, is Soul of Purity and Light a good card? That's a good question. Yes. I also got ninth in Ribbit 1. I don't know. You got ninth in Ribbit one, didn't you get ninth yeah, in like were... multiple? <laughs> yeah. You know what we'll do? We'll do a fucking frog slicer pump king of games, where the highest placing oh, frog no. FTK deck <laughs> gets the fucking. <laughs> it's oh, just everyone fuck. playing the frog. Deck. How to kill a format? <laughs> oh my god. How to kill a format. And you just show up one, you just show up with dimensional Iados and win the whole thing because you just summon a banisher. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, banisher, what you gonna do? Book a moon, deal. Banisher Iados, GG. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, hold up, I gotta text someone real quick. I'm trying to salvage my date. Against Rod. Trying to salvage my date. Also, shout out to Time on the Is she coming over? Nah. 
not for this shit. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Dude. I spent the last night. You're not. You're clearly not proud of your work. I can see it. Not proud. Of, I'm not. I'm not proud of this shit at all. This shit's fucking cringe. <laughs> I wouldn't my show life this to like my worst. Was enemy. a mistake. Uh, literally. Oh, is that why I'm here? Well, I mean. <laughs> wait a second. Hold on. These things mean... are coming together. <laughs> wait, 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 I mean. Hold on. <laughs> oh man. Edison uh, and chill. Uh, fucking finger point. Finger point. Fucking. Where the fuck is Pro Storm? <laughs> Damn it. Probably taking a nap. I would too. He's literally like, I'll be right back. I have to pee. 15 minutes ago. Man's taking a 15 minute piss. Also, shout out to Time on the Round. You for... wish you were that hydrated. I actually really should drink some more water. Uh, shout out to Time on the Round for donating $50 to the prize pool, by the way. Fucking based. Nice, dude. This prize yeah, pool. pick up the deck, Time on the Round. Is actually really massive now. I think it's like maybe $500. Maybe. I need to do the math. People are just using this to launder money, bro. You figured me out, Frog Slicer. You <laughs> figured me out. What's the prize pot looking at? Like it's it's like somewhere between four hundred and five hundred dollars right now. I think we could get it over five hundred if people want to become a member, or donate right now. That's all I'm saying. If you become a member right now, I will stream Uno with Frog Slicer for fourteen days, no sleeping. No eating. Sleep. We're gonna do crack. Only and play Uno together. Yeah, only yeah, only hard drugs, only uppers and um, Gatorade. <laughs> Gatorade, yeah, yeah, don't forget. Wait, what's your preferred Obviously. flavor of Gatorade? I need to know. I need to know for sure. Oh, blue. That's not a bad pick. How Orange you... has always been my favorite, but I've been buying blue nonstop. Just click join. Orange is pretty. Yeah, there's good. a button, and just ask for your your credit card and those three wacky numbers on the back. <laughs> yeah, and it's only two ninety nine a month. <laughs> Uh, fucking, what, what were we talking about? Oh, uh, Gatorade. Uno. Uno. Meth. <laughs> I think there's... <laughs> Meth, dude, you name it. Yo, shout out Tom Berry for becoming a member. That's another two ninety nine towards the prize pool. Thank you very much. So, those of you who don't know, Keegan lives in Las Vegas, right? <laughs> you don't know. For those of you who don't know, including you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do live in Las Vegas. <laughs> Under Las Vegas, there are these tunnels that exist because if it rains even an inch, it'll flood. So they have to put a tunnel because it's the desert. There's no rainfall. And in those tunnels, you'll find a lot of people playing Uno, drinking Gatorade, and doing meth. You actually are not wrong. I went to a party in one of those tunnels on Halloween night. <laughs> And I can tell you there was Uno and there was meth. There was no Gatorade, though, sadly. See, we were, at, we were at the same party. Were we at the same party? We were at the same party. Were you in Vegas on Halloween? Uh, sure. Oh. You might have actually been at that party. Like, it was a big fucking yeah, I, I was. I'm just kidding. I wasn't. If you were there, I'm just guessing. I wouldn't have been, like, surprised. Man. It was a public party, I mean, in the tunnels. There was, you there was seen people my playing frog Uno. tattoos. So, like, the way it worked is, like, along the sides of the walls, they, like, piled up stones. And people would, like, climb to the top of them. And at the top of one of them, people were playing, like, card games. Yeah, it was definitely alcohol, not Gatorade. Not that I condone the use of any of that shit, because I'm not. I'm a, I'm a sober. I'm not a Gatorader. I'm a celibate individual. One might even call me a virgin. Born again, actually. All right, who you got, chat? I need to hear it. Who you got? Remember, Indicud, um, his money is made out of plastic. So remember that. He's Canadian. Right. Who are you voting for, Frog Slicer? Pro Storm. Oh, that was, that was like no dropped frames. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, frankly, I don't like uh, Diva Hero Beat. It's okay. What don't you like about it? You just don't. It's just not your deck. It's just not your kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I feel like it has like weird draws that like clump awkwardly. It's it's like it's not up to you. You know, you put your cards down and that's it. Yeah, I feel that. I know a lot of people yeah, like want Fairy to win, myself included, and I'm just projecting my desires onto everyone. 
but Indicate has very real chances. A turn one Catastro is a good place to start, and going first is a good place to start. Crowstorm could win with Chainbird. Are you saying that to find a way. discredit his fairy victory, his future fairy victory, or are you saying that because you're just such a fan of I think Preston's very good, and he also is one of the people who thinks Chainburn is a competent deck, so I'm reminding people of that too. I think Chainburn is good, but I like dumb it down. I'm tremendous yeah. fire filled. I think that card is goaded. Yeah. I I used to feel that way and then I no longer do. How but this you... is not a chain burn stream, right? This is. We can talk chain burn while this shining uh, angel is getting you. destroyed by battle. This is gonna go into Cyber Valley, I'm pretty sure. I love these on Cyber Valley. That's that's the Keegan. Speaking deck. of Cyber Valley, that's the Keegan <laughs> deck. I'm just saying, I came up with that shit. I'm fucking goaded. Just what I'm saying. You can. I mean, we can't you... top tournaments when you're hosting them. That's all I'm saying. I can't top tournaments anyway. What <laughs> the fuck you mean? <laughs> I went one two in the last tournament yeah. I entered <laughs> with burn. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, yeah, there's your problem right there. You're right. Wait a second. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there it is. Here we go. I love this card. What a handsome card. So sexy, dude. Ooh. I like that. Ooh. Baited. That was a good bait, actually. Yeah. Sleeping Lion says, don't forget about Pasadena. I did win a side event. That is true. Crushed a side event, I will say. Didn't lose a game. Frog Slicer, are you, like, watching infomercials in the background? I'm going to end the poll, by the way. Yeah, I only watch infomercials. I just think it's so funny. <laughs> I don't even... That could be serious. That could be like true. <laughs> it wouldn't even be right. Cool, baby. Kapaji says, "Are you they gonna are be funny? At... Straight up, let's, let's be honest. They're pretty funny. American infomercials are great." Kapaji says, "Am I gonna be at YCS Vegas, bro? I live here. Why would I not go? <laughs> the fuck? It's like fucking ten minutes from my house. Yeah." I'm just there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'll skip that one. <laughs> I need a team though. Frog Slicer, do you play uh, modern Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> you want to be on a team? No. Team I do Uno. not. I I, I, <laughs> I I'll play I'll play modern Uno. Yeah. We call it Team Uno because the third member of our team is team is the only guy who actually knows how to play. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I, uh, I'm openly against most formats of Yu-Gi-Oh. Based. I think Yu-Gi-Oh is a great game, and they managed to mess it up most of the time in history. Do you think they messed it up because they were profit-driven or just because they're dumb? Yes. I think they were actively trying to kill the game for money. And it's just people like Yu-Gi-Oh! so much they didn't let it die. Pokemon TCG is lit, Hydro Pump. I agree. You can also play yeah, Frogs it really in that is. game. Theoretically. Yeah, Nurse Burn. <laughs> there you go. I was so cracked on Nurse Burn for like a month. Dude, I built that shit in paper, and I brought it to a local, and then I was, like, so high on it, because I like, won a local with it in, like, 2010, and nurses were, like, 30 bucks each. Yeah. And I brought it to another and local. It's just, like, resolving an upstart and doing damage. Oof. Such a good feeling. Oh, wow. It looks like my date is... That's one of my favorite decks, for sure. That means I get to spend more time with you, baby. Hell, yeah. Oh, so I'm your date now. Oh, you're my date now, Frog Slicer. Is this where, is this where you thought you'd be in this time in your life? Fuck no. Fuck no. So you're saying you have not found self-actualization, and you are still trying to discover yourself? I found self-actualization, and I lost it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. Yeah. Whatever you gotta do, man. I gave it up to shill Edison format. I mean, it's been working. Honestly, low key. Yeah. For the format, for the format, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing it for the format. Probably 
this looks rough for Pro Storm. He's down a fuckload here, isn't he? Or am I just like getting confused by Indicate Sleeves? He's down a solid two cards, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you're just hoping that um, the grindy setups will mean anything. I guess on both sides, right? That's where we are. Yeah. White Zero says Keegan is the pillar that holds this fortress together. I disagree. I think people just like the format. That's possible. Yeah, I mean, I hadn't watched you when I started. My friend, I think my friend did though. He just said, "Hey, the only ver the only version of Yu-Gi-Oh you like, uh, people are playing." I was like, "Okay, join." Based. Your friend is who's your friend? And then I did the one K. Uh, my name's his name's Fred. Uh, my friend uh, Hydro, Hydro and I are IRL friends. Yeah. Uh, our mutual friend Fred uh, told me about the format. Where the fuck? I didn't know because Hydro did not. Hydro's been playing for a while. Yeah. Get Fred on the fucking channel right uh, now. He doesn't like playing on a computer. He Dude, he if he could based. play on a phone. I <laughs> if he could play it on a phone, that's so. Oh, like, we, yeah, like we um, we've been going to uh, the tournament in. What's it called? Uh, Picante in North Carolina in Greensboro, like Very every two months or something. Very dope. So Very if dope. anyone are you, if anyone's in the area, go and check it out. You can meet me. North Carolina and Fred. plug and Fred, <laughs> who you'll never meet online ever because he's not real. Frog Slicer made him up. Um. <laughs> yeah. Fucking no. Kidding. Gang's all here. <laughs> who do you, you think I practice against when I'm playing my frog deck? <laughs> Fred. Of course. He's been in the call this whole time. Oh my god. Also, yeah, Taylor makes a good point. You gotta tell Fred that ProStorm won the fucking RVT Invitational all on mobile. Really? Hey, appreciate that, fan. Yeah, I usually have a... Usually what? Sorry, I cut you off, but I was thinking of... I honestly can't remember. I, I think I cut myself off. Word. I need to get back. Who needs to get back in the current... Sacrilege. If you want to, if you want to get the feeling of playing current, but everyone else is playing at a snail's pace, boy, have I got the deck for you. Gishki hand loop, <laughs> wind up hand loop. Just play a hand loop format and win every die roll. Bake your dice. Got him, hand loop. There you go. <laughs> Frog slicer is the guy in the video playing Frog FDK versus the baby. Fred is the baby. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, see, that was my deck in that video. Need I say more? This gameplay has been heat. Christia is live. <laughs> Let's see who opens up. Uh... Christia is live. I'm losing my shit. Is there a Christia? Who knows? You know, ProStorm kind of brought this back. He was down a lot of cards, and now he's down one card. Shall we? Oh no, Exosister, what are you doing? I feel like people haven't min-maxed on the fucking overlap of, like, adult clickbait and Yu-Gi-Oh. People always ask me- Fred is a beast. Fred, Fred played anti-meta, just, like, regular beat stun for, like, five years straight. Dude, he's so based. I need to meet this guy. He said, Holy I shit. have max rarity of these cards. I'm going to play these. That's so based. That's like my favorite deck. It's a great deck. He did the... Uh... Oh, shit, I can't remember the card. What's the one that says uh, no one can draw cards? Protector of the Sanctuary? Yeah, he did the paint. He did that play. He did the Call of the Haunted uh, Morphing Jar. Whatever. It's like it happened maybe one in a hundred games, but he ran it. He's the GOAT, dude. And he has the fucking turbo, Shit was awesome. or not turbo, the tournament pack, ultra rare morphing jar. Just to me. Oh yeah. Nah, I wish. Go. Hydro says, when yeah. is the Disciple internal tournament for Edison? I'm not a member of the Disciples. I, I don't fucking know. 
Emmanuel says, how do you play on mobile? And I say, that's a great fucking question. You're going to have to ask ProStorm in the Discord afterward. He's got to have, like, an iPad for a phone or something, because I don't get it. He's got one of those desk tablets. Yeah. Stands at his battle station. I think I should make this play. Sonny said, this is why you need two Cataster. Cataster would have still got bottomless, bro. Seaf. Bro, Seaf. Somehow, Pro Storm is now even. <laughs> hey, just, you know, wait long enough, I'll find a way. Have you seen that meme where it's like the Star Wars meme and it's like. Like the Disney Star Wars where it's like, somehow, this guy has returned? You know what I'm talking about? Who's that actor that everyone likes? I've been there. Uh... He's in Dune. Do you watch movies, Frog Slicer? Do you have any sort of fucking. <laughs> Do I have any personality besides frogs? Well, it's interesting you ask that because I do have this frog deck. <laughs> yeah, I love movies. He's the Magnus Carlson of Yu-Gi-Oh. He's I've the Magnus Carlson Star Wars. of Uno. You've seen Star Wars? Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> I know this is a reach, but have you heard this movie oh. called Star Wars? <laughs> um, I've heard of Star Trek. Based. Based. No, oh, who's the guy? He's in fucking Disney Wars. Everyone loves Harrison him. Ford? No. He was in Ex Machina. He was also in Dune. Yeah. I haven't seen Dune, and it's been a while since I watched Ex Machina. Fucking Ben gets it. Somehow Palpatine has returned. Who's the actor that says that? That's literally what's happening in this game. It's like somehow Pro Storm has come back. And he just, like, makes that face. <laughs> Hold up. I'm gonna pull it up. Somehow, pal, the team. I gotta pull this up now. It's gonna drive me insane. You can just reference a meme and not show it. Like, that's... This shit. Where you're just like... Oh, yeah, yeah. You know this... Who is this guy? What's his name? I, I have no idea what his name Oscar is. Oscar Isaac. There we go. Goat, actually. Oscar Isaac is a goat. Back from worse. Indigo can still win this. <laughs> Do it for Canada. <laughs> oh, Canada. You were born in America, right, Frog Slicer? Like, I don't gotta, like... Yeah. I don't gotta, like, censor my, my radical uh, hatred no. of Canadians. We don't that. You shouldn't hate them. They've Sorry, helped us. Yeah. They are a source of diamonds and maple syrup. Radical understanding of Canadians <laughs> is what I should say. Kidding me says, also great in the 2011 movie Drive with Brian Cranston and Ryan Gosling. Yes, I have seen the movie Drive. Yeah. Drive is excellent. As a man with ASD, I have seen the movie Drive. Gore says Nicolas Cage best actor. Facts. He's the GOAT, dude. Wait, Keanu Reeves is Canadian? No, there's no way. I don't believe that shit. Dude, this is fucking propaganda. This is Canadian propaganda. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's Canadian. He's too based, though. That's why he's so polite. And, you know, it's a lifetime of hardship. <laughs> Taylor says ASD. Jim Carrey. Of... Jim Carrey's Canadian? Jim Carrey. You just said Jim Carrey again. You didn't even... <laughs> oh, I thought I thought you said Drew Carrey. All right. And, and you can't mix the two up. <laughs> Jim Carrey. <laughs> I dislike Jim Carrey, though. That's the, That's the difference. I dislike Jim Carrey. Dude, Dumb and Dumber. Based. But Classic. I got to separate the art from the artist, you know? I got to separate. <laughs> like, I like you as a person, Frog Slicer, but I hate your art, aka your frog deck. It's like the opposite right, of right. Jim Carrey. I dislike Jim Carrey, but Dumb and Dumber's fire. Okay. It's like yin and yang. 
Sonny says. Sonny's just be less likable. Getting from his tournament is Canada is the best at Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, if he draws like this, a triple miracle. Yo, Sonny. Sonny's biased. Is Sonny Canadian? There's no shot, right? I remember the answer being yes, but when you put me on the spot like that, in front of hundreds of people, I'm not too, too sure where he's from. Wait, Sonny is Canadian? Oscar Isaac is not Canadian. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. He's not. I don't believe it. He's Guatemalan. Shut the fuck up. The marshmallow I'm about to be lit. Dude, Hydro Pump's hot. Awesome. dude. Does no, it's because he sides into Chain Burn, bro. <laughs> Dude, fairy side into Chain Burn. Tell me it can't work. I, I know it can. I know it deep in my being. It can't. Dude, he's already on Legacy of Yada. <laughs> okay, he's going for the... He's going for some advanced plays. I mean, all right. That was disappointing. What did he discard off Windblast? Bottomless? Hmm. Christian is not a card. Are we afraid of Christian? Is it live? I don't think it's live. I think he's on five. Oh, yeah. It's not a card. Dude, Pro I was right. <laughs> doesn't play fucking Soul of Purity and Light. I'll never understand why that card is insane. Yeah. I need to hear your unbiased take. What do you think about Soul of Purity and Light? I think it's good. But I definitely don't have enough experience to make a call. For sure. Because yeah, like clearly clearly you want to clear your grave. And setting up secret plays for the big pushes are incredible. Otherwise you're just like normaling a bunch of fourteen hundred beaters, like I don't know how far that's gonna get you. Yeah, and the second you hit five fairies, you're just fucked, basically. Right. You got call, right? Or I don't know if he's on call. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what his exact build is. I know it's 42 cards, but I don't know if he's on call. And where's that ghost ship when you need it? Dude, ghost ship in this deck is so insane. I have a version of this deck for Tengu Plant. It's really good. Sonny says it's a 2,000 beater, not even 2,200. Dude, it doesn't need to be bigger than 2,000. Nothing in the format runs it over except Caius. Literally, Caius is the only thing. And Caius needs a tribute. There's no normal summon that runs over soul. There's actually a lot of special summons that don't run over soul. You responded to someone else? Nah, it's about me now. It's about me. I'm making it. I'm making it about me. Oh, you're talking about fairies? Hold up. I need to interject in this conversation. Dude, this looks tough. Kid Me says it only makes Christy alive on even number of fairies in grave. No, because you can banish a non fairy. You can just banish one fairy and a non fairy. Yeah. So you don't have to banish a fairy for soul purity. You can banish uh, anything else. Yeah. Hydro Pump says this deck is deaf going to deck out. This game is deaf going to deck out. I don't know. I think Hydro Pump or Indicate can press with uh, Sweeper Protection. And then he'll inevitably win. I think he's in a much better position because he's just better position on board and he's got, he's probably got Starlight Road set, which is going to be really hard for Pro Storm to beat here. But we'll see. Does he have a, an alias in Grave? He doesn't, right? That's a pretty good spark. Frog says, why are you watching fucking season three of Friends right now? What is going on, bro? Well, you know, when the turns get long, you gotta put something else on, dude. I feel it. I feel it. (laughs) 
Syndicate is taking his sweet fucking time, dude. <laughs> dude, he is on call. Wait. Is he just based? Wait, this isn't good, though. Huh. James Ark says average draw. What do you mean average draw? He posted the Palpatine meme for me in Discord. A little bit, a little bit. Uh, yeah, they are both conserving. I agree. The MST off the spark. Oh yeah, that's an average Canadian indicate draw. You know what's crazy about all this is they still each have seven cards and nothing has happened. Well, Pro Storm took a bit more damage. I shouldn't say nothing has happened. All right. So World War One, super famous, right? Uh, everyone's just in the fields of France. They didn't realize the war was starting, but then bombs start flying. So they just like start digging, okay? I don't know how many months World War I went for, how many years it went for, but there's this concept that we now use called no man's land, where all you do is take an inch, lose an inch, take an inch, lose an inch. I think it's what we're witnessing here. This he is World War One. He banished the alias. He didn't banish the zero. Oh. Here comes the road. Yep. Oh. Yeah, we knew this was coming, though. And where's the home? He honestly just shouldn't have even played the Torrential. There's, like, no reason to play it. He was ready. This game did not pan out well for Pro Storm. Yeah. I will say it. You know yeah. what card's really good in this matchup? Absolute zero. Starlight Road. Soul of Purity and Light. <laughs> <laughs> so good in this matchup. Hold. Uh, he had two sweepers into Road. That's so unlucky, dude. Damn. Whoa. Oh, never mind. That... The fuck, oh, rip? Dude, he was bluffing. Oh, man. Never mind. We got a fucking game. Y'all doubted Herald of Orange Light. Y'all doubted fairies. Y'all doubted me. This is he about knew, me. He knew he'd be fine. This is about me. This is not about Pro Storm winning this tournament skillfully. <laughs> That was the most insane bait ever. And you know what? He did that bait on mobile. Wall <laughs> cave diving. What the fuck is he, he has, doing again? He has, uh, he has Texas speech right there. Texas speech, yeah. He said he was doing something crazy. He sent me a picture of like climbing the Himalayas the other night. He's like, yeah, check out this picture I got <laughs> climbing the Himalayas. And he's like, I, I, might, I might try to play in RBET rulers. The most Giga Chad fucking player pretty good <laughs> he's on mount everest right now playing on mobile with a hot spot that was nuts it says you have one alias left maybe sidra honest dude that's nuts okay pitch is honest wow. and there goes everything it wasn't a chris too <laughs> where's the meme or the fucking somehow meme. <laughs> somehow Pro Storm has returned. <laughs> it's these low resource games, bro. Dude, fair. does he have a monster? Wait, what happened to his monster? It... Oh, it got popped Absolutely. by Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Does he have a monster? The whole deck is monster. He should have a monster, right? I guess. Yeah, he's... if he was. Unless dude's bluffing the thinking, I'm discording which fair. 
He just has three Christias in his hand. He's like, damn, maybe I should have. <laughs> maybe I should have pitched this honest. <laughs> yeah. It is a hand trap after all. Oh, that's super funny. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a pretty good highlight. Oh, wow, yeah, look at that. Did you see the ancient sacred wyvern kill earlier? No, I didn't. Oh, my gosh. Dude, you got to rewatch it. I think, I, think I saw it on... Man, yeah, I definitely will. That was sick. All right. Yeah, it's my friend's birthday. Uh, shout outs to Stealth Ninja. Um, Happy birthday, Stealth Ninja. And uh, he's like, he's like, oh, like, Keegan's calling you. I was like, okay. <laughs> Are you just ignoring him? Are you at a birthday party right now? No, no, no. We were we were just uh, chatting earlier. Okay. Well, happy birthday to Stealth Ninja. Everybody wish, wish, wish. Everybody wish Stealth Ninja a happy birthday. You can't see him. He might be there right now. So you just better wish him a happy birthday just, just to be safe. That's the last alias. But that's a big deal, dude. That is big. Because now Pro Storm's low, low. Mm -hmm. You know, Shodi get low hmm? Hmm? <laughs> wait it's fred's birthday no nah. oh fred's not week. fred's not still at the joke. okay i get you what'd you do for fred's birthday i feel like he's the type to get like belligerent he's got a girlfriend he hung out with his girlfriend oh that's i'm sorry man we're not for the homies <laughs> that's really tough I, I really I'm sorry <laughs> Prostorm says it's like floating it's using the force T setting on turn 54 Prostorm says I'm worried if I refresh I can't get back in he's fine this bug is fine he's all good just play it you're good bro just play it The field is fine. Just play it out. Dueling book bugs don't it don't matter. Himalaya reception don't matter. The plug sound effect. All right, T set pass. What is a set monster? Probably not snowman or That's true. Um, oh my god. It doesn't matter what it is. Is that just game? That's insane. That was a pretty crazy game. Alright, it was bottomless. Okay. Dang, that was a crazy close game. Yeah, it was a great one. Yeah, that was really good. It always just comes down to an alias. That wasn't just an alias. That was the alias. The last alias. ProStorm has two matches to lose. James Ark says, guy is goaded, I fear. You realize we're dealing with two guys here, James. You realize that the statement, guy is goaded, I fear, refers to both of said guys. <laughs> Dude, imagine ProStorm wins this, and then he just, like, disappears into the Himalayas, and we never hear from him again. Sounds like the ending of the fable. And he just becomes a mountain man. The duelist in the mountain. Yeah. Hmm. Really makes you think. Alright, he's back in? Question mark? Cameron says very lucky draws for the indicate there. I don't think so. Uh he drew twenty five cards. 
So he's going to hit something good, right? <laughs> Prostorm says, damn, you had like two threats left. Yeah. That is true. Compulsory is fucking nuts in this format. Yeah, I'm a big fan. It's just tough because it always has to be like one of the extra traps because you're you're always gonna run the other but the other good stuff instead. Yeah, it does take a dex a lot, and it's a minus one. It's a hard minus one. If Pro Storm wins, can the background of the map be the Himalayas featuring Ancient Sacred Wyvern? Yes, that's what actually exactly what I was planning. I was gonna take his photo that he sent me and put Ancient Sacred Wyvern on it. Yeah, I got Photoshop Photoshop open right now. And if Indikid wins, it's going to be the Canadian flag with, like, just a fucking tiny dick on it. So, like, like just the Canadian flag. <laughs> You're the goat, dude. <laughs> him on top of a mountain just like reaching the top and christy is like there to greet him like from the heavens only if he's got four fairies <laughs> yeah it's like checking his graveyard he's like ah, you didn't <laughs> like, hold on <laughs> <laughs> the gates to heaven is blocked by christia all you have to do is have four fairies in your graveyard <laughs> You show up and they're like, wait, that looks like a spellcaster. It's like Herald of Creation. It's like the fucking imposter fairy. <laughs> Four hikers before him had to fall to their doom for him to reach Christia. That's dark. Also, it's spelled differently. You gotta switch the Y and the I. Welcome to the <laughs> Why is Christy? <laughs> That's a crossover episode. I don't really understand the last game we just watched. I really liked the Sweeper Sweeper Herald. That was fire, but yeah, I feel like there it was, was just a bunch of incremental decisions building up to that moment. Yeah, and that, that's my. That's why I'm so intimidated to play those control style decks. Like there's so many opportunities to mess up. And I think he did, and that's why he died. Like, he just took too much damage. Straight up. You'd be pretty careful with your life here. With this deck. Alright, chat. Now with the game deficit, who you got? Let's see if they still give it to Pro Storm, even with the game deficit. Alright, sets a monster, sets a back row. Where have I seen this before? Old strategy. Let's see if it pays off. <laughs> if you can dodge a DD Warrior Lady, you can dodge infinite DD Warrior Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Keegan has a date so surely fairy wins I'm already 15 minutes late for my date I feel really bad but whatever who cares nothing is more exciting than being here with frog slicer watching his froggy combo deck finally grow up watching my fairy deck finally grow up that's true we're like proud parents. Yeah, miserable. And you know what? But proud parents. <laughs> <laughs> it feels good, uh, not seeing black wings. You know, I love black wings, but they've been topping too much. Yeah, Sunny Yu-Gi-Oh says go to your date, dude. I have another one tomorrow morning. I am not pressed. I am married to chat. I'm married to the RBET. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. These are moves. 
So we've seen an exchange of cards. Nova attacks. Are we seeing the Prizzy? No. I think advantage Pro Storm. I think he's in a good spot here. Unless Indicate Pro Storm's Pro Storm. Do you ever think about that? They'll always try. They actually do. I think people Pro Storm more against Pro Storm than anyone else. Because they remember to do it because of his name. Right, yeah, there's a reminder text right there. Wait, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but what does Cyber Dragon do? That works. Here comes the spark. No. Interesting. What could he do here? I guess he can spark the Nova. I mean, you kind of have to, right? Yeah, typically swinging into combat recruiters isn't the best. He might go after... Yeah, yeah. I was going to say he might go after a back row, but... There's no real reason the Cyber Dragon's going to connect. But we do know Pro Storm is on a hidden technology. A hidden technology that you are also on. Looks like he didn't have it. He oh, he's on my body? Yeah, he is on my body. Broken. My body there would have been insane. Yeah, it would have been pretty good. <laughs> this is still pretty good, good, though. Yeah, that was. this is yeah. still pretty good, yeah. Even though Prostorm's down a game, he's still the favorite. Hydropump says, open quote, he is on my body, close quote. To which I reply, I wish. I'd have, I'd have a dollar for every time I heard that one. Does he say that one a lot? I mean, you guys are boys, so. <laughs> I love my boys. Is that, is that why they're all on my body? <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna get that was a pretty quick. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Book of Moon is my single favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card. I love this card. If the format, me, if Book of Moon's good in the format, it's a good format. Mm-hmm. White Zero says, I will not accept Hero Beat topping. Well, then you got to enter the next tournament, man. Beat the Hero Beat players. It's the only way to do Beat it. Beat those heroes. Yeah. Pull up with the fucking main deck Kinetic Soldier. Or what is it? Cypher Soldier? They changed the name. In Edison, it should be Connecticut. Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> Connecticut Soldier. He just fights for the fucking... What the fucking <laughs> South? It's fucking Robert E. Lee's face. <laughs> dude, Christ. Dude, dork. Whatever, dude. I don't even know. Is Connecticut part of the North or the South? It's part know. of the North. It is part of the North. Oh, I'm just making shit up. Yeah. Hey, this is a geography class, all right? You listen to that great. You listen to that great. My bad. Uh, is Fairy the best deck in Edison? I'm glad you asked. It is. <laughs> well, that's crazy because I believe that Frog OTK is the best deck in Edison. It's so weird. That's really weird. You're right. It's kind of weird. Hydropump says, I want to sell my house for champion pack books. Does your house cost $600? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> in this market? Shit. <laughs> Oh man. The champion back books are so nice. 
battle phase. All right. Ronick says Keegan legit thought Connecticut was an integral part of the Confederacy. Oh, that's the word I was thinking. Confederacy. <laughs> Yeah, Velodag is pretty Velodag is pretty based. The deck's tight. Shout out Control Alt Defeat. Single handedly funding this event too. Goat, dude. He invented Welly Dad and he also paid for the fucking prize pool or at least half of it. What's you can run a you can run Fog O T K with Dark Arm? You could, because you got what? You got level eater. And you got Catastrophe. Actually, yeah. That's... Interesting. Interesting take, Keegan. I think this could work. I heard Dark Arm's good. This card in Exodius. This was probably my favorite top 8 ever. <laughs> it's been excellent. That's so good. We should do every tournament should just be an invitational. It should just be the same forty dudes. <laughs> just coming back. <laughs> Rock slicer forever Round like, two. out of it. <laughs> forever forever bubbled out, dude. Yeah. I didn't win my coin flip, bro. <laughs> Alright, Indy Kid. Some of us have places to be. <laughs> I'm thinking. That doesn't mean fucking Canada. He's like, weird spot. Normal summon alias. <laughs> Fuck. I know, that's what's funny. <laughs> the simplest play you can make in this in format. Normal summon alias. Second only to set Raikou pass. And he could just says nothing. Nothing. Dimitri Slicer, Fen Slicer, Snack Slicer. I think I think Mac is onto something. I feel it. All right. There's nothing. We're just doing nothing today. No, honest. How about you? <laughs> this is in a full ass conversation about an attack declaration. <laughs> oh man. What do you get here? What do you even what's in his grave? Oh, he's got fairies in there. He's do he do be having two fairies. Uh you could get Didi Warrior Lady. This is a tough decision, actually. No cat. It's actually tough. Because if you get another recruiter, it means you can go Christia. But that's like, does he have Christia in his deck? Who knows? Have we seen one? I don't think so. You can't go the tricky. That monster is wind and has 2,000 attack. You go for honest, bouncy honest, discard it, summon tree. That's legit. That's legit. That's why, that's why they pay me the big bucks. All right. So what, is he just on one Nova somewhere? Oh, no, you want the flexibility. My bad. Yeah, you want to be able to go DD Warrior Lady or... Mm -hmm. I think that's the only thing. Cyber Valley. Cyber Valley, yeah. You can Optimus Prime says, get Honest Wall up. That's not a bad idea, actually. You got a lot of options here. But there's an alias in the grave, and so you always got to be worried about that. That was kind of weird. I feel like... I feel like that was not where you wanted to be. But maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Why did... Why do you think he attacked the recruiter? Because he, he didn't have to attack it. Is he just doing it for damage? Like, I don't... I mean, maybe he has the hero blasts. He's just 
But even then, yeah, that just seems so silly. Yeah, because you could just hear bless the recruiter and not like take a chance on right. like some crazy shit coming out. Yeah. Hmm. Everyone, like the stream right now. Do it right now. Like it. Who'd you vote for, Frog Slicer? I didn't actually click, but I'm still voting for Prost. No, I mean like <laughs> United States president. Politically? <laughs> Pro Storm, I wrote him in. Based. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what game is this? This is game two, match one. Pro Storm is down a game. And Rage Peacock says I already liked it like seven hours ago. Oh my god, has it been that long? No wonder I'm delirious. Oh, fuck. I've been live for ten hours. Yeah, I don't know. You were going to have a date right after, too? Hmm. No, I was going to shower. Yeah, yeah, the stream... Sure, the stream is going to end at a reasonable time. Yeah, that makes sense. Bro, I live This in is Vegas. Edison format. I live in Vegas. We're going to go out after no matter what. No matter how bad you smell. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> What's the worst date you've ever been on, Frog Slicer? Uh... <laughs> I don't know, Keegan. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. <laughs> I guess, yeah, it's a tough one. <laughs> That's one of the prompts they put you on. Probably, the probably your mom. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Base boosted. Ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> TikTok compilation. Frog slicer, you're just in the wrong <laughs> field. <laughs> <laughs> You should just be making fucking yeah. TikToks. I don't think I could. I don't think I could explain my combo that fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Brutal. YouTube will delete the VOD. YouTube will delete the VOD after twelve hours. Yeah. No, I didn't know that. These guys need to hurry the fuck up. What is taking so long? Whose turn is it? Indicate, bro, the alias has been sitting there for the last fucking six <laughs> minutes. Viewing graveyard. Viewing vanished. I wonder if the alias effect has any application here. Faded than a hoe. Faded than a hoe. Faded than a hoe. Faded than a hoe. Um, the only application would be baiting out of bottomless. Prostorm probably on a date right now. Dude, Prostorm's fighting a mountain lion with one hand, playing on mobile with the other. Mm -hmm. I can confirm this, because he also sent me a selfie while doing it. Yeah, he's paying extra for Starlink, just so we can have good access. So this, this is costing him more than he could potentially win, just to participate. <laughs> he needs to flex on us so badly. <laughs> <laughs> He just got another. This is the same position. You blink, then you blink some more, then you blink a little bit more. Nothing changes. Okay. Chris said it's taking so long since Pro Storm is playing both account on his Nintendo DS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's playing against himself right now. Appreciate that. Gordon. Indicate is his Fred. Yeah. Wait, Fred's actually made up friend, right? Like, he's not real. Nah, Fred's my best friend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> his birthday's 11 11. <laughs> Comment. 
Did this go? Why is Buffy the first name? Resolve. Right, we're going back. You resolve the Gemini Spark. Yeah. Okay, well, you're, you're missing something. I'm not missing. I'm, something back, I'm 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 back. You're missing something, dude. I'm back, I'm back. We got some action. We got some fucking action finally. Jesus Boom. fucking Christ. Spuffy. Spuffy the Vampire Slayer. Pro Storm set, think on target. Bro, you have four of the same target. <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, he might have a symbol of heritage, you know. He's like, hmm. <laughs> this is a tough one. <laughs> Brother Storm, make a choice, motherfucker. <laughs> it's four of the same card. It's pretty funny. My emails were on target. screen. Were they on screen? Which emails? What? Which emails? We got your passwords now, dude. Which emails? Were they on screen? Did I email leave? Someone confirmed that. I didn't notice. I didn't notice either. What, did you see all the fucking spam mail that's in my inbox that I never delete? Pretty embarrassing, dude. A man with an unorganized email? The emails when you opened up Quora or whatever? My channel uh, on Frog Slicer um, on YouTube, you know, has perfectly organized email, so you can trust my content. I feel like that's psychopath behavior, like actually going in and like sorting your email. Like if you got time to do that, like that don't sound right. <laughs> I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I'm here with you. Oh, shit. My house is going through a tunnel again. One sec. He's talking to his grandma right now. He's like, Grandma, not now. Pro Storm's fighting Indy Kid. And his grandma's like, Frog Slicer, you didn't take out the garbage. And Frog Slicer's like, You don't understand, Grandma. This is the first time Fairies has been in Grand Finals since fucking Keegan played it. You don't understand. Grandma, like, nothing in the world could matter more. <laughs> grandma, you don't understand. He's playing on mobile from Starlink. <laughs> So did you ever figure out what that hot dog water thing was about or? No. Why would I? I've been alive for 10 hours. I haven't been doing detective work on a second monitor. I'm hardly paying fucking attention to what's happening here. What happened to the sure Christian? Someone... Oh, it got bottomless. That's right. It got bottomless too. Why is this game still going on? Finish it, bro. Can we just go to game three? He's up two cards. How do you lose up two cards at the very deck? You just don't. I don't think this duel is over until Pro Storm has nine or nine or fewer cards in this deck. Pro Storm can establish an infinite loop though. Where he never decks out. With Oh really? Actually he, I didn't know that. Yeah, there's two actually. There's two different ones. There's Christia Freed and there's uh, Cyber Valley Return which is infinite return activations and it always puts return back to the top of your deck. Do you use Freed to shoot the Christia? Can you do that? I didn't know you could do that. I right, show, yeah. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, Freed can shoot your own cards. So there's a play, there's another play too where like it, you can free shoot your own Dialk to add back Christia. And that's going to be that. Hey, there we go. This wins with Honest, right? Oh, just oh. wins on its own. Or Compulsory. Compulsory winning both games is actually kind of clutch. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Pro Storm said compulsory game both games. Hive mind. Oh, 
This is a fucking based grand finals. People don't realize how based this is. Y'all have this tournament series has been really incredible. It's been really fun. It's been it's been nice, like a uh, having the planning all year and knowing that you're like working towards something instead of just going to tournaments and hoping for the best. Yeah, I want to do something similar next year. Are you gonna come out to one of the IRL ones, or are you like not about it? I I would. All right, cool. I'll give you some details on that shit later. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, we're gonna do an IRL one. I think. I think someone wanted to do one in Chicago, and then we're definitely going to do at least one in SoCal. Because mm-hmm. SoCal's fucking huge for Edison, bro. Yeah, I see, I've seen the heat maps. You've the one it? on Mika's website. Yeah. Have you seen the... Uh, well, how many players do you get out there in, like, North Carolina? That's over 30. Jeez, maybe we do something there, too. Because I know... Like, it, it's, it's every two months... That's probably why the and it's always like a win a switch tournament. Does your store have a um, how big is your store? Um, I'm not too I've only actually gone twice. <laughs> have you won a but, switch? Uh, uh, no, no. It's Cameron's store too. I haven't met him yet, but You haven't met Cameron? You probably No. Don't... I haven't met Cameron, would you believe it? <laughs> they don't add up. I feel like North Carolina isn't that big. Like, doesn't... Never mind. That is kind of wild, actually. You guys go to the same store and you've never met? Yeah, uh, for me, it's it's a few hours away. But I just don't mind driving every once in a while. For sure. How the fuck Picante, do you know I play at Picante Games in uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. They have a uh, December third, I think, is the next one. If anyone wants to go out, everyone go check it out. Do one in Texas. I don't have a store in Texas. It really just depends on the storefront and the stream setup. Stealth Ninja, happy birthday. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I'm glad to have you here. Prostorm says, Ugg Mobile meant to set surprises over now. Okay. <laughs> now we mobile Johns. What surprise? He's playing was- around. He's, he's playing around the side deck, Aaron. You know what's crazy is he probably wouldn't have attacked it if it was set, but now he's probably going to attack it because that's what he was doing all game last game was just attacking. Right. Yeah. No, nah, he's bluffing and honest. He's like, oh, whoops. I didn't mean to normal summon that. Wait, Gaibu goes to Picante too? You met Gaibu? I'm not sure. <laughs> he just mega lulled Gaibu. That's insane. I can't believe that. Oh, yeah. Well, I clearly did. I did make Gaibu. Big dog and Gaibu out here. Yeah, it was a good time. Seto Gaibu. And I, di- I didn't play Frogs. I'm sure everyone was thankful for that. What deck do you play in paper? Uh, well, I always play Frogs, but I finally put together Black Wings. I played for the first time last time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my paper deck's usually chain burn. Based. What happened to Dimensional Yatos? Rebuild that shit. That shit's fire. I don't think it's very good in Edison. I think you kind of need the duality. It's okay. That is funny, Cameron. <laughs> Frog Slicer played Gaibu on Black Wings. 
And Cameron played Guy Boo on Frogs. That was funny. Stealth Ninja says Aubrey Chamberlain next time we visit. Stealth Ninja, there you go. if you are ever around me and you bring Chamberlain, how much you bench? <laughs> no, <okay. laughs> yeah, Ste Stealth just consumes Yu Gi Oh content. He doesn't really play. So he, yeah, I'm sure a lot of your viewers, most of them don't play, obviously. <laughs> yeah, for the most part. You're one of my viewers, right? You watch the videos? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't play Yu Gi Oh! Murray said, I'd fly out to North Carolina. Yeah, we should do one at North, North Carolina. Chris, I, I do play in SoCal. I play at um, a bunch of different shops in SoCal. Every time I'm down there, I try to check out a shop. A lot of the dudes who play Edison are down in SoCal. If you want to find a locals, there's a bunch in the spreadsheet below, and you can also join the Discord, and I'm sure there's a bunch of SoCal dudes in there who will link up and play. Yeah, does Cam live in a mansion or something? What's up, Hydra? Geeky Gerald says, I'd play more if we finally got the stupid rank ladder on DB. I mean, the rank ladder makes no difference, let's be real. If you want to play the format, you're going to just play the format. Right, and the, and the people who don't want to play, they find whatever reason. So it's just whatever. Exactly. Like, all things in life, if you want to do them, do them. Frog slides are spitting facts, dude. Yeah, card addiction is lit. Hydropump says, I don't know what Cam lives in. What do you mean? He lives in like a fucking like dead camel? Like what the fuck do you think he lives in? He lives in a in a fucking place to live, like a fucking home. How did this game get to this state? Why did they want this? This, I thought this was going to be Peak an exciting game. grand finals. These guys have played, like, the most pussy Yu-Gi-Oh I've ever seen. That's how you do it, man. Just jab. Duck, jab. Jab, duck. Duck, sidestep. <laughs> do you play jab. Captain Falcon? <laughs> <laughs> I play Captain Falcon. Wait, do you? No, I play uh, Yoshi. That sounds right. Someone was asking earlier what what deck would be Yoshi if all the decks were melee characters. What deck would be Yoshi? Hmm. <laughs> Probably GBs. That doesn't even make sense. So the reason I like Yoshi and one of the Yoshi's strengths is you have the super armor, you second jump. Of course, they yeah. just kind of get away with bullshit. So it's like the only way to stop Yoshi is just get in his face and catch wherever he's landing on stuff. He's not very fast or anything. So it's like GBs. Like you let them do their thing, they're just going to style on you, but it's not that hard to stop them from doing their thing. I see what you're saying. Kind of beat them. That's We've my, initiated the plan. my first hot take. I don't know. It's a weird question. So, Pro Storm has five more cards in deck than Indicid. <laughs> yeah. It's all those Gemini Sparks, dude. Was there a Gemini Spark play just now? Oh, there was. Yes, there was. Hmm. What do you think you play in Melee? Falcon? I feel like Falcon's just the best character. Because you got jab, and you got stomp, knee, and what more do you need, really? You definitely did tweet that at me, Wave Motion Ganon. I thought about it a lot, mm -hmm. and I was like, fairies is fox, but fairies is also falco, but fairies is also marth. And then, like, <laughs> black wings is, like, Luigi. <laughs> What's and, Jigglypuff? Jigglypuff? Final Countdown. Final Countdown. <laughs> Is there a deck that wins with one card in Edison? 
final countdown. Light swarm, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it could be light swarm. Context says black wings is chic. Yeah, that's that's very accurate actually. Yeah, see, I always thought that frogs would, frog combo would be like ice climbers. It's more like Pichu. <laughs> Bruh. Is ice climbers if you draw one for one? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Dragons is Falcon for sure, because Red Bed Drago is Stompney. That's just like, that's the easy one. What the fuck is going on in this match? There have been two set honests. And now Pro Storm's milling himself. Does he not recognize that his game plan is to deck out Indicid? Welly Dad is Mewtwo. <laughs> nah, Welly Dad's got to be like a good character, cause that deck's broken. Have you played that deck? Yeah, I have. What'd you think? I like it a lot. You're an enjoyer. Yeah, I think I like uh, DV Hero better. And I know that they're not exactly one to one comparison. But I think I think Diva kind of does it better. I do like the turbo aspect, but the more the more I turbo, the more I'm like, why aren't I playing my deck? But Gref, Greffer's Greffer's a card. That card. If you can get some value out of Greffer, you're you're doing something right. Yeah, that card's insane. Sonny says resolving Miracle Fusion is a good feeling. We haven't seen one of those yet this game, and Indicate is 18 cards deep. What is he waiting for? What is he afraid of? Why won't he just draw it? Fucking idiot. <laughs> God damn. NCXM says Hero Beat is a peach. I hate that card. That card is brain dead. I fucking hate he I fucking or not Hero Beat, Hero Blast. I hate Hero Blast. That's what I was thinking of. Fuck that card. Oh, you know, chainable removal. Seems pretty good. It's just like, fucking, I guess I'll just draw my guy. Oh my goodness. We got wow. sex bots. <laughs> We've got sex. I modded 18 Perfect. people. Cameron says this is exciting gameplay. Dude. Enjoy the sex bots, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm popular enough to have bots. <laughs> I'm trying to text my date. Fucking figure out where we're going in 16 days because fucking Pro Storm vs. Indicate is taking forever. Yeah. Uh,. Keegan? What's up? That shit ain't happening. It's just not happening, dude. She's gonna cancel. Shit ain't, hap shit ain't happening, dude. I'm spending tonight alone. I can feel it. It's gonna be me and, like, a beer and, like, watching the VOD. <laughs> you and your, uh, Christia body pillow? Hey, it's Dee Dee Warrior Lady. Get it right, bro. <laughs> okay, that's a royal oppression. It's fucking nuts. Hey. Here we go. <laughs> this is such a fucking <laughs> stupid Here game. Here we go. They both like just gentlemen's agreement to draw to 10 cards and then summon their guys. And then... <laughs> it's only fair we draw all of our traps. Yeah, Sleeping Lion, it is the same girl, yeah. 
Apparently, she lives, like, two minutes from me, too, which is kind of dope. Alright, that was a deep prison. We're going to get a Dimensional Alchemist activation. Indicate's going to think here. This could be a Phoenix Wing Windblast. Oh, never mind. We got Floodgates. We got Floodgates, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. We got Floodgates. Does she even know you play Yu-Gi-Oh? Not yet, bro. I don't be opening like, yo. So do you know about fucking Tregodia and Goblin Zombie? <laughs> <laughs> do you know that if goblin zombie is sent to the grave and you declare the effect you can't special summon tragodia because you've already declared the effect of goblin zombie in the graveyard cameron knows that really deep down my heart is broken and the only thing that'll heal it is watching this miserable game Actually, this is a base game, but is, dude, <laughs> what is going on? This is really quality Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like E3, Ribbit Rulers, VOD, but every time Keegan complains, it's, it's up. How long is that video? So long, dude. It's like at least an hour. <laughs> Did, did I tell you about my theory on Yugi tubing earlier? I think I heard a little bit of it. So there's You're four... talking about... Uh... What's up? Yeah, yeah. There's like four... I don't think I agree. What else is there? There's literally complaining? I think the I think, I think the pack opening is the... It's got to be the biggest one. Because like babies not. will click that. Dude, it's not. Pack opening like, is like the biggest like... for Pokemon. But pack opening for Yu-Gi-Oh! is tiny. Mm, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. The biggest pack. What? To be the fair, fuck? you have to. Oh my god. He said two can play at this game. Okay, uh, what were we talking about? You have to have a pretty high key, high IQ to understand pack opening openings for Yu-Gi-Oh. I I recorded a pack opening video, like a box opening video, and I realized. That it is really actually so hard to make a box opening video interesting. Mm hmm. Because nothing is. It's, it's different if, like, in Magic, people will open, like, alpha and beta boxes and be like, I could pull it. I could pull Power Nine. For Yu Gi Oh! It's like, oh, a reprint. <laughs> That's hilarious. He does side DD Warrior Lady and Light Mirror. <laughs> Amazing. One of them's got a stick. <laughs> Plug. <laughs> Skipping leg day. Look at that Gilman. Oh my god. How much has he been? Gilman? Dude, he's ripped. Gilman doing like fucking I can tell you his deadlift. His deadlift's like three twenty five. Maybe more. 400 maybe all right chat what does spine gilman bench i need to know yeah turn 20 there we go now we got the sound effect plow, plow. There we go. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Please take your turn, sir. I understand the situation's complicated, but like, bro. <laughs> Who are me? Summon. Enter battle phase. Attack. Something's gotta happen. 
that's what i'm saying start making shit happen you don't need to let the game go this long for no reason like i don't know if letting the game go long favors you or not maybe it does who fucking knows Gaibu says somebody drop heavy and win like damn. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. It would have to be a pro set heavy for pro storm. Literally. Dude, make a fucking move. I am gonna message him for slow play. I'm gonna give him like 15 seconds. You gotta make a play. All right. Cool. That's insane. He thought for like two minutes, then set a monster and passed. I'll never understand. I always be trying to like break down positions. Like if stuff gets this complicated, like I feel like it's never going to favor me, right? Cuz this deck is just like fucking spot yeah, I think on crack, right? Yeah, I mean kind of agree. But you know, Turtling up works so well against this deck. It's working somehow. It's doing something. Camera Saunders says we pulled up to the wrong retro format. <laughs> Evan English says when is Malevolent Catastrophe? It's a good question. That's what I'm saying. Chris said he should have been able to pick apart most of Pro Storm's back row by now. That's the thing is we don't know if Indicate plays Heavy Storm, do we? Like he, he, we don't think he plays Heavy Storm. I guess we should start actually commentating. How is he going to break through this fucking board? Yeah, I mean it has to be that spot removal. We have to. We're, it's like we're waiting for Pro Storm to do something. So that the Gemini Sparks can start coming out. Yeah. Like, he's just trying to proc a two-for-one Gemini Spark. But I think at some point, you just, like, stop taking two-for-one. Right here, start, like, trying to simplify. Making stuff happen. Yeah. They do need to play faster, though, because this is, like, not real. Well, something's happened. He's building up something. I'm assuming at least one of those is a Legacy of the Yachty Garrison. Okay. Yeah. I think he's setting up for a return move. Yeah. For card advantage. <laughs> He needs more cards in hand. <laughs> All right. That was cool. But now what? Did he already have an alias in Grave? Yeah, he did. So. Okay. Yeah. Blast was already live. I wonder if he's just going for a crash. Okay, Mirror Force. I can't even count this many cards. We've got nine cards to one, two, three, four. 
Dude, Pro Storm is up 12 cards to 9. So this has worked out really well for him. This, like, really grindy, slow play style. Mm -hmm. I don't really know and how... Wow. That. Wow. That's crazy. What the fuck? But, like, keep in mind, this is all main phase, too. I mean, Indicate's going to get another turn to, like, just set more back rotation. Yeah. Is he just burning the dust so he can set another card? Yeah, I feel like he is. Something more relevant. Never mind. Oh, wow. We're just going after all of it. Huh. That's a lot of high-value traps gone in one turn. Mm-hmm. Snack Pack says, what are the decks? We've got Fairies versus Gemini Hero Beat. Huh. You have to stop this, right? No? Wow. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? This is so weird. Why was taking the seventeen hundred correct? I feel like trades are so good for you right now. Ronick says, did you know a spine Gilman has an effect which boosts his attack by 400? Jacob says, no date then, Keegan. <laughs> oh, I got a texture, my bad. I literally heard it on red. I say, I think we should go to this bar, this bar. I need just a little bit to get ready, though. <laughs> I'm fucking lying, bro. <laughs> it's on stream, too, bro. She'll never find the stream. <laughs> It'll never happen, dude. Does okay, shoot. Lynn does shoot. Turn 40 does shoot. Turn 25, actually. <laughs> no, wait, this is the actual turn 20, right? Yeah. Okay, hold up. Breaker. You're saving my ass, Rock Slicer. I've been live for way too long. <laughs> Me too. That's true. That's true. You've been <laughs> on stream for way longer than... <laughs> I didn't know this was happening tonight. <laughs> Happy birthday, Stealth Ninja. Yeah! Boy. Happy birthday, Stealth Ninja. RX Metafox says, now you can't tell her about the channel. Like I was ever going to tell her about the channel. <laughs> the fuck? dude how do you explain your gap in employment i'll just get a second third job I'll just be like... <laughs> <laughs> oh baby you don't understand it's really boring you wouldn't like it <laughs> you think she's gonna dig 12 hours into a vod for a clip i mean just... you just get linked a clip from one of the viewers i don't know that's what i'm saying guys that's why you gotta keep work and personal life separate 
Except for when you're talking about your personal life for monetary gain on stream. Right. Obviously, obviously. Dude, this is taking so long. Wow, Breaker was in hand. Breaker's kind of nice. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, and then he put it back. It would have outed the limb. It would have outed the limb. Could also out his own oppression. Yeah, I was. I think he was thinking pretty hard on saving the MST for a push. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but now what? You know. Oh, he's gonna use honest to oh. get over the honest. Hmm. Honestly. That's tough. Let's see a mirror force one time for the fans. Can we see a fucking mirror force one time for the fans? There it Slow is. Slow rolling the mirror force. Yeah. Fucking easy clap. Wow, he, he drew the spark. He did draw the spark. But that's one less card in deck. <laughs> that's true, Hydro Pump. It's too bad Alias can't use his effect with limb face up. He should pop his own limb. Can he even do that? Or Gemini Spark opponent controls? No, you can target your own cards. Shit. She's an Edison enjoyer and watching. She's part of the 0.02%. I don't believe yeah. it. Yeah. I don't believe it. Holy shit. Is he rolling a dice right now? It's fucking. Murray is my date. I'm going to Texas. Holy shit, what a game, dude. I mean, the monsters are spent. Maybe Indy could run out. There's no way. He's got Hero Blast. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is the third time Pro Storm's We all know. Back. We all know he has two miracles in hand. Please, one time. Yeah, there's the hero. Yeah. Right. Yep, yep, yepers. Does he have my body? That'd be really fucking good. Have you? Yeah, that'd be really good. You could have Solemn. But no, that's just going to resolve. Jesus Christ, this game is like really grindy. This is longer than the frog match somehow. Which is crazy. So the new set could be the Legacy of Yada, or it could be the Return from a Different Dimension, or it could be the Book of Moon, right? Yeah, I was surprised you didn't use the book there. Well, because you use it, and then what? They just run over your DD yeah. Warrior Lady. So I think yeah, I was thinking it made it. I was thinking it made it with, but yeah. Yeah, no, that I was good backwards. If you can book the alias, you can maybe run it over. So at least like that. And also saves your life total. Your life total is really low here. Holy fuck. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah. So what do we know from the deck list that's left? We know there's at least... Some number of hero blasts left. There's an ocean question mark. Is the ocean vanished? It is. Yeah. Think he still has the Cydras? He redrew the breaker. That's really good. Does he do I think he still has the Cydras? I don't think he ever had the Cydras. Did he have Cydras? Oh. Yeah, he did. Last game. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. I'm I'm so Big on breaker in the side. I think it's so good. Yeah, it's so good. It was literally the last conversation we had before the tournament. I was like, for Bayou, you want breaker compulsory. I'm happy he. Oh, yeah. 
he went with it because it's really good. It's really, really fucking good. Because like you get to situations like this where it's like you're both in a weird spot, but you get plus ones, and it's just like getting plus ones and having that extra body is so real in this deck. Mm -hmm. There it is. It was the legacy. Interesting. Indicate said was expecting a breaker kill your own or, uh, return from the different dimension combo. I don't think that works. I think you can still oppression it, right? Like if you breaker. Uh, I mean, I guess he was saying blow up. Blow up uh, oppression, maybe. What was that? Misclick, mobile misclick. What's his fairy count? He has two fairies in grave. I don't even know if he's even on Christia's post board. Cause he's down to fucking thirteen cards. He's gonna make the same misclick again. That's hilarious. <laughs> 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 the screen's freezing up in the Himalayan mountains, dude. Dude, this is like a Lynch, like a fucking movie from a David or a fucking scene from a David Lynch movie, where it's just like it keeps happening and like. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> dude, what is going on? <laughs> You know what's crazy is he's put it in the same zone every time. Just set every it time. at this point. Anyway, like, it's not going to be in gonna... it. I wonder it... which one it is. <laughs> it's going to be in the same zone. That's the most <laughs> mind game. <laughs> yeah, mind games. That's it. That's got to be it, right? Viewing banished. Oh man, this is, this is insane. This is actually insane. Okay, we got an there angel, go. we got a game. He's got, he's got fairies, dude. Finally, finally, we're getting some attacks, bro. You know how long it's been since it's... something has attacked? How long do you think it's been? It's just been a so lifetime. Long. Force is gone, right? Yeah, force is gone, so he just doesn't care about sweepers. It could be set honest. We haven't seen a single Oh, we've seen one honest. One, yeah. Oh my god. Any good what are you thinking about? Okay. Mm. <gasps> interesting okay there's another hero blast hood pope says just left locals got third with diva hero shout out shout out nice bro pro storm please just saw him this Okay, book. Not bad. There's the book. He did set it next to the oppression. Actually cursed. <laughs> That's funny. What's the set monster then? Is it just a diva? Why didn't he want the breaker to connect with it? Cameron's goaded for that read. Pro Storm was up 12 cards to 9, and now he's down 6 cards to 5. And that's why I just don't think that the fucking long game was really worth it. I'm not counting Royal Oppression as a card, but it could Well, those Hero Blast Gemini Sparks, man. Yeah, but you're right, yeah. Yeah.
What? <laughs> Did he just tribute set? <laughs> he knows about the freed, right? Because he does shoot it. It's Sidra. Okay, so he does still have the Sidras. Okay, and it's dead because Royal Oppression's in play. And Freed's gonna attack, and then yeah. Angel's gonna attack. Because he drew a Freed. Okay. Pretty brutal. That was insane. I'm like, I don't even understand how we got to this point. It's like they just started the game again. Like, they're at the same number yeah. of cards. Like, And he really needed that freedom. Dude, I thought this was going to be a quick turn. I thought this was going to be fucking easy. I thought this was going to be chill. We're entering hour 11. <laughs> I have not eaten. Same, bro. Dang. Solidarity, of course. Yeah, not just because you're vegan, you know. Right, right. Set alias. Oh my god. Wow. This has been one of the craziest games I've ever seen. Uh, are the bottomlesses still there? I think the set cards are miracle fusions, dog. Straight no, up. I mean on uh Pro Storm's grave. He has one bottomless, I think. No, I'm confused. He has one bottomless. I guess. I guess you set a Gemini Spark. It's a 1700 beating. Ronix says both players still have three Fiber Jar left in deck. Kill me, dude. <laughs> this is fucking Yeah, neither sisters. of them is. What's up? Neither of them has played one for one yet. That's true. Neither of them opened with it. Yeah. Huh. It's an indicator of something. Here we go. <laughs> Bro. Bro, what is going on? Bro. I should be at a fucking... <laughs> this isn't real. Okay. Okay. I was just... I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> Dude. All right. Yeah. Hold. Wait. Hold. Here's the second one. Just pay eight, right? <laughs> wow. Wow. That was insane. Yeah. That was insane. Wow. Thank you so much for joining me, Frog Slicer. Yeah, of course. That was incredible. Like, it's easy to gripe and moan, but when you look at it as a whole, like, you can see the momentum build up. And that, that really was a great match. I'm probably going to rewatch it on mute because I'm going to be whining the whole time. <laughs> or I might rewatch it on, like, 2x speed or something. There you go. I watch all Yu Gi Oh content 2x speed. You're the, seriously, honestly, that's the only way to do it. It's yeah. the only way to do it. Thank you, everyone who made this season great, including Frog Slicer. Someone had to bubble, right? <laughs> yeah. Pro Storm for playing all the way through this tournament, at, starting at 1 a.m. for him, winning undefeated with fairies against the toughest competition on mobile from the Himalayan mountains. On Starlink. On Starlink. What a miraculous feat. Everybody, I've got to go do things. <laughs> but it's been a blast. We'll get the prize stuff figured out shortly. And Frog Slicer, let's do some stuff in the future. Everyone, check out Frog yeah, totally. Slicer. Check out all the other Edison content creators. They're all awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next.